Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. That was a quick turnaround, wasn't it? Yeah. Very quick. Oh, we got lovely Monica today. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you doing, honey? Good, thanks. Good, good, good. Your jewellery's looking amazing. It was fun jewellery. Very fun. beautiful. Very fun. Quite old school, I would say. Yes, definitely, definitely. Visions of colour and all of your essentials. Well, it's lovely to be back with you. I'm sorry I wasn't here yesterday, but I know you were in the very capable hands um, of Zena. And I know, thank you to Zena as well for stepping in. I know you had a fantastic show. Well, today is going to be no different. We have got, as Monica just said, absolutely, look at I me, mean, look at the jewellery, absolutely unbelievable kits. We've got some lovely shell. And I don't know, how do we, as, I'm a bit unprepared today, I will be honest, but what are these beads. fire polish? They're vintage glass beads. Vintage yes. glass beads. Oh my goodness. So this, what we're looking at right now is your nine o'clock kits. Yes. Oh my goodness, Monica. I, bet I can see you had fun with this. <laughs> I did. This. And there's somewhere on the other side of the desk too. <laughs> Very important. Ross was delivering my coffee. <laughs> very, very important. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Thank you. <laughs> He's a good egg, isn't he? Bless him. <laughs> Doesn't matter that we're on live TV. Oh, the joys. Oh, the joys. It's all right. He's been. He's been. He's worked in a TV studio for over a decade. But you know, it's all good, <laughs> Ross. Like I said, it was most important. He says, he's, he says, I'm not normally, that's not my, my, my concern because uh, he's, he's here for the deals. <laughs> Ross says, just remember this, if I ever do anything wrong, it's not my fault. Fair enough, fair enough. He was delivering my tea, it's very important. Um, <laughs> yeah, where was I? I've lost my train of thought now. Um, yeah, so you had loads of fun with your nine o'clock kit. I did, And yes. then vintage glass at 12 o'clock. So yes. that's this little section here. Well, I say little, it's not little at all, is it? Um, a section of beautiful, beautiful strands. Oh, wow. Yes, I had lots of fun with those too, with all the colors and... Could I? Could you incorporate these to see beading and genuine gemstones? Well, I did actually. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I thought so. It's our lovely Monica. Of course, there's going to be a seed bead inside. Of course, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, and then at ten o'clock today, we have the fantastic Dave Troth stepping into the studio, um, and to say that we are just a, just a smidge excited about this unbelievable launch is an understatement. Because what you are looking at now, I don't know, unless there's been a promo going out, and I'm a little bit disconnected at the moment, but um, has there been a promo going out? Yes, okay. So you probably know what this gemstone is, but if you haven't seen the promo, this is, without shadow of a doubt, the finest. Do you know the gemstone? I don't. No, no. I've been looking at it, wondering what it is. Firstly, it's natural. Wow. There is no enhancement. Wow. <laughs> Gosh. This is Amazonite. What? No way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we are completely gobsmacked by the beauty. Um, this wow. is launching at 10 o'clock. We've never, ever seen Amazonite like this before. Wow. <laughs> and I don't just mean in the 13 years that we've been broadcasting. I've never seen it like this ever God. in my entire gemstone professional career. So that's happening at uh, 10 o'clock today with Dave. We haven't just got strands as well. We've got some really lovely flowers. We've got um, an opportunity for you. I don't know if you can see this. Um, <clears throat> we've got an opportunity for you to make the be most beautiful sterling silver ring with a calibrated. Can you see that there? Sorry, Adam. Um, so you've got a calibrated stone to go within the actual mount. Heart shaped, yes. Yeah. So if I show you the ring, that's probably easiest, isn't it? So you've got wow. one of those from that same parcel, fine Amazonites that you can set uh, within the sterling silver ring. Um, we've also got, here are the earrings. These are coming up wow. as well within that showcase. And we've also got some lovely through drilled flowers, all from the same parcel. I'll say it again, without doubt, this is the best Amazonite we've ever seen. You wouldn't think it was that gemstone, would you? You wouldn't, it's, it's so bright and so, it just glows, doesn't so it? So bright, so translucent. Yes. So Dave is launching that at 10 o'clock today. We've also got one of my favorite strands. <clears throat> um, excuse me, we have a, a big opportunity on your San and Scan in its infancy. Sorry, let me move that because my cup of tea is in the background. Sorry, that's not great, is it, Dan? Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, here we go. Um, again, totally natural. A new variety of jade that has been discovered within Pakistan. Um, yeah, I mean, it is. 
it is, it's, it's your imperial green, isn't it? Um, that's coming your way. Now, every single San and Scar that we have within the Gemporia partnership is in that hour. So if you've just maybe seen it for the first time or you've wanted to get hold of it, then make sure you're with us. That's happening at 11, is that right? Yeah, 11 o'clock. So um, Amazon night at 10, 9 o'clock kits, a wonderful, beautiful shell. 12 o'clock kits, all about your vintage glass. Your early bird, I'm not moving on without telling you about this. So you've actually got, take a little look at these. Three spool, spools reels. I think these are reels, actually. Uh, spools are height. Yes. They? They've got height. There <laughs> yes. we go. I got it right, right way around. Um, these are your reels of genuine gemstones. Wow. Already rosary linked for you. And you will not believe the deal that these are going to. And they're so long, they have to go on a reel. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Well, well, it's, it's like a meter long length. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> true. Ross is saying, you remember how popular these were when we first launched them? Yes. Um, and, the, you know, and not actually when we started them, weren't they like 20 inches, Roscoe? I seem to remember them being more like necklace length. Whereas yeah. these are an entire meter, aren't they? So you're looking at peridot, you've got tourmaline and you've got labradorite. I mean, and I know I've said this before, you can rosary link or chances are it's one of the techniques that we can certainly teach you. But it is fair to say it's quite labor intensive. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, how long is one link? It's maybe a centimeter. So that's a yeah. hundred links you've got there on one of those. On one reel. Oh. I'm going to show, let's, let's do a live <laughs> reaction cam. I'm going to show our Monica what these are going to. And we have 72 of each, so it's not that much. <laughs> yeah. Is it worth doing yourself? No. no, no. exactly. So um, I would encourage <laughs> shopping ahead on those, because all you need to do is add your clasp or maybe a shepherd hook, whatever it is that you choose. They are going to the craziest low early bird price tag. Get your messages in. Come and say hello, everybody. We would love to hear from you this. What day is it? Tuesday morning? Yeah, there you go. Tuesday morning. It's going to be a super Tuesday as well. Tell us what you're up to and we'll get cracking with what will be an absolutely amazing show. Can I just say hello to our lovely crew? We've got sporting a very dashing hat today. Was that from your travels, your recent travels? Yeah, yeah. bad hair day. He says it's a bad hair day, but, you know, I don't believe that. <laughs> it's not possible, not with your fine locks, Dan. Oh. <laughs> it's gorgeous, Dan, everybody. There he is, lovely Dan. In the gallery, we have got, he goes by the title Handsome Adam. Not just Adam. Here's our director keeping us all in check. There he is, Handsome Adam, everybody. You right, Adam? Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up, he's all good. And the man with the deals, yeah, it's Roscoe. Hiya, Roscoe! There he is. You all right, lovely? I don't. <laughs> it was a very awkward hello. <laughs> uh, he's like, everybody's got their thing and you haven't got one. OK, yeah, because Dan does this, don't you, Dan? Yeah. Oh, sorry, like this, yeah. Uh, and then you've got Adam with the wheel, the chair spin. There you go. Yeah. Come on, Ross, <laughs> what's yours? You've got to come up with something. Do you want to do... Do you want to do, I don't know, a little dance move, maybe? Hair, how about a hair flick? I feel like you could do a hair flick. With, <laughs> no? I, I know what you're thinking. I'm not a performing monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, res, I resent that. All right, and... <laughs> Moving on, shall we get cracking? <laughs> Just so you know, Ross, I will never forget that. <laughs> Just so you know, I will, I will start behaving. It's fine. <laughs> I'll be good. I'll be good. I've been told off. <laughs> right then, should we get cracking? <laughs> <laughs> Before I get myself into even more trouble, yeah. shall we? Okay, um, have a little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, if you click watch live in the top right hand side of the screen um, and then you scroll down. Oh, that's that's flattering, isn't it? Um, <laughs> as always, uh, scroll down. There's your early birds. Yes, they are going lower than the already incredible 39.99, quite considerably so. Um, you've got some beautiful earrings. You've got sterling silver components. You've got some old neck jade in there. Featherweight head pins. Oh, they're essentials. But do know, other than your early birds, and even they're like 70, um, some of these will be very limited in their quantity. So 
make sure you are uh, checking out your baskets nice and early to get hold of these lovely turquoise in number 16. How on earth is that 20 pounds? Goodness wow. me. Um, amazing. So definitely, oh, there's that carnelian strand. Definitely worthwhile. A little peruse, a little schmooze. And there's lots of you already checking out. Good morning, jewellery makers. I hope you're all well. It's lovely to be back with you this morning. We are going to have an absolutely super Tuesday. Um, shall we get cracking? Are we all good? Are we all ready? Yes, let's go. I think we should. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. What would you like me to start with, Roscoe? Uh, elongated white jadeite drop bead. I know what you mean. This one here. Oh, it's half drilled. <clears throat> He said, you know, you know when you start a sentence and words just don't... Yeah, I get that all the time, Ross, and you just end up putting just... Starting a sentence without knowing where you're going to finish it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It, um, it turned out well, though. It did. Yeah. <laughs> elongated, to be honest, Ross, I kind of knew where you were. They were true. Yeah. They were correct words. It was just you weren't getting to the point. <laughs> that was a thing. <laughs> it took the scenic route. Um, okay, shall we do a brand new low price tag? So this is half drilled, type A, natural Burmese jade eye. If I just tilt it forward, you can see the drill hole. So all you need is your peg bale. It's floating, I, I agree, it's floating flower. You've got the pure whites within there. If I turn it round, it, of course, every single one will be completely unique, but that's what you want in the world of jade because obviously, if it weren't, then you would be thinking, right, okay, that's died. Um, take a little look at Mason and Kay. <laughs> I beg your pardon? It's definitely... It's definitely, definitely not going to be $79.99 on Mason and Kay, is it? Um, but yeah, shape, shapes like this, shapes like this, without the floating flower in actual yeah. fact. I mean, I don't know the price of those earrings, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be $79.99. Um, this is a nice full elongated drop. They'll all be unique to you, of course, because that's the joy of your genuine natural gemstones. Not bleached, not dyed, not polymer impregnated. Okay, good luck. How many have we got then, Roscoe? 22. Okay. So, wow. I mean, that makes your type A jade eye earrings absolutely possible, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. That's incredible. 20 wow. pounds. <laughs> it's 22 carats. It's absolutely ginormous. We're going to do a brand new low, though, as if that isn't already incredible. I mean, they will be perfect in your earrings. Oh, Type yes. A jade eye at this price tag is unheard of. Oh, Ross says. Mm -hmm. I don't know so much one. <laughs> what are you eating? Oh, oh, sorry, he's not. He's not, he's not, he's not. He's not. He was just clearing his throat, that's all. <laughs> Nothing to say. Nothing to see here. 19.99 is already absolutely amazing, isn't it? But we are going even lower. Ross is going to, Ross is going to be telling me off. Don't tell me off, Ross. <laughs> he says he would never. Ah, oh, that's good. I hope so. Um, not nearly enough of you on the phone lines. <laughs> not directly to my face. Amazing. <laughs> um, maybe Swansea is going for the pair of earrings. <laughs> Yeah, just do it behind my back. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um, I don't know what this is going to, but it's already absolutely amazing. But let's see how good a deal can Ross deliver this morning. It's the first auction of what will be an absolutely super Tuesday. Congratulations to those of you that have already got hold of this. You've just acquired 12 carats of natural type A floating flower Burmese jade in a drop, half drilled. All you need is a peg bale. Gosh. What is that all about? That, Stop. Look, I understand why jewellers dislike us. <laughs> yeah. I do actually understand it. I mean, there's 20 pounds for a pair of earrings. Bless Type A jade yeah. earrings. One of the, and it's not, it's not me saying this. This is one of the world's most valuable and rare gemstones. Two poles, Type A jade in the top 10, rarest gemstones in the world. Second pole in the top 10, of the most expensive gemstones in the world. Yeah. And here we are chucking it in a tenner. Seriously, make sure you're checking out your baskets, lovely jewelry makers. No, 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 we will, no. That, I mean, it's so wrong, that price. Just a pair of earrings for 20 quid. Yeah. I mean, you can pop into place. 
You could pop into somewhere like, I don't know, New Look and buy some costume jewellery for that. This isn't costume jewellery. It's one of the world's rarest, most historic, valuable gemstones. I'm on soapbox, aren't I? That's what and it sounds like. It is a stocking full of prize. Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. Um, we had 22, which is an absolutely amazing quantity, actually, for something like this. Yeah, pop along to Mason and Kay. You're not going to be seeing a tenner there. Um, hello to you, Mark. Love you. I love you too, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I I'm sorry, I'll quickly say mum was very poorly this weekend and that's why I wasn't with you yesterday. But, but, my brother's there today and she's turned a little bit of a corner. So this is good. Thank you, Mark, for your messages. Yeah, so there's some, there's, there's hope. There is hope. So, and much like you guys at home, you know, in the same way, you know, when things going on and you just need jewellery maker it's the same for us here as well um yeah it's the same for us too hello to you lavinia hi eleanor and monica looking forward to your show hopeful hopefully without freezing today oh d i was gonna say is it cold where you are because it's pretty warm where we are i was like what if I oh you had issues yesterday oh uh, uh. is it we hope it's fixed, Lavinia. Hopefully it's fixed. You've got a beautiful name, by the way. Yeah. Um, well, there's 10 of these left. Don't leave them in your baskets. They're a tenner. Fife, you've got yours. Susan, you've got yours. Kathy, well done to you. Denise, Brenda, Maker and Swansea. Amazing. Make sure you're checking out. We only had 22. Um, okay, okay. I love you too, Mark. Bless you. Um, have I got what? Uh, do you reckon it's these? Yes. It's got to be those, oh, isn't yes. it? Oh, they're cool. Oh, I like those. I haven't seen these before. They're very cool. Oh. Hang on, I'm just going to scoochy scooch. Oh. What? You set a, a pearl or something. You could. It? You could have it cradled almost, yes. couldn't you? A little bit like, you know, the like the stalk delivering the baby. You could have a little... Little little pearl or a gemstone of choice actually suspended within that. Aww. That's beautiful. Threader earrings. So there's no butterfly back effectively with threader earrings. This is obviously the part that goes through your ear. And then uh, the actual weight of your beautiful sterling silver, of which there is lots, um, obviously creates the piece. Now you can actually wear it in multiple ways in actual fact so you could actually have the threader um, up closer to your ear um, or you can actually have them balanced out whichever you wish I've not seen these before they're absolutely beautiful again just you could cradle a gemstone they're how much 9.99 so oh. I was about to say are these base metal then but no they're 9.99 uh, they're 9.25 sterling silver uh, 9.99 but we're not done is there many of them left 18 of them left so 150 on launch yeah, I'm not surprised these have been popular. We're going to match that launch price for the final 18. Oh, it looks tense. <laughs> 7.99. Amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. Again, it makes me go back to costume jewelry prices are more than yes. that more often than not, aren't they? This isn't costume jewelry. It's solid precious metal. Um, so, ideal stocking filler? Absolutely. You said that earlier think, on, didn't you? A Secret Santa price tag. Yes. Yeah. Even if you do nothing to it, you don't have to do anything Absolutely. to those. Absolutely, but it would be beautiful with a pearl in there, wouldn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Ross is saying everyone who gets stuck on Secret Santa, I do as well. I'm not going to lie. I, Secret Santa is one of those. It's always the last present I get because <laughs> I never know what to buy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's tricky, isn't it? When you've got a certain price point, yes. it's really tricky. Um, how about some beautiful 925 sterling silver earrings? They're lovely, oh. aren't they? You have that wonderful, almost cradle of precious metal. 7.99. Did you say we had quantity, Roscoe? Sorry, I know you told me. 18, okay, um, 18 um, of them left. So for this hour, that's actually quite plentiful. However, um, you've got just shy, just a whisper under uh, two grams of solid 925 sterling silver. So again, make sure you're checking out your basket. You could put one of your jades there. How about uh, um, like a pearl or a faceted pearl? You could put maybe something completely alternative, couldn't you? You could go for, uh, I'm just trying to think outside, what about a bit, bit of polymer clay or something like that? You could bead off of it. Off it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So you almost create like a tassel. Yes. That would be nice. Oh. Actually attaching directly well, You could, you could fill the space in between with seed beads. Well. Nice. Yes. That sounds amazing. And then obviously wear it up closer to the yeah. earlobe so you've got that drop. And of course, any age can wear this one because it can be quite elegant, but it can also be quite playful, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I like that all for playful jewellery. Oh, yeah. uh, make sure you check it out. Fife, well done. You've multi-bought Rachel Carroll Maker, uh, Tracy, Jacqueline and Stephanie. Um, I can see you all there. Amazing. We only had 18. So if everybody does check out, it's actually pretty close to uh, it's pretty close to selling out. So uh, well done, everybody. OK, let's move on to. Oh, what about one of your Amazonites on there? Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be lovely. Um, let's bring you. A very Tiffany inspired, beautiful sterling silver bracelet. It is complete, but having the talents that you all have, you could very easily, of course, make this a one of a kind piece of jewelry. Now, I'm just sorry, one second. Um, it has a nice lobster claw clasp, so really beautiful and seamless. If I hold it like this, then you can actually see. Um, it doesn't need anything doing to it. No. It could also be. Uh, the foundation of a charm bracelet because you have got a significant gram weight. Now, this is seven and a half inches, but equally, um, especially if you're a silversmith, then you can always add links if you want it longer or take them away if you want it shorter. Um, so, again, solid sterling silver. First one's gone already. I mean, if this were in Tiffany's & Co., there's absolutely no way on this earth you'd have been looking at $34.99. And you most certainly would not be $19.99. <laughs> Is it base metal? Gosh. Costume jewellery? Solid 925? I quoted Tiffany's. It was a question on the chase. I mean, that's an easy question, isn't it? <laughs> what, I guess, for us, I suppose, yeah. Um, uh, what, what American jewellery house has a book that's blue? I reckon even my husband would get that, to be fair. He did get it, yeah. Because you're going to... Also, you know, I, you know, you, ju you would just go, OK, think big jewellers, big jewellery jewel houses. Yeah. It's going to be. You're not going to go, um, Ernest Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Samuels? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You are going to go for the big jewellers, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should go on the chase. <laughs> Although... I'm as long as all the questions are jewellery. Related to jewellery, that's fine. <laughs> Um, that's fine. We should, we should do family fortunes. Ah, oh, yeah, can we? That sounds really good fun. Or mastermind. What's your specialist subject? Jewellery. <laughs> other than that, don't ask me any other questions because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not that bright. <laughs> yeah, specialist. No, it's got to be jewellery related. Otherwise, there's no, I don't stand a chance. Um, yeah, here we go. Here's a, a bracelet on Tiffany's & Co., and that is supersized, by the way, that image. Um, you're talking £250, which is lovely. And actually, actually That's less than I was expecting Tiffany, for yeah. Tiffany's. And it does come in a snazzy blue box and all the branding plastered all over it. Amazing. Um, but it's still 250 quid, whereas we're 19.99, which is amazing. And our new 925 sterling silver is no different, I can assure you of that. Um, <clears throat> what's that? Kindly note that Tiffany store is unable to accept returns of online exclusive items. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Pourquoi? See, we're better than that. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. Um, sorry, say that again, Roscoe. Another one on Pandora. Okay. She's happy, isn't she? Look at her. I love my new bracelet. It's absolutely fabulous. Goes perfect with my, with my fluffy jumper. <laughs> absolutely love it. Um, that's what? £55. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's got toothache, one of the two. <laughs> she might have a little bit of toothache. <laughs> just eating some ice cream. Just like that, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> We're going even lower. How many have we got, Roscoe? 18 available. I know I've asked you that question again. I'm so sorry. I will apologise now at the beginning of the show if I'm a little bit misjointed. Um, 1999, Tracy, Mary, um, <laughs> Catherine, you're there as well. This is one of those, stick it in the present drawer. If it's for Christmas, fantastic. Yeah. If it's for a birthday, amazing. If it's for just because, maybe it's a present for you. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you feel like maybe. you just deserve a little treat. Or maybe you get a charm as a present and you quickly need a present. Ah, nice. Yeah. yeah, because then you're sorting out presents for the future as well, aren't you? Yeah. Because you, you know that they've got Absolutely. that charm bracelet. Absolutely, yeah. And you just clip it on, don't you? Yeah. It's that simple. Hello, Jacqueline, Susan, Maker, nice to see you. We've got 18. Mary and Kent's just snapped up three. Perfect. Are you ticking some names off your Christmas list, Mary? Well, either that or I was thinking you can join them together and make a necklace. Yes. 
That would be lovely. That would be lovely. It's very satisfying ticking your names off the list, isn't it? <laughs> done, done, done. <gasps> 12 pounds and 99 pence. There's almost four grams of sterling silver in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a whisper under four grams of sterling silver and we're at 12 99 so designer and you've got to remember look our design team our buying team look at the different trends look at the big brands you yeah. know suru remember when we launched suru inspired pieces of jewelry tiffany's cartier yes. look at those and then they will do our version which is still using the same precious metals just considerably more affordable that's the thing it's sold out well done everybody congratulations amazing 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 um do i have a little drop oh what oh dragon oh ah these Dragon egg earrings. Oh. What's an okey doke? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Ross is like, I think they're a bit more okey doke, but I don't know who okey doke is. Oh, a kid show when we were young. Is that from your generation, not my generation? Is that what you're getting at? <laughs> who is he? <laughs> I have never heard of okey doke before in my life. <laughs> I haven't either. <laughs> Okie doke. <laughs> what? Is this something that you had just here in the Midlands? Because we, I didn't have okie doke. I don't remember okie doke. Um, is that how it went? Okie doke, okie doke. Is that where okie dokie comes from when you say okie dokie? <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like okie dokie, uh, okie doke was a rip off of okie dokie. Yeah, I feel I'm like. I don't yeah. know. Isn't he weird? I don't know, he's terrifying. I'm not sure about <laughs> Okie Doke. Why has he got it? Oh, I, I see where the Okie Doke comes from because he's an oak, um, he's an acorn, isn't he? He's a scary acorn, though, isn't he? <laughs> With leaves growing out. Roscoe, of his can I just say, never, ever, ever compare these beautiful pearls to that weird thing. <laughs> Look at that one in the top right, Look, in the top left. What? Top, up again. What's that? <laughs> Is that noise he made? Oh! Um, mind you, listen, in Wales, and anybody that is who grew up in Wales that's watching right now, who remembers Will Quack Quack? And that's Will Quack Quack. You have to say it with a Welsh accent. <laughs> yeah. 1995 Okie Doke. Yeah, I was in high school then, so I'm not going to be watching Okie Doke. I feel like we're sidetracked a bit. We have yeah. massively sidetracked. <laughs> Look at the beauty of these pearls, and we're talking about okay. some weird acorn Yeah, let's acorn go back to dragon man. eggs, shall we? <laughs> weird <laughs> acorn man. Um, natural culture pearls. You're so right there, Monica. <laughs> Bringing it back to the jewellery. Love it. Love it. Well done. Um, beautiful. Let's say La Peregrina drop pearls, because yeah. that's what they are. There you go. Beautiful amounts of luster, and then you have yes okay you have this kind of almost acorn like i don't know yeah. what's snowdrop they're like a snowdrop oh, yes. aren't they there you go you see not weird oak not, guy not okie doke you know no <laughs> and actually not so much dragon eggs either i'm not thinking true snowdrop well, flower yeah. but you know each their own uh 39.99 text in do you remember okie doke i don't i think i was too old who wants these under 20 pounds everyone Look at the quality of the pills. Of course, they are half drilled. So all you need to do is a little bit of your hypo cement glue, which we had on air last week, wasn't it? A um, uh, little dab, leave it in place. Oh, that's... 17 pounds and 99 pence only. You've got two grams of solid sterling silver. And one thing I haven't mentioned is that um, it's genuine zircon, not cubic zirconia, that is parve set across the top. Genuine zircon. It's beautiful. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Make sure you're checking out everybody. Keep your text messages coming through as well. Have you ever heard of Okie Doke? Because I've never heard of him. Who was your favourite childhood little little cartoon? Ah, oh, Smurfs. Smurfs. Yeah. Smurfs are good. Smurfs are good. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. We had um, a Will Quack Quack here in England, did you? Oh. Poor duck, always getting bathed. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She did. Oh, ma'am. 
But did, she, did Will Quack Quack have an English accent, though, or a Welsh accent? Um, or a Brummy accent, absolutely. Or was it a London accent, whichever. Um, nice to have you back. Bless your heart. Thank you, darling. My daughter, who's now 30, absolutely loved Okie Doke. Hmm. See, yeah, you're the same sort of age as Ross and, uh, and Adam. And Dan, do you remember Okie Doke? Yeah, I think it was like, I, I think it was like reruns of it. Reruns yeah, of. I think it. I think it finished before I was born. But See, I'm 15 years older than your daughter, so I think I was in high school when Okie Doke was out. So I don't remember. See, I was in a whole other country. So yeah, well, you're, <laughs> <laughs> play. there's your excuse. Very, very young. You're a baby. You're a baby, baby. Yeah. Okay. Okie Doke is odd, isn't he? Sorry. You know when you. I just feel like I'm looking at a picture, and I'm probably. You know, he's probably a nice guy. <laughs> He's probably, I don't know the story. I wonder how many kids had nightmares from him. It's like E.T. My worst nightmare was E.T. Really? Yes. I loved E.T. Even now, don't show me a picture of E.T. Really? <laughs> yeah. He was cute. I think I was traumatised. I was probably too young when I saw it in the yeah. cinema. He was cute. <laughs> the gremlins, I thought, were quite terrifying. Oh, no, the gremlins were great. Gremlins. That, that one, there's... <laughs> <laughs> she was terrifying. She was absolutely <laughs> terrifying. Um, oh, you're a wonderful distraction, everyone. Right, OK. Let's bring you... Oh, this strand is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Um, gorgeous, Dan, can I borrow a bus, lovely? Just because it deserves, rather than just sort of throwing it across the back of my hand, I think this deserves to go on a bust. You don't need to do anything to that, do you? No, no. I would just literally restrand it as is. Here he is, gorgeous, Dan, with the biggest bust in the world. Thank you. <laughs> 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 go just restrand it as is if you wanted to add some gemstones of course you could but look this is type a burmese jadeite um effectively you know this might be the end goal for us as jewelry makers where we're actually looking for uh, um the alternate shapes in between now ross has just said oh my goodness l i have just seen the price that this goes to he thought 199 okay Righto. Look, at it's got an aqua blue, hasn't it? Uh, Russ is saying, I will hold this on screen for one minute. Um, he says, it will move on for, from it after that 60 seconds because this deal is absolutely crazy. It will not go a single penny, a single dime lower. It's already too low. Plus, you've got your split payment. So once we hit that price, 60 seconds on your screen. Is it type A? Absolutely. Is it translucent? Absolutely. Um, is it glowing in its color? Most definitely. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're so right. Oh, my God. <laughs> 60 centimeters. It's not even... Yeah, yeah, Ross has just said it's not even 99 pounds out, which is already, quite frankly, ridiculous. And it's almost double length. Double yeah, length. it's a 60 double centimeter length. strand. strand. Yeah. That's a really good point. There's three of them left, so you're going to need to be really quick. Oh, I, oh. I was going to say, I might have to get this. If there's any left, I might, I might have to get this. And I would literally just restrand it where it as is. Yeah, oh, it would look really nice if you knotted it with some red silk. Nice, mm. lovely. Maybe a few little sterling silver spaces yes. dotted in between there. It'll be held on air for the duration of this clock. So you've got, what, 21 seconds? It's cute for a song, isn't it? Um, Joanne in Norfolk, sorry you're there. Sorry you've just got yours. Congratulations. Look at that split payment. Isn't that ridiculous? Uh, make sure you are checking out, everybody. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You've got beautiful Amazon night coming up at 10 o'clock. But today, I tell you what, the hour is locked and loaded with stunning deals just like this too good to miss paul in hertfordshire you can do it if you check out your basket um well done stay where you are on those phone lines that's it moving on moving on um <laughs> moving on to multi gemstone faceted rounds bundle oh look at the sparkle oh, oh it's a bit of you this is monica isn't oh it? absolutely <laughs> it's most definitely a bit of you i'm just trying to sorry the ocd in me is just like, come on, let's try and get them all the same length. Oh, my goodness me. Tassels. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Kiss cross. Oh, that um, tassel bracelet that Debbie Kershaw made. Yes. Oh, yeah. the oh. Coluccio? Something like that? Oh, I can't remember. Something like that? Oh, my goodness, you have a bundle of absolutely exquisite, faceted, genuine gemstones, which include lapis, rose quartz, black spinel, peridot, garnet, crystal quartz, blue agate, labradorite, amethyst, and amazonite. Um, 
between 19 and 26 carats. Faceted wow. to perfection in your three millimeter rounds, you get a set of 10 strands. Wow. How amazing is that? Uh, again, those of you that love a tassel, those of you that love to loom, those of you that love to sea beat, those of you yeah. that love the sort of uh, Astley Clark biography inspiration, just do sort of s simple um, tennis style bracelets, absolutely perfect. Um, that's effectively, Ross, where we are right now, I mean, that's quite, a, that's an amazing price point considering you've got 10 strands. 10, 10. All 38 centimetres as well. Look at, okay. He said, I was going to go to 100 pounds, that's 10 pound a strand. He said, but I'll skip that. How about 5 pound per strand? What? what? Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Look at the colours. Look at the visions of colours that you've got there. And you can make a multitude of jewellery. We're at £49.99. And there's a clock. And there is a clock on your screen. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this bundle goes to, but I tell you what, it's exciting. I mean, look at that. That's the joy, isn't it? You could just twist it. You could wear it in one big statement necklace. You don't have to use them all together. Um, you mentioned knotting a few moments ago, not, yes. uh, uh, Monica. If you're not great at knotting, then you could use these as an alternative, couldn't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, nice. I know. So beautiful, aren't they? I just like when they're three millimetre fasted rounds. I think, you know, they really work together, don't they? They like do. And I mean, there's so much sparkle in them as well. And, uh, you know, you can use them in place of your seed beads, as you were saying earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they're just, oh, they're so beautiful, aren't they? They really are. Good luck, everybody. Catherine snapped up four of these. Amazing, Catherine. Yeah. I can't wait to see the jewellery that you create out of it. Uh, Judith, you've got yours. It's already fantastic at £5 per strand, but the clock is ticking. How many have we got of this bundle? 15 available. So there we go. Savvy shopping, checking out nice and early. If these were individual, would we be bringing them to wear at £5 per strand? Mm. Mm, no, probably not to be honest. In a bundle, however. Oh, <laughs> three pounds a strand. Oh my God. They're not, they're not plastic. These are genuine gemstones. And the 38 centimeter strands as well. So you've got 120, 130 beads on each strand. Oh, There's no way I'd, fit. I'd decipher that number, Gosh. by the way. And, and if you just put on a pair of earrings, you put one of, one of the gemstones on top of a pearl. Yeah. Perfect. A beautiful pair of earrings. So did you say about 120 on, on yeah. each strand? So that's 1,200 faceted beads. Yeah. That's a lot, isn't it? That's, that's a lot. It's a lot of work <laughs> for yeah. 29.99. Kathy, <laughs> sorry, Judith, Catherine, lots of multi-buyers on this as well. Amazing. I've got Brenda, Maker, Jeanette, Jeanette in Yorkshire and Jeanette in Hertfordshire. Um, we don't have that many of these, so there's only 15 at the beginning. Well, Catherine in Manchester's got four. Judith's got two. Sorry's got two. Kathy in Warwick, you've got yours. Don't let that put you off. And also remember, you've got 22 minutes on this hour to make your confirmation. So um, make sure you're, yeah, you're ready to do that. Good luck, everybody. Absolutely amazing. Um, there are only five left. Once they're gone, they're gone. I mean, we'll bring back three millimeter fasted rounds, but what we can't guarantee is that they are going to be at three pound per strand. Yeah. Hello, Penny. Uh, missed out last time um, at this low price tag. Or oh, don't miss out today then, darling. Yeah. That's what 8 a.m. is all well, is, is all about last of stock. It may be items that you might have missed out on um, that we can replay. It will be a quick replay, but um, but we'll repeat the amazing deals, if not go even lower. So, yeah, make the most of this opportunity. Um, hello to you, Irene. Morning, Ellen, Monica. Glad you're OK. I love Irene. Bless you, darling. Yeah, I'm all right. Tired. I'm very tired. You don't sleep very well when you're sat in a hospital chair, do you? Mm, no. um, yeah, so, well, I, yeah, but she's doing, you know, she's She's, she's, I don't want to say she's all right, she's not all right, but she's making progress. Um, my brother's there right now, and I just needed to be with you guys. Um, hello, Margaret, saying good morning. Uh, what's that? Colton and the Wheelies was the cart. Who, Colton, am I saying that right? Or Chal Chalton? Um, I might be saying that wrong. Um, cartoon for me. Chalton was a dragon, and there was a kettle witch. Uh -huh. Strange times. Yeah. A kettle witch? What's the kettle witch? I don't know. I don't know what I that is. I thought it was is. just me. I'll know. have to Google these afterwards. Hello, Rachel. No, it was Welsh. 
So was Iva the engine. I remember Iva the engine. Um, Oakley Doak was late 80s. My sister watched it. My favourite was Bagpuss and Button Moon. Yes, Bagpuss. Yeah. I like Bagpuss. We've been to Button... But Button Moon, though, is pretty funny when you look back at it, though, isn't it? You know, like the budget of Button Moon. <laughs> it's a button. And like, you look back and you think how easily pleased we were back then, weren't we? <laughs> Followed Mr Spoon... Button moon, you know, uh, but she, it was a it was a wooden spoon. Yeah. A button. It was like a cotton reel was one of the characters. I can't remember all of these, but it was obviously no expense spared on the production of this. Wow. But we loved it, didn't we, as kids? And who doesn't remember that theme tune? Um, loads of you getting involved. Amazing. Congratulations to you all. Keep those childhood. I liked Fraggle Rock. I was a big fan of Fraggle Rock. Dench cares away. Worries for another day, let the music play. <laughs> Don't frag a rock. I don't know any of these. <laughs> <laughs> they were like the Muppets, the frag All oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, Roscoe, what was that? I just got caught up in the fraggles. Olmec, should we do some Olmec? Amazing. Um, <laughs> see, you're such a lovely distraction. Um, look at this. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love the colour of that. <sighs> Me too. It's got to go on the bus, this one. It's absolutely amazing. Um, Olmec or Guatemalan jade uh, is the only place in the world that produces this distinctive blue. Um, but also, can I just say, the translucency of this strand is second to none. Um, we have how many? Sorry, two. Three. Three, I beg your pardon. There's three of these left. Six and a half millimetres, 70 centimetre strand. You know, even if you go to the Ridingers website, who were the couple, actually, that rediscovered um, Guatemalan jade after it was quite literally the lost treasure of Guatemala. So um, rediscovered in the 80s. Ironic that we're talking about that era, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> and uh, even they don't, I don't think anyway, have a centimeter, 70 centimetre necklace. I could be wrong, of course, that might have changed. Um, but even here, £1,700. Look, I know it's a considerable amount of money. However, not comparatively for what we're talking about. Um, since the closure of the Burmese jadeite mine, the Chinese market has uh, relocated effectively over to Guatemala. They could have gone anywhere, couldn't they? But they selected the Guatemala mine because of the quality, the translucency. Um, remember, was it was it uh, um, Stanley who said the future is Guatemala? I thought so, yeah. Uh, Stanley Hugh, who is one of the most influential individuals in the jade world, whether it's Burmese, whether it's uh, Chinese, whether it's... Um, whether it's Canadian, whether it's Guatemalan, he says the future is Guatemalan because you have, it's got the, the closest similarities, I guess, to Burmese jadeite or the finest Burmese jadeite because look at that translucency. Um, ultimately, when it comes to your jades, whatever the location, it's down to translucency and, of course, the wonderful colour. This is all totally natural. We are at um, £699 plus you've got your split payments. Yeah, here we go. This is Stanley Hugh that I was talking about. Very influential individual. His family have got a legacy of jade, effectively. They uh, um, have been in the industry for over 60 years. And, and these are his words. He says, the Olmec or Guatemalan jade, uh, jade making its way into China now um, is top Burma grade and is beginning to be priced as such. There is no difference anymore in the eyes of the market. Top jade is top jade. This material is the best investment because it's still trading below that of imperial but it won't for long. So, I mean, if you're going to take anybody's advice, never mind mine, um, I would definitely go for somebody along the lines of Stanley Yu because, yeah. like I said, he's recently started his own uh, jewellery brand. So he could no longer do the wholesale side of things because the Burmese mine actually closed. But, of course, they had enough quality jade um, to be able to open their own jade establishment, and that's what they specialise in. So he has that knowledge. £699, not your final price, jewellery makers. Look at the translucency. Look at that consistency of beautiful, distinctive, one locational, all neck glow. 70 centimetres, not your 38. And we're at £399 only. Goodness me, that's amazing, isn't it? £399 would be incredible for half this length. Yeah, and, and the, all those beads are so beautifully matched as well. Perfect, uh, aren't perfect, they? Well, yeah. again, to quote Stanley uh, once more, 
Um, he must get sick of me, actually. Uh, that's actually coached him. Um, he talks about the price of, uh, you know, a matched strand. He yeah. actually says, you know, whatever the location, you know, the only item of jade that is more expensive than a bangle is a matched necklace. Yeah. yeah um, and that's exactly what we're looking at right now. Stick a clasp on there. Yeah. Um, definitely something you could look to get insured at some point. Beverly, you've got two in your basket. I've also got Ruth there. I've only got three and I've got people on the phone line. So get it home. Use your 30-day money-back guarantee. Get a second opinion if you wish, but make sure you do go to someone that is knowledgeable about your jade market. I'll leave that with you um, because I'm going to step into another vision of green. That is Chrysoprase. It's my favorite strand out of our current Chrysoprase parcel. I love this one. These are your kind of irregular tumbles. And this color, look from here, is natural. Totally and utterly natural. No enhancement whatsoever. It glows unlike any other green wow. gemstone that exists. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it? They often refer to it, actually, as Australia's jade. Um, but chrysoprase normally, you, you might have seen chrysoprase maybe with sort of areas of the host rock cut alongside because it forms a little bit like turquoise actually, kind of filters through the actual host rock itself. So kind of looks a bit like a chocolate lime. Um, however, you know, that tells you how rare this strand is. You've got big, large pieces um, of this glowing green. There's no enhancement. It's not coated, dyed. You know, green onyx is beautiful, but it's treated usually. Whereas this is totally and utterly natural. It's actually in my top three favorite gemstones, Chrysoprase. I absolutely adore it. It has a level of translucency, a very unique glow, almost like it retains light within the gemstone. We're at £169. Do we have many of these then, Roscoe? Nine available, okay. Wow. Oh. Do you remember when I when we spoke about Chrysoprase uh, and they spoke about it, you know the similarities to a William Wordsworth poem you know how poetic it was but um, there was one necklace and it had sort of a, a cut very similar to this with a little polar bear on I don't know what the significance of the polar bear is but anyway it was about three hundred pounds and that was yeah. one individual that was one individual pendant yeah Adam you're a little bit bewildered by this aren't you. You're not sure about the positioning of the of the of the polar bear. Would that be fair to say? He's oh, you'll see where I'm coming from if you've. Um, yeah, you see where I'm coming from. He is, man. No, but you make your own judgment. He 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 just <laughs> he loves chrysoprase. I like chrysoprase. Well, I, I can see why they've put a polar bear on there because sometimes you see these pictures of uh, icebergs where there's no snow on them and then the, the sun shines onto it and it's this sort of colour. Really? Yeah. I thought it was an odd choice, but okay, yeah. That make, does it actually, do they glow green? They, they kind of do, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've never looked at it that way. But a little bit sort of, yeah. Maybe a little bit more bluey green, but yeah. the, the one in the picture is a bit more bluey. Yeah. Uh, so I can see where they're coming from with the polar bear, to be honest. And also, can I just say he looks a little bit like it? Well, what are those ones? Alan, what's that animal? Alan, 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 Steve, Steve, what was that? What are they called, that, those animals? No, the ones that, the ones that, yeah, they like bark, don't they? No, it's not a meerkat. They scream, don't they? They, st they stand up and go, is that meme? Text in, someone help me out here. Uh, no. Gopher? Is it a gopher? gopher? Yeah. I don't think it is. Text in. They're like that. Alan! 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 Anyway, I think it looks like one of those. <laughs> um, <laughs> last auction before your early birds. Let me just give you a little heads up. You have got these unbelievable reels of rosary link genuine gemstones. They're all metre long lengths. These are going to the most ridiculous price tag. I know you can rosary link or chances are, chances are you can. If not, then we can certainly teach you. It's not worth you while doing it, to be truthful. Because um, they're it's, it's going to be very labour intensive, I think it's fair to say. So these are coming up. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those. They're one auction away. Um, but which one, which, what, what is that one auction? Is it? Oh. There is only one of these available. We're going to go, oh my goodness me, straight to the best price point that, oh my goodness. Now, launched at £499, there is one left within the business for the last one. Uh, yeah, we can't have one in the vault. That's not, 
even when it is as rare and valuable as this, goodness me. And, and, and if you've been on the faceted pearl journey, it's something that is very new to the market in actual fact and took two decades to actually master. It was oh, actually a diamond beautiful. cutting house that actually uh, mastered how to facet a pearl. Firstly, can I just say you have to have the best pearls. They have to have a fine nacre, otherwise they sim simply chip, basically. Yeah. Now, they look like they're coated, don't they? They're not coated. Wow. Um, it's, you know, like a wall of mirrors effectively created out of the precious material that is nacre. Plus, there's more of an investment um, in terms of the growing process because you need your pearls to be that much more sizable to obviously facet and, and house approximately 200 facets per pearl. Wow. This is, when we talk legacy, that's what's on your screens right now. I mean, you've got to think about it this way. You know, lots of people have got diamonds, haven't they? Lots of people, um, you know, they, these are high-end pieces of jewellery. A prairie dog, that's it. Oh, yeah. That's it. They're really cute, aren't they? Um, how many people can say they actually own faceted pearls? Um, just quickly, there's, um, before we get into your early bird, they are priced up accordingly, um, but there's only five left, so we need to play them. It's the inspired by the Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra um, collection. You have sterling silver. They are sterling silver. Can you see those? There we go. Um, inside you have your lovely natural black spinel, which I, I, I think they do onyx, don't they? Which is actually a bit more abundant at Van Cleef and Arpel, so still beautiful. Haven't got the time to actually show you all the celebrities, but let's just say it's definitely a piece of jewellery of choice. Um, they're in item number... 18, there you go, thank you, um, on the website. And remember that you've got 10 minutes, only 10 minutes to make your confirmations. But right now, lovely jewellery makers, it is time for your early bird. There are 70 of the, each of these available. I would strongly encourage, if you've got your heart set on owning these, making sure you check out nice and early because they will sell out, especially when we drop it to your early bird price. <laughs> Now, classic rosary linking. I mean, uh, we know there's lots of history to the rosary link and lots of meaning behind the rosary link as well. But it's a technique that I think many of us as jewellery makers, it's part of our journey, isn't it, Absolutely, rosary linking? Absolutely. And it's a very useful technique because if you have um, not a lot of gemstones left over, but you want to turn it into a longer piece of jewellery, a, yeah. a longer chain, um, then... Uh, that's a great way to make it make it you know do that but it also makes your uh, your gemstone stand out i think yeah it's almost like uh, it's almost like framing a picture i think it, it kind of accentuates the gemstones as well absolutely and you kind of think of things like uh it's a setting isn't it and this, this is how i visualize it so a bit like i don't know like a rub dose over setting to a diamond or a prong setting to something like that or you think about a tennis style uh, um, bracelet necklace whatever it might be it's the actual setting isn't it exactly it kind of makes your piece of jewelry look like it's it's made by a jeweler if yes you know what i mean yeah um rather than a beaded piece of jewelry yeah uh, which i think is really nice especially with more high-end um gemstones gemstones absolutely but would you all agree it's fairly labor intensive and actually i mean you might have these skills i certainly don't but to get that consistency is most definitely something that you know uh, um takes time takes time um plus you know and i know i'm speaking quite practically here but you have to source the genuine gemstone strand you need to source the wire you need to, you lose a lot of that wire. You do, because with every link, the first loop is going to lose about an inch okay. wire. Then you're going to use up probably up to a couple of inches per uh, link as yeah. well. Uh, so It's quite yeah. wasteful. It is, yeah. It is quite wasteful. And you need to factor in your time. You know, it, a meter is going to take some time. And, and, and again, when I first joined you this morning, we were talking about... I think, the, I think the first time I actually brought these to air, they were like 20, 20 inches. Yes. So it was a case of, ah, oh, just stick your clasp on, away you go. You've got a really lovely necklace. These aren't 20 inches, they're a metre. So you could make, make maybe two necklaces and a matching bracelet. It's up to you. You could go with tassels, you could go with earrings, you could do whatever you wish. We're at 39.99. So these are precious metal plated brass. So you have got your... Um, 
uh, precious metal components on there as well. Genuine Labradorite, and look at where we're starting from, but that is a million miles away from where we're closing. What shocked me when I saw these this morning, A, the length, because they are over double what, we ha what I remember us having once upon a time, and then B, the price tag. I think, if I remember right, and I might be wrong, because I, I am quite forgetful, but I don't think we went as low as what you're, you're intending today, Ross. Yeah, Ross is saying, I think it was this. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was one that went to 29.99, but on the whole, you think they were 19.99. Are you talking the 20-inch ones? Are you talking... Yeah. yeah I think so as well, whereas yeah. these are a metre. Yeah. Now... There are 70 of these available. I'm going to start with the Labradorite. Would you mix them up? You're going to go for a multi-row. You're going to go for a lovely gemstone tassel. Easy to use because they're rosary linked. Yes, well, actually, in the 12 o'clock hour, we've got that uh, three-strand clasp coming yes. up. Yes. It would be really nice with these. Yes. That would be perfect. Yes. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you could mix up all the colours. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? $19.99, but we are not stopping there. The hypnotic beauty that is your wonderful Labradorite. Uh, perfectly framed and showcased within your rosary linking. Okay, good luck, everyone. We've got 70 available. It's not a massive quantity when it comes to your early bird. I know you can do rosary linking, but... Is it even worthwhile? Do you see my point? Is it even worthwhile at twelve ninety nine? That's that's probably the price of the strand. That's not the price you told me this morning. No, it's not. It's lower. It's actually lower. Be fourteen ninety nine. I know it's actually lower. <laughs> but that's the thing. Ross is. Uh, he I'm likes not to, complaining. He keeps know? me on my toes as well. Does our Roscoe? Don't you, Ross? He I mean, likes, I mean yeah. for that price, honestly, I mean, it's not worth about a hundred links on it, on one uh, reel over there. Hundred links. That's two hundred wraps that you would have to do. For twelve ninety nine, and then you're not even talking about the material. <laughs> yeah, because twelve ninety nine would be a fantastic price tag for the Labradorite alone, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. amazing. Um, there's loads of you getting involved already. Hello, Fife, Carol, Macon, Nicola, hello to you, Denise, Christine, Sandra, Margaret, Jennifer. You know what? Ross has just said something, and again, this is not what it says on my star by sheet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Ross has crunched some numbers. Dotted the I's, crossed the T's and all that. Oh, wow. Labradorite, the tourmaline, multicolored tourmaline, and the peridot. Do you want these under £10 each? Wow. But you need to be super speedy because in 55 seconds, we are taking it to that single figure price tag. Shop ahead on the tourmaline, shop ahead on the peridot. Absolutely get those ready for Monica's amazing nine o'clock kits. I mean, how long is the bracelet? About eight inches? Yeah, um, well, seven's the average. Let's say we want to make a really big bracelet. Yeah. Just okay. because the maths is easier. <laughs> okay, eight, let's go with eight, yeah. Let's go with eight, right. you've got 40 inches there. So that's five bracelets. Out of one for 10 pound, oh, I'm assuming. <laughs> might let the cat out of the bag. Yeah, exactly. it might have. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. That, 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 that's it's madness, speechless. isn't it? How many bracelets? Uh, what did I say? Five. 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 Five long bracelets. Five long bracelets. Absolutely. And if you start adding class, it might even be more than that. Yeah. Amazing. Probably. Get out. probably. 12 99 already, absolutely incredible. Definitely worthwhile shopping ahead on your tourmaline and your peridot. You're going to mix them together. You're going to make lovely tassels. This is what we're saying. Yes, I know you can rosary link sometimes, sometimes. And I know it's enjoyable to do as well, but sometimes it's not worth your while, is it? Um, not if you're a business, anyway. You're making to actually gift. £9.99. pence. Margaret says, I'll have two. Sandra, Patricia, Christine, Kathy, Valentina, Paula, Janet, Cheryl, Catherine, Carolyn, Sheila, Maker, Maker, Linda, Joanne, Janice, Maker, Carol, Noreen, Jennifer, Susan, you're there as well. Um, Jennifer, if you want those six, I would strongly recommend checking out. 70 is not a big quantity for us here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and the phone lines have gone completely crazy. Plus, you've also got two of your birthstones here with your parents. And your tourmaline. Yeah. But also, if you if you split it into two necklaces, for example, yeah. um, that makes about five pounds for a necklace. I mean, we, we sell plain chains for five pounds, right? Yeah. So imagine if you have a really beautiful, say, silver wire wrapped Labradorite pendant. Yeah. How much more beautiful is it going to look 
on this as the necklace chain oh. than just a plain chain. Yeah, I totally agree. It would be lovely, wouldn't it? It's, that, it's continuing the design, exactly. not just a functional. Exactly. Um, amazing. There were 70 available. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it is minimal. Um, again, amazing. Make sure you're ready to check out your basket. Carolyn Barks is there. Christine in Rutland, maker, maker. Um, people multi-buying on these. People saying, I tell you what, I am going to get the Labradorite and the Peridot and the... I mean, that's £30 for all three of them. I'll leave that one with you and we'll uh, basically run these early birds simultaneously. They will go beautifully alongside Mon all of Monica's kits, actually. Should we do the Peridot next? Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at the quality. Look at that beautiful quality. It's just amazing, aren't they? That you know, ten pounds. Look at all that work. We just cut sort of like a three-inch section. You've got your shoulder dust earrings. Oh, beautiful! Well. Absolutely beautiful. Here you guys in the bracelet. Look how lovely that is. Look how pretty. Oh, very nice. Gorgeous. And it's just literally opening and closing a clasp. Yeah. And away you go. In thirty-six seconds, you know what's happening, don't you? visions of natural luminous green you're beautiful yeah this is the kind of length that i had in my head i'm fairly yes. sure they were weren't they like 20 inches about that or there or thereabouts again even if i'm quite a basic jewelry maker but something like this look how pretty that oh, is it's beautiful isn't it it is beautiful and it's really simple it's like a tennis style bracelet but a bit more a, a bit more historic i feel yeah meaningful um well done in six seconds it's going lower good luck everybody 39.99 for all the work the gemstones in fact you have got your silver plating within there as well perfectly color matched uh glowing chartreuse green peridot you know where it's going to no surprises here nine pounds and 99 pence only unbelievable and i mean this is, this is not something that's uh, you know that comes out of a machine no nope. it has to be made by hand by so hand yeah. actually took the time to to rosary link all yeah. of that yeah I you're mean, right whoever makes these chains they must be so quick <laughs> you know yeah, gosh uh, yeah I, I mean i remember going to jaipur um to our head office over yeah. in jaipur and, and um watching them color matching gemstones yeah and they do it so fast wow you know, their eyesight must be absolutely impeccable. But, yeah, it's, it, they do it all so fast. So I agree. To be able to create, well, there's 70 available, firstly. I'm not saying it's just one person that's done it, but still. Um, 9.99, well done, everybody. The Peridot is proving to be extremely popular. I'm not surprised. Margaret, Catherine, Valentina, Cambridgeshire, Fife, Lorraine, June, Corinne, Christine, Doreen, Carol and Maya, well done. Um, okay, the last of your strand is the tourmaline, which, look, let's be honest, tourmaline should be more expensive, shouldn't it? It should be more expensive. The whole nature of the gemstone effectively um, tells me it should be more expensive, how it actually forms. Um, if I just for a second take a, a section off the spool, you've got, or reel rather, you've got your pinks, you've got some beautiful reds in here, you've got lovely greens, some of your softer mauve colours within, and black tourmaline as well. A real, a, a, a plethora, a plethora of colours. And it's actually ombre as well, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not just randomly mixed. Well done. Wow. Your designers always hone in on the ombre. So yeah. is, it, is it because you appreciate how difficult it is? It, it is, yeah. 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 Because if you try and do it yourself, it's, it's, it's not as easy as you think. No, I'm <laughs> sure. I've got no doubt about that at all. Beautiful, isn't it? So you've got your pinks. Greens, blacks, mauves, everything in between. Um, I think we all agree, just the whole nature of the gemstones formations mm, indicates that this should be, of course, a slightly higher price point than the other. Um, here's a gemstone that if you do follow things like your gem guide, which is, strictly speaking, it is actually for um, the trade, but it tells us the price approximately that gemstones uh, sell for at retail uh, per carat. It's not $9.99, let's just put it that way. Um, amazing. You've got natural Brazilian tourmaline here with all of your different colors unbelievable make sure you're checking out um, okay um, coming up after the break make sure you continue checking out now coming up after the break we've got some really beautiful sterling silver threader earrings with a little heart detail at the bottom um, they're absolutely amazing one comes with black spinel and one is with Ethiopian opal so absolutely beautiful these are coming up just after the break also we have got our Monica's amazing kits we've got visions of color they're lots of fun lots of different shapes almost like a scoop actually isn't it That's absolutely well there is a scoop the shells here you go 
this is so you've got a shell scoop just there. So these are coming up just after the break. These are your threader earrings. Now, this is black spinel. Oh, my goodness, they're amazing. Coming up immediately after the break, lovely jewellery makers, as well as the, this design with an opal. I mean, how lovely are they? Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the play of colour. That's fantastic. You don't need to do anything to that. You yeah. can literally wear them as is, wouldn't you? Absolutely, yeah. Of course, you can go on to embellish it all the more because you've got a nice open link chain there. So they're coming up immediately after the break alongside Monica's amazing kits. Make sure you check out your baskets, lovely jewellery makers, and join us after this. Jewellery makers, head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever. We have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off. So head over to www.jewellerymaker.com for our Bling It Back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear. Britain's Next Gem 2023 a few weeks ago and we had loads of entries. We've whittled them down to two groups of four, the first of which will be on the show with me this coming Wednesday. They'll be given a five minute short demo each. They'll also give you a top tip and talk to you about the inspiration behind their designs. That's with an incredible deal of the day and of course an amazing masterclass with Azza Tazza. We'll see you on Wednesday. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewellery Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world famous Stratford-upon-Avon. Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker.
Ah, oh, welcome back, everybody. Can I just say hello to somebody in the gallery? It's Wayne. <laughs> Hi, Wayne. Are you all right, lovely? You're good. You've got your sports bag. Have you been to the gym? Oh, he's got his laptop in, of course. <laughs> Going to the gym later, though, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think about it. I think about it like that, yeah. I must go and see Jim. <laughs> yeah. I do like swimming, though. I've been swimming, you know, obviously not this weekend, but I've, uh, I like swimming more than yeah. I do the gym. This year I signed up my son for sort of ninja classes at a gym, so then I can say I'm going to the gym. Yeah. Because I'm taking my son. Because you're not lying. It's <laughs> yeah. true. You are going to, to the gym. Right then, should we get cracking? Because we've got those absolutely amazing, brand new premiere earrings. They can't, right now, all of Monica's kits are available on pre-order as well. So take a little look at those. Have a look at the jewellery as well. I mean, wow, I love this. And you said earlier on, this is fun jewellery oh, making. absolutely, absolutely. And you said earlier, which was also correct, that it's, it's proper old school, isn't it? It is, yeah. We don't ha often see, like, shell. Well, shell is difficult to get hold of uh, at the moment, I understand. But um, because in the same way, the pearl harvest, I guess, uh, pearl market's actually been affected. So it's probably the shell, to yeah. be truthful. I think I was, I'm making assumptions there, but it would be logical, wouldn't it? Um, and you get a huge selection of shapes, colours. It is. It's fun. I mean, the, look at this. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. Yeah, that one's going to be my demo because that one's a bit different. Isn't it? Love that. Absolutely. I'm so, so wearable. I mean, this with your, you know, your woolly pollies, your winter knits. Yeah, I mean, that one's great if you, because that one's just knotted um, on some echelons. So that's great if you want to practice your knotting because mm. there are no rules with that one. I didn't use any measurements or anything. It's all just random. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Well, have a look on the website and you can shop ahead and pre-order on Monica's kits. And of course, your demo is coming up. As always, if you've got any questions for Monica, do drop us a message here into the studio. Okay, now for these amazing threader earrings, which were, for me, when I first saw the threader earrings, and it was actually Jewelry Maker or maybe Gemporia that actually introduced me. I was like, what a great idea. So firstly, there's the sa safety side of things. You know, they're not, you know, they're... The, if you do catch them, then uh, worst case scenario, they're just basically going to yeah. fall out. That is unlikely, though. Um, but secondly, the fact, why wouldn't we decorate the back of the year? Absolutely. And I think it's more and more um, popular these days to, to decorate the back. You know, sometimes you have a pearl yeah. on the back or something. So, Well, do you remember that, that Yoko of London who have got those pearl, purple pearl earrings that we've shown you? And they've got on the back pink yeah. sapphires and diamonds. So it's not just about sort of the front. It is... Um, also about the reverse. So let me just get these uh, in situ to, sh to actually show you. Um, so beautiful. Beautiful, isn't it? Aren't they amazing? And they're really, really, really comfortable to wear. Um, now, we've never done this design before. I think it's a great idea where you actually have your genuine gemstone in a heart motif, which is always incredibly popular in your jewellery wear, of course. And then you have this lovely drop at the back um, with, is it an aglet? Yeah, so uh, an aglet, which is what you actually feed through the earlobe itself. So no butterfly back at all, sort of gravity yep. and the weight of the precious metal um, is what keeps it in position. Now, you need your chain to, you might be thinking, oh, are they uncomfortable because you've got the texture of the chain? Not at all, not at all. I mean, I've put these in multiple times on show. Um, in fact, they're probably more comfortable than other types, some, some other types of earrings. And, you know, you're not catching the butterfly. I've got studs on the other the side the ear that you don't see um, I've got studs that I'm forever actually catching with my fingernails or a hairbrush or something like that only a couple of weeks ago um, I actually made it bleed because I because my I really pulled it whereas you're not gonna you know, less likely to say that um, less likely to do that with your threader earrings plus you're decorating and elongated the neckline Absolutely. we're at 14.99 now Roscoe have we got how many have we got 47 available very designer in the fact that we could have chosen, what, a black enamel, couldn't we? We could have black, uh, put a black uh, uh, cubic zirconia, no, a genuine black spinel, encased within your lovely sterling silver heart. How about under £10 for you all today? We've got the Ethiopian opal. Maybe you've got multiple piercings. You could have one of each gemstone, couldn't you? Yes. Um, is this your birthstone as well? If you're an August baby... And one of the newest gemstones to the birthstone list oh. is Spinel. £9.99 pence only. Absolutely love it. You get beautiful movement. Again, I could sort of swing it the other way, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I could almost bear with me. 
<laughs> I can almost have it elongated like this. Yes. So you've got the sort of drop at the front. So beautiful. You know what, says Ross? Have these been, oh, have they? These have been on air once before. Okay. We are going to match that launch price because this is not where it actually closed. I've not seen these before. Not seen them before. Absolutely love it. Again, perfect little gifts, aren't they? Oh, yeah. And every, like you said, Monica, every age where it can wear these, can't yeah, they? That's what we were saying earlier because, because um, they're quite elegant, but they're also quite playful, aren't they? Yes, and you get lovely movement within them as well. Um, genuine spinel set within. $9.99, but we are going even lower. Maybe you missed the launch like we did, clearly. Um, then here's your second opportunity. As jewellery makers, yes, they are finished pieces of jewellery, but you have the skills, the talents, and the inspiration and creativity to make these one of a kind. So notice how the links are quite open, so yes. you could actually rosary link directly onto their head pins. You could. You could actually separate them and, and cut off the, the heart, and you just put that on a shepherd hook as a pair of earrings on the side, nice. and then you could put whatever you wanted on the threader section. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you could turn it into two pairs of earrings. Well, what about those three those three millimeter rounds that we had oh, earlier yes. on? You could do some bubble style, couldn't you, down towards or the heart? Or you could take a section of the eraser link chain and put that the same length nice. as, the, as the pull through section, and you could hang that on the front. Nice. Well, it's going even lower. My goodness me! Oh, Again, nice. so, I'm so sorry to keep saying this, but seven ninety nine. You could pop into. You ain't getting anything for seven ninety nine in Claire's uh, in Claire's accessories. Mm. No, I don't think you can even get a scrunchie for seven ninety nine in Claire's accessories, let alone their jewels. Exactly. <laughs> if you go to someone like H and M, you know, you're probably talking about seven ninety nine for some of their costume jewelry. This is not costume jewelry. It's sterling silver and genuine black spinel. Barbara, new customer. Amy, amazing. You don't just get the one, by the way. You do get the two. Um, obviously, it is a pair of earrings. Um, and of course, shop ahead on the beautiful Ethiopian opal, your lovely threader style earrings. Again, opportunities for you to absolutely turn these into your one of a kind, unique pieces as well. Uh, make sure you're checking out. Are you going to mix them up? Are you going to use them with the Ethiopian opal? Are you an August baby? If so, then this is the um, uh, pair of earrings for you. If you are an October baby this month's birthstone, then. Oh, yes. Which includes oh. a 20% saving. Oh my goodness. October 20, that's the code to use to get 20% off even the show price, not just the web deals, which I can't remember. I, I don't know if it was Mark or Claire, but was saying to me like, oh, I thought that was just solely on the web deals. But no, 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 it's also on the show deals as well. We are going to match the launch price on these. They weren't under £10. Beautiful play of colour. But do also remember you get that extra 20% off. I really like the opal. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Really like these in the opal. Again, look at that. Blues, yellows, reds, flashes of oranges, pinks. 9 99 jewellery makers. But remember, use your October 20 discount code. Means that they uh, you basically get them for... What's that? Um, so eight pounds amazing obviously ethiopian opal given the rarity of this gemstone should come at higher price tag um than 7.99 goodness me again make sure you are checking them out all that lovely sterling silver see the flash of red there opal is a very unique gemstone forms from ancient silica effectively that has uh, formed this fantastic gemstone that brings you an absolute rainbow of color that's the finest opal anyway um, and what i love about ethiopian opal in particular is the fact that it has that translucency so you see play of color not just on the surface but right the way into the heart 799 uh, with your october 20 code uh, norma snapped up three well done lovely amy and sorry june and sorry mary and kent linda in nottinghamshire erica in cleaver and cheryl in yorkshire amazing thank you uh, for checking out nice and early june and sorry uh, sylvia maker dear Lynn, Janet, Maker, Janet, I can't keep up. Generally, I can't. Your names keep jumping. So every time I look at the call screens, <laughs> um, it changes. So, oh my goodness. How many have we got out of curiosity then, Roscoe? Only 48. Oh, goodness me. That's, that's not enough, is it? Um, I, think, yeah. I think the opal is particularly nice in earrings because you've got the movement there so you can see the colours as you, you know, yeah. as it's moving around. And these are the worst they're going to look. Let me just yeah. explain what I'm saying there. Because we're in a floodlit studio. 
Not great for Ethiopian Opal. They like one single light source, which is the reality. You know, the world that we live in. There's one light source in the yeah. sky. There tends to be one light source in your living room. Yeah. You know, that's the reality. That's when you see the quality of your uh, play of colour. Amazing. So um, I'll leave that with you because we look like we're probably over allocated on that one. So amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Okie doke. Shall we do your amazing kits? Yes, please. Okie doke. Yes. <laughs> see what you've done now. <laughs> See what you've done. I've got this weird little acorn guy in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm sure Okie Doke is a, he's a, he's a cool guy. I'm sure he is. Jimmy, do you know who Okie Doke is? I do. Acorn Hat. Acorn Hat. He's weird. He is, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know. No, I'm like 15 years older than... It was good. It was good. Was it good? There you go. Jimmy's rooting for Okie Doke as well. He ain't a fraggle, though, is he? Let's That's be honest. I, I don't remember that. You don't remember the fraggles? I didn't watch it. So. Right, hang on a minute. If we're showing pictures of Okie Doke, <laughs> you've got to show pictures of the fraggles. You don't know who the fraggles are. <laughs> Fraggle Rock. And there was the doozers, wasn't there? The, the little workmen guys. Do you remember these? You don't know either. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Do you remember the doozers? The ones that built things? They were really cute. And then you, I can't remember what they're called. They're the kind of monsters that lived on the surface that were scared of fraggles. So it was really good. <laughs> mm. Ross has just said, the web's not working at the moment. So, I will get you pictures of your fraggles, Al. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I want to see... Fra Is Wayne still there? No, he'd remember the fraggles. <laughs> Alan, how old are you, lovely? Do you mind me asking? Oh, there you go. Do you remember the fraggles? They rocked, didn't they? There you go. <laughs> don't you care away? Worries for another day. Let the music play. Down at Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Down at Fraggle Rock, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> Watch it. YouTube, you'll love it. You'll love a bit of Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Apparently there's a new Fraggle Rock, is there? Are they the actual puppets, though? Because I can't get behind the cartoon versions. They're actual puppets. That's all right, then. Mm -hmm. That's all right then. I mean, it, I just, it's Jim Henson, isn't it? So it's going to be Ace. If you say so. Okay, so <laughs> watch Fraggle Rock later. Honestly, it'll change your life. Um, <laughs> shall we do your kits? Yes, please. Please, please, please I know. I do apologise. I am very sleep deprived, so there's probably not going to be a huge amount of sense that comes out of my mouth. Good job you're taking over this hour, isn't it? It's a good job. I didn't get my sleep either. So oh, really? Then? Oh, you're in trouble then. Sorry. Um, okay. Um, wow. So which kit would you like me to start with, Roscoe? Because there's a... The strands. Which one? I think they all come in one. I knew you were going to say that because, I mean, seriously. So what? F five strands? Beautiful amounts of iridescence. You've got your coral colours. You've got your soft greens. Almost Laramar blues, a really delicate powder pink here and a multicolored strand. So within this kit, um, three, I think they're 38 centimeter strands. I'll double check yeah. in a second. I think so. Or oh, we'll find out in a second. We'll get the graphics live. There's only 100 available. Um, beautiful rainbow nuggets, amazing. But with your mother of pearl, that's what mop stands for if you just get you confused um not the most beautiful way of describing a, a wonderful component that the likes of rolex use you know yeah. mother of pearl you see it on rolex styles um a lovely play of light and perfect i think for this time of year i mean we normally oh, associate shells with summer jewelry don't we but we do but i think it's nice to make sort of summer holiday jewelry in the winter because it kind of cheers you up i think and you look true. forward to wearing it when the summer comes around absolutely or if you go away and hold a lot of people go on summer vacations in october Chasing the sun. Yes. Absolutely. Totally agree. Um, I like the idea of wearing this um, sort of over, because you've got lots here. You've got, yes. what, five strands. You could wear them over your layers. That's the thing. Yes. I, I embrace winter because it's all about layering your clothes, Absolutely. isn't it? And then if you look at this one, the red one, that's particularly, I think, quite autumn-y. Yeah, autumnal. autumnal. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Like crisp leaves. Yes. Freshly fallen from the, uh, from the tree. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, now, how many have we got then, Roscoe? 
100 available, graphics are live, 39 centimetre strands, there you go, um, five strands, yeah, there it is, yeah. All those lovely curves, textures, beautiful play of light with your mother of pearl. How about £10 per strand? Wow, amazing. £49.99. Wow. And, and I guess you can make a lot of jewellery out of it. Oh, yeah. I did make a lot of jewellery out of it. Yeah. Did you have to stop yourself? I d well, I, I ran out because I used, I used up all of them. <laughs> oh, so you did stop yourself. You just kept going. I didn't stop myself, no. I just yeah. kept going, yeah. I like it. But this is like classic beading, isn't it? I mean, obviously, I know you've done knotting and things like that. But it takes us back to sort of our early yeah, days here absolutely. at Jewellery Maker. And also what's great about these nuggets in particular is sometimes you get... Uh, nuggets that are difficult to, to thread on because the holes are quite small. Mm -hmm. These have got quite substantial holes so that, you know, you don't have that problem where you can't find the hole and you can't thread it on. Yeah. Um, they were really easy to thread. I had no problem with any of them. Beautiful. Yeah. They just jump on. Are you happy at £10 per strand, Monica? Of course, yeah. I guess oh. you're going to be over the moon at Thanks. this then. <laughs> wow. Oh, my gosh. That's five pound, right? Yeah, five pound per strand. And because they are shell, you obviously get quite big sizes. These aren't done on carrot weight because it is an organic gemstone, effectively. Every single one will have really unique curves, lovely areas, which give you that l amazing play of light, a huge kaleidoscope of colours. I mean, look at this. It's so cheerful. And we've had recently, uh, you know, some of the um, uh, coated Yes. Port strands, I feel like they'd be lovely alongside oh, those. Yes. You know, like the iridescent yes. ones that Mark had. And I what about also the diamond tubing? Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. Also with the beautiful colours of the, yeah, with the diamond tubing. Amazing. Twenty four ninety nine again. Make sure you are checking out. I mean, this is beautiful. Um, we have got one of Monica's kits also includes um, a scoop, effectively, of your yes. shell. So um, be ideal if you want to mix up the shapes. That's what this necklace is all about, isn't it? Is, it is, yes. But... Also, you can mix and match the colours of the of the of the nuggets because uh, in that one necklace, I've taken the pink and the green because I really like the pastel colours. This one here. Yes, mm -hmm. but you could also put the green with the red, and then you've got a Christmassy necklace, which is true. Appropriate, quite. And silly. again, nice Christmassy textures. Yes. It does. Initially, when you look at them all together, you think very summertime, don't you? Yeah. But actually. It depends. It depends what you, yeah. you know, what you know, how you how team you mix them. them or what you put them with. Absolutely. Or a bit of springtime. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Now, we're not even stopping here. Oh. They are brand new. The first time to air. Massive, massive price crash. We are going to burst through a big barrier. But we need to see you there. In order to do the price point that Roscoe has in his head, producer Roscoe, he needs to make sure that the bulk of the, the available quantity actually does sell. We will go low. You know that. You can. You know Jewellery Maker. You know that we're not afraid to do those deals. We work on minuscule margins. Even when we are still talking about, you know, Mother of Pearl can be more affordable. But, but make no doubt about it, the likes of Rolex use Mother of Pearl in their dials. Um, the likes of uh, Van Cleef and Arpels use it in their Alhambra collection. Yes. We've seen it, haven't we? Draped around the decolletage of um, Princess, uh, the Princess of Wales. I'm bringing this over because I feel like it's being left out. It is. <laughs> it's one of my favourites. I did wonder why you had it over there on its Todd. I thought maybe that was something to do with the demonstration. There we no. go. Oh, that's beautiful. It is. Uh, it's a completely different feel in those colours than the one next to it. You're right. It? This is quite, you know, quite, quite autumnal. Autumnal, yeah. absolutely. So just how you choose and select the colours. We're going even lower. We've got 100 of these available. I heard Ross say, oh, I'm going low on this. He says, he says right, L, there's not enough people. Next price crash. He said, that's where I wanted to close it. But he will go lower, but it is down to you. Okay, so this is how shopping TV works. So this is a little bit of behind the scene information. The difference is um, you go into a jeweler, that's the price. The price is the price. You might be able to negotiate on it, but there isn't much wiggle room, really. Um, they might occasionally do sales. Fantastic. But the price is the price, generally speaking, in retail. Shopping TV is very different. Shopping TV, it's a case of, okay, there's this much quantity. It's gonna, you're going to spend, I don't know, however many, many minutes talking about it. Um, we've got 100. This is the margin that we want. How 
However, um, time is always a consideration. If we look like we are going to sell a, a proportion, a high proportion of that quantity, we will push those boundaries and go even lower. But this is why when, I, when we call for you to join us, if you like it, then you've got to trust the process. We will go as low as we possibly can. Roscoe, is there enough people there? There is now. OK, fantastic, because there's a lag on my call screen, that's all. So um, he says, no, I'm happy. I am happy. We're already at 19.99 for five strands. <laughs> oh, I still hear the calculator tap, tap, tap him. Yeah. What's he doing? I think I know. Oh. <laughs> I did think 17.99. You've pushed that boundary, haven't you? 16 pounds. 16 pounds and 99 pence for five strands. Five strands of beautiful, colourful, I love your, look at, the, look at the green, team it with the red, as you said, Absolutely. there's your Chris, Christmas makes. Yeah. I'd take maybe the pink and the blue like you've done, there's your summertime makes. Yes, and then the multicolour. I also have picked out the purple ones, because obviously the purple ones are special. Of course. So I picked, yeah. out, I picked out the purple ones oh, from the multicolour strand, and there were enough to make me a purple pair of earrings. <laughs> yeah, these are very you, Monica. Uh, very, very, very you. Amazing. And by the way, the carved shell are coming up as another kit. Um, that you can shop ahead on. Mary and Jerry, hello to you. Uh, West Sussex, Judith, Cheryl, Senga, Susan, hello to you. Sylvie, uh, Sylvia, hello to you. Um, another Mary, Pat, Deborah, Jeanette, Jennifer, Jackie, hello to you. Cheshire, Angus, Maker, new customers getting involved. London, lots of you choosing to have multiples, which is absolutely fantastic. Make the most of these unbelievable deals. A beautiful vision of colour. And you don't have to use it all together. Of course. Don't have to um they will you know last a long time you know when we've had we've spoken about your sort of coated uh um quartzes haven't we we've brought you some really lovely uh, colored selenite yeah i feel like these would really Absolutely. work with those bundles Absolutely. and they would work great as stretchies as well very well nice. stretchies uh you can put them on memory wire as well because as i said the the holes are quite generous so you're not limited to what you can thread it onto yeah Anklets. Anklets, yes. Very summery. They'd be quite it? nice. Maybe put some of your cowrie beads in there and yes. things like that. That'd be quite cool. Now, I don't bother with an anklet in the winter because my ankles don't <laughs> see the light of day for the exactly. best part of that season. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but in the summertime, yes, definitely. Sixteen ninety nine. Janet, well done. Senga's got three. Deborah, Cody, Jeanette. Keep dialing through, everyone. There's loads of you there. Um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. But we have got more kits to bring you as well. In fact... Let's do the scoop. scoop. We do love a scoop, don't we? Scoops are amazing. What is it that you love about a scoop? Well, you can just sit there for an hour and just pick and choose, you know, all the, the different shapes. I mean, that's how I come up with a whole bunch of earrings is that you just sit down and you just pick and choose and you say, oh, this will work with this and this oh, will work with that. And I'm just going to borrow this board a second because I'm about to make a mess. <laughs> Um, because you can't not make a mess, I think, with a scoop. So um, here we go. This is the joy, isn't it? Shall I... Yeah. yeah, stick it on there. Right, okay. Ready? Because it's so deceiving, if you like, how much you Absolutely. get. There's a lot in there. Oh, there's your earrings. Yes. There's the matching pendant. Yes. Amazing. Oh, my goodness, Monica. There's another pair of earrings. So you can spend the time. Yeah. So basically what I did was I picked up... Ah. There's a red star in there. A red star? Where's... Oh, yeah. Look at the start price. We're at 14 oh. 99 Seriously, what did we say about Alhambra? What did oh, we say yeah. about Mother of Pearl in the Alhambra? Oh, goodness me, yeah. That's pretty much what they use. For that alone, surely £10. Yeah. Surely. And that's just one. So, so what I did with the scoop was I, I poured it all out like you have, and then I picked out what I was going to use in the necklaces with the other shells and what I was going to use in earrings and that sort of thing. And then everything I had left over went into the three strand knotted necklace. Um, so, I mean, I still have half my bag left, mm -hmm. but I could have used up every single last one of the, of the shells in, in jewelry, you know, if you, if you make, and that necklace I think is so wearable because you can oh, wear it, it with anything. You can wear it with a jumper, you can wear it with a summer dress. 
This is awesome, this scoop. You've got loads of the marquees in Good here as well. You've got yeah. some lovely hearts, mother of pearl hearts, different colours, patterns within. You've got these wonderful squares that I've seen as well. Yep. Look at the selection that you're actually getting and pairs of. So perfect for things like your earrings or maybe uh, um, suites of jewellery. We're at 9.99. Hang on, why is the clock ticking? Oh. Really? Have we got quantity? Tell me what we have. Just over oh, 120 available, but going even lower. I mean, that's me literally just going to the immediate ones, but there's quite, uh, you know, I've got more of hearts like this. I've got some nice drop shapes. 6 99 Oh, my gosh. That's madness. I tell you what, I'm going to let you run with this one. I've got 120. Make sure you check them out. They're a lot of fun, your scoops, aren't they? Um, the other two kits are on pre-order, so you can shop ahead on those. But um, over to you, Monica, for your uh, for, for your demo. Well, as I was saying, I thought I would um, I would show you how to make the green and pink necklace because yep. I put the two strands together because I just thought the pastel. Would you like went... me to pass that over? Yes, please. That sure. would be great. The the two pastel colours went together so well, um, and it's a bit of a. I mean, the rest of them are just basic, you know, stranding. So I thought I'll show you this one because this one's a little bit mm -hmm. different. Okay. Perfect. So it's basically two strands. So you're going to need two strands. You don't need anything special. I've used some of these round bees, which we also have coming up in a minute. Uh, and then my shell. Oh, I also need one of the shell strands, please. Okay, sorry. Yes. What colour? Uh, can we go with Here the red? Go. I'll just pass them over. Okay. <laughs> I'll go with <laughs> the red because that one's quite probably the one that you can see the best. Um, Right, so you're going to need, I'm going to put that aside, so you're going to need your, your beading wire that you get in your, in your basic thread pack, and you're going to need two strands of it. So um, the longer strand, so the bottom, the bottom strand is going to make up most of the pendant and the bottom uh, sort of section plus your flower. So the, so the one of the lengths has to be quite long. You need, I would say, probably three times the length of your necklace, maybe even four. I mean, you get a lot on these balls. So... Uh, you'd rather use extra and then the the top strand uh, you don't need quite as much okay and then you can see on the top here um, I'll show you that in a minute but I've got two strands of, of my beading wire going through these chips here so uh, or these nuggets so they do have a generous hole I had no problem getting two of the of the threads through um, the nuggets so I'm going to cut a quite a long piece I'm just using a, a slightly shorter piece here just for the demo but at home, as I say, at least three or four times the length of your necklace for the longer section. Okay, then you're going to need one little tiny bead, which uh, is rolled away here. So I used a little, um, a little seed bead, but you could use a sterling silver bead. You could use whatever you wanted just for the bottom point of your necklace. And then you're going to start by threading that onto your beading wire. And you want to bring it down to the middle of your wire. Okay, so this is going to be the center bottom point of your necklace. Okay, then you're going to pick out whatever round beads you want to use, whatever color. So this is the red one, so let's go with let's go with the gold, shall we? Use some of my gold rounds. That would be a nice color combination, I think, as well. So get some of those out. Right. So after you thread it on your little bead, so the reason I use the seed bead is because you can pick a, a sort of a neutral color that you can't really see. Uh, at the bottom of the necklace, because this is just for holding your thread. It's not for sort of design purposes, really. And then I'm going to go back to the other end of my threads, and I'm going to thread on one of my rounds onto both of my threads and bring that down to the bottom. So this will make the bottom point of my necklace, okay? Then I'm going to take some of my shell. Now, I'm only going to thread on one side because um, for the, in the interest of saving a bit of time on the demo, but I think you can work out the other side is going to be the same. I mean, you can see there's quite a thick thread going through the, um, the nuggets, so that also shows you that the hole is quite a generous size. So um, also with these, with these nuggets, I didn't measure anything. I, I did most of it by eye, really, because also you can't really count the number of nuggets, obviously, because they're all slightly different shapes. So I just went with uh, sort of what looked, um, looked like the right length, essentially. Uh, and then if one side is a little bit longer than the other side, you can take out some of the sort of the fatter nuggets and put on some thinner ones, that sort of thing. But here at the bottom, I threaded on probably about an inch and a half of the nuggets for the bottom of the pendant. So I'm just going to thread on a couple of them here. Bring them down to the round bead that you've got in the middle. 
Okay, it's got to be enough to sort of come around the top like that, okay? So I'll put these other three nuggets that I've got here. I'll just quickly put these on as well. So as you can see, they are easier to thread on than most of the nuggets that we usually have. Right, so once you've threaded on to both sides, then you're going to take one of your round beads again, and you're going to go through with one of your threads, and then you're going to take the end of the other thread. Imagine I've got my, my nuggets on there as well. And you're going to go through that round bead in the opposite direction. Okay, so I've got my two threads going through in opposite directions. And then I'm going to pull them. Try not to get your threads tangled. So when you pull them, it makes quite a nice shape. Obviously, it's not going to hold now because I've got my nuggets on the other side. But that's kind of the, the sort of the teardrop shape that you get at the bottom there. Okay, so now you want to make a little feature in the middle. So now you're going to pick up one of your rounds, which you're going to thread one onto each end of your thread. Okay, so put one on each thread. Okay, then you're going to take another one of your rounds and you're going to go through it in opposite directions again, like we did before. So go through in two opposite directions. So when you pull that down to your necklace, so there you've got that little square. Obviously, I haven't got all my nuggets on at the moment, so I'm trying not to pull it tight, tight. But basically, that's the bottom pendant section of your necklace there. Okay? Then I threaded on some of the nuggets. So as I say, I'm just going to go up the one side now. Uh, so you thread on quite a lot. And again, I just kind of... Um, estimated the length here. I don't have a, a set length that I used. As long as both sides are kind of the same length, you can hold them against each other so that you have the same length on both sides. I'm not going to thread on quite as many here as I have on the actual necklace, again, for the sake of time here. But if I bring over the actual necklace, you'll see where I'm going. All right, so I've got some on there. So you'll see if I bring this down. So this is where we are now. So we've got the pendant section done. We've done this square here at the top. And now I'm threading on this strand here. Okay. So I've probably got on here maybe eight centimeters worth of nuggets. So that's how much I would thread onto this th thread here. And then we get to the next little square feature. Okay. So for that, now you've only got one thread on this side because remember the other thread has gone to the other side. So now you want to thread on um, four of your of your rounds, one, two, three, and I'm going to need another one, in fact I'm going to need another two, so I'm threading on four here, okay, and then I'm going to come around and I'm going to go through the first one again in the same direction, so bring those round in a circle basically. So, go through that that way. So when you pull it tight, right, so I've got my next little square here. Just make sure you pull all the thread out so it's nice and tight like that, okay? So I've got my next little square here. So that's this part of my necklace there. And then thread on a few more of my nuggets. So I'll just put just a couple on there so you can see what I mean. The nuggets you can also do the same way as you do the smaller gemstones. So you can pull off a handful like that, which does make it a little bit even quicker to thread them on. But as I say, with these, I didn't have any trouble finding the holes. So you can just pull them all off and thread them That's on. That's good, because you're right. Some nuggets can be a bit trickier. They are, oh. yeah. And, and for those nuggets, if you do it this way, like you with your very small uh, sort of microfaceted gemstones, uh, gemstones, <laughs> did I say jumpstones? <laughs> I mean, let's go with that. Your too. gemstones, it does make it quicker to thread yeah. um, as well. So you thread on your next length here, which I just added a small length here. And then I brought my two strands together. For, so for now, you've only got the one strand. So you just want to put on one bead there. So that's your bottom side of your necklace done there. Okay. And then to do the top side of your necklace, what you're going to do, you're going to take another piece of your beading wire. Okay. And then what you're going to do with that is this top bead here in the center of your necklace, you're going to go through that top bead with your wire. And it's quite easy to get three 
wires through uh, these shell pearls as well. So that's not an issue as well. Okay. Obviously, it's coming a bit loose because I haven't got my shells on here, but yours won't. It should stay together. So you're going to take your top strand. Now, this top a thread doesn't need to be quite as long. It needs to be um, just a little bit longer than your necklace, really, because uh, you do need to uh, make a little feature in the middle here. So now you're going to need three more of your round pearls. These are coming up, by the way. These are part yes. of Monica's kit. Okay, and then you're going to thread on one onto each end of your thread again. So use your top thread here and you just move this out of the way a bit. And then again, you're going to take one which is going to go through, which you're going to go through in two directions. So there's my one thread, there's my other thread through in the other direction. So when you pull that, that makes the top section of your pendant in the middle there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now from here, you can carry on the top uh, strand of your necklace. So then you start putting on your nuggets again. Until you want to add on a few less nuggets at the top than you had at the bottom, obviously, because you need your necklace to curve. So can you see I've got quite a long stretch there. On your real necklace, you would have more than that. I mean, you don't have to. You can, you can make a shorter sort of double strand section in the middle. I just went a bit longer with it, but it's up to you, obviously. So as long as you have a few less uh, nuggets on top than you did at the bottom, okay? You'll see if you put it down on the table when it kind of reaches. So you see I've got a little bit too much there because it goes past my, my pearls. So I'll take one off there. And then you're going to go through the top pearl in this next little square of pearls. Okay, just like that. Okay. And then you're going to put on some more of your of your nuggets and then you're going to bring the two together in this pearl here. Okay, so just pretend I've got some more nuggets at the top. So can you see now, so I've got the center section here, mm -hmm. okay, then I've got my decorative bit in the middle there, and then I've got my two strands coming up here and then I've got this section here and then this is the bottom section of that one and the top section I haven't threaded on is there and then they come together there. And then from there on, you just thread your nuggets on onto both of these strands and I put another pearl at the top and then you just finish off your necklace at the top there. And then you do the same obviously on the other side. And that's basically it. I mean, it's not difficult. I think it's quite a quite an easy necklace to make. It's just um, it's just a bit different to how you would normally do it. It's beautiful it's and it's good. Like you can imagine it sort of sitting against the neckline yes. as well. Yes, yeah, it, it's gorgeous. Re it sits really nicely when you put it on. I'm sure. Um, I mean, how amazing is that? And you can make this piece of jewellery for, um, what, 16 99 Now, there are a few extra additions which we're going to bring to air right now. Now, this includes... Um, so this kit, you get your beautiful box, effectively, um, yes. of your lovely shell pearl. You do, and there's some beautiful colours in there. Amazing colours. Now, the joy of shell pearl is it's still shell and pearl effectively so yes. those two natural organic materials that are effectively reconstituted into the most um, idyllic and also robust um, shape uh, graphics alive already so these are eight millimeters in their size and you get as you can see 10 different colors within this storage box also how amazing 20 of each colors um, of each of those colors the golds the pinks absolutely beautiful the different shades of purples those quite sort of quite uh deep look at the red the red's amazing yes, the isn't red. it the red. i've used the red with the red strand and that yeah. long and i've also used sort of the the salmony pink one as well in the in the bead bead at the bottom and i really like using these um these rounds with the nuggets because it's sort of a very regular shape working together with the irregular shapes yeah and it makes a really nice contrast, especially with that you get the same sort of luster on on the the nuggets as you get on the uh, on the rounds as well. So yeah, it's beautiful. Amazing. Uh, Seventy nine ninety nine. So we've got quantity of these. You also get the storage container as well. You know, we looked at the rosary Lincoln earlier on. Yes. You could you could use these individually, couldn't Absolutely. you? Maybe just Absolutely. alternate the colours: beading, rosary linking, knotting, mala necklaces, all of the above. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. We don't often see shell pearl actually, um, or shell rather in your rounds. Don't often actually see them. No. No. And when they do, they tend to fly out the door, especially in an eight millimeter, uh, eight millimeter size. Um, I mean, if you look at the, the heart earrings on the end 
with the shell oh, too yeah. hot with a with a drop at the bottom. It it looks like a it looks like a pearl. Right at the very end. Keep at going. The yeah. There they are. Yeah, there there we, we are. Do you see those? There we go. Yeah, you're just using two. Exactly. Twenty pounds, Monica. Absolutely. Are you happy? Absolutely. Oh, I thought you were saying for the earrings. I would say twenty pounds for the earrings. I mean, yeah, <laughs> amazing. Which is using what one, two, six, six yeah. of your shells. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going even lower though. A nice little addition alongside your scoop, alongside your nugget strand. This is the thing you're going to have. If you think you get, if you are able to actually get hold of all of the, your kits, the three different selections of kits, yeah. that's a lot of selection that you've got there. Yeah. Um, and choice of colours. Yeah. You know, lots of different avenues that you can take your jewellery within. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to work out how many pieces did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pieces of jewellery I made. And I have half, well, a bit less than half of my scoop left over, and I have a bit more than half of my wow. round so left over. Even if you just so you times that by two, 22 pieces of jewellery. Easily. That's, yeah. that's, that's uh, you know, that's an artisanal market. Yeah. Ready and waiting. How amazing. We are going lower. Have we got quantity, Roscoe? Yes, over 100 in terms of quantity. We don't often actually see your shell, though. And when it does, it always flies out the door because you can team it alongside many of your gemstones you'll have already existing within your stash. Perfect alongside the scoop. Today, £14.99. You know, what I love about this is we've brought you recently, and I love these as well. I bought them myself. The acrylic... Yeah. You know, like the polymer, the beads, which are really nice. And they've got a real selection of the colour. Yeah. But let's say it as it is, they are acrylic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. These are genuine shells. I mean, you can feel the difference in the weight. Um, yeah. Uh, because obviously the acrylic ones are really, really light, but you yeah. can feel they're ac acrylic because they have almost no weight. Absolutely. And then you have uh, you have the glass ones, which are a lot heavier. Yeah. Which is great, but sometimes you can't use as many of them as you would like because of they're the too heavy. Absolutely. And then you have the shell, which is kind of in the middle. So I think that's also a really great thing about them is, is that they're heavy enough that you don't think that they're acrylic. No. Uh, but they're not so heavy that you can't use a lot of a them. A lot of them, absolutely. Yeah. Totally agree. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We had 100 um, or just over 100 in actual fact. Lovely selection of colours. So again, covers all different seasons mm -hmm. um, and I think different inspirations. £14.99. There's, um, yeah, people choosing to multi-buy as well. So any questions that you have for Monica, do feel free to text in. Um, we're not too far away from the amazing Amazonite showcase as well, um, which is fantastic fantastic um so we had just over a hundred i can't see names i'm kind of hoping ah, as our call screen's just having a little mm. funny five minutes i'm kind of That's hoping there's going to be some of these left over because i kind of want to buy all of my kits up from today <laughs> again yeah well that well do you know what high praise then that's great Absolutely. isn't it you've worked so with fun. these and you still want more well exactly because i used up most of it i mean i used up most uh, all of the nuggets and i used up all of the 12 o'clock strands as well yeah but i kind of want to make more jewelry with it do you know yeah. what i mean because because there's so many ideas still in my head oh i can make this well they're eye-catching as well aren't they so i can really? imagine you are your own best advertisement aren't you in yeah. terms of jewelry wear so i can imagine you get this all the time monica like for example these earrings that i know are made for yourself yes and then, um, and then the red necklace, my mom's going to take that one straight off me. Yeah. But I kind of want one too. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I can see that. So, And at these kind of prices, it's possible to do that, isn't it? Yeah. Lorna, Barbara, well done. Jeanette, hello to you, Sandra, Carol, Valerie, hello to you, Catherine, West Sussex, Ray, hello to you, Mandy, Helen, Debbie, Sally, you're there. You can still do it, jewellery makers. We've got just over 100 of these available, but they are proving to be exceptionally pop popular, as we fully expected, um, you know, because it ticks all seasons. You could go with like your Christ Christmas vibes, I mean, baubles. Baubles, yes. Amazing. Right, I'll leave that with you because we have got more to bring you. Now, there's a hundred of these available, and we we mentioned it earlier on, didn't yes. we? Uh, with your early bird, it'd be great with your early bird as well. So um, this is a multi-row, but hang on, not as you know it. Bear with. Let me get two tweezers. Bear with a sec. Sorry, Dan. One minute. It was quite strong. Yeah. Because. multi-row yeah, I've never seen one of those before no we've never do you see where it's a magnetic clasp 
where normally they go in that direction, don't they, yeah. without the magnet. Normally they sort of slide and they can be a bit tricky. Whereas this, magnetic, how good is this? And it's That's incredibly great. strong. That's, that's genius. We, yeah, it is genius. <laughs> because, and now, obviously, I'm duty bound to say if you do wear a pacemaker, then obviously uh, avoid. But um, if you don't, then they're an absolute revolution, aren't they, to jewellery wear? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, even, you know, the multi-row class that we've actually brought you in the past, and, and there's nothing wrong with them, of course, but, you know, those ones where you have to kind of slide it, almost like a tube, does that make sense? Yeah. And it you, can be tricky. Because you have to align it exactly for it to go together. And if you're doing yeah. that, you know, at the back of your neck, that's quite yeah. difficult to do, isn't it? Absolutely. If you're lucky enough to be able to swing it forward, then that's a bit easier. But no worries, no concerns. Plus, these can be used in a bracelet. Um, so they are. it's 925 sterling silver. And I think the first time that we've done a magnetic clasp in a multi-row, I might be wrong, I don't remember. I... I don't I've remember ever having it. this before. I've never seen it anywhere before. No. no. So, yeah, true. Good point. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do, jewellery makers. We're going to take it under £20. There's over a 100 Never seen anything like this before. And because we do love a magnetic class, but this is not just any old magnetic class, and we love it so much, it's that new, that revolutionary, that genius... It absolutely quantifies a star buy. Okay. It does make a difference, doesn't it? And, and, and I know I've said this many a times on your screens before. There's nothing wrong with a bolt ring. There's nothing wrong with a lobster claws trigger, all those lobster claws, uh, toggle class. Nothing wrong. They serve their purpose and they have their place 100%. However, the idea of a magnetic class was genius, wasn't it? Yeah. Because so many of us must have struggled with doing up a bracelet for example if you're it's hard to do if you haven't got yeah. a second set of hands effectively it's difficult to do yeah. and even this some people might not be able to do this as well because you know Absolutely. i've got a weakness in my neck so sometimes i actually i can't that is actually quite a tricky movement when that's the case um and just it's it's difficult to navigate now, we've brought you multi-row uh, um, class before, for sure. And ordinarily, if you can imagine, it's like a, a smaller tube that slides into a, um, almost like a sleeve, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and clicks into place. And they work absolutely perfectly. They have done for hundreds of years. These are, they're quite, uh, um, you know, a lot of vintage and antique jewellery will include class like that. But this is that with a modern twist. You've got that same, because if you looked at it, straight away you thought, oh, okay, yeah. So that slides into that, and away yep. you go. But no, the modern twist is the fact, actually, this is magnetic. You don't slide it in that direction, which is normal. We slide it, or rather, and tweezers with tweezers, not so easy. Like so. Yeah. And it's a really strong magnet, you know. I made the whole necklace and I didn't open it. <laughs> which one of you? Oh, yeah, is that the knotted one? It that you've is, got yeah. This on? Because it's multi-row as well, um, it's going to keep everything positioned, isn't it? it it's is. Keep it perfectly, perfectly positioned. Let me just take this off and I'll show you Monica's beautiful jewellery as well. And I guess makes it, if this was a normal trigger class, they can twist when you're trying to put yep. them on. Um, but it being magnetic will make it that little bit easier. How amazing. So if I show you the reverse and you can see... I just cut the threads off today, so I didn't have time to put crimp covers on because I, all right. I glued it yesterday, so it had to dry. <laughs> so you're just going to put crimp covers over yeah, the top over of the knots, and away you yeah. go. How perfect. Yeah. But it means, if you don't mind me doing this, Monica, so bear with me. Not at all. It means that if I wanted to wear this piece of jewellery, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Look. Sorry. It's as simple as that. That would actually look really nice with your black top. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Here we go. As simple as that. Oh, look at that is lovely. That simple. And away you go. I'm out the door. Yeah. None of this. I'm out the door. 1999 <laughs> keeps them all perfectly positioned. 
Next price crash, we don't recall ever seeing a multi-row clasp with the magnet. Yeah. Um, don't believe we've ever done it before, so I do think this is a product launch. Um, so how amazing. Look, keeps them all beautifully positioned so um, that they're not going to twist. And do you know what else is great about a three-strand clasp like that? Because this particular necklace, I could have just put it all on a, a single strand clasp. Yeah. But, especially with the nuggets, if you make a three-strand necklace with the nuggets, you can wear it as a three-strand necklace, or you can twist it together. Now, if oh, you have nice. all the ends attached to a single point, then you can twist it, but as you wear it, it will untwist. Yeah. Whereas if you've got the three connection points and you twist it together that way and join up the clasp, it's not going to untwist, if you know what I mean. Uh, okay. So it holds the, the strands in position, in position, so to speak, yeah. That is a top tip, amazing. I love this necklace. I love it. You know, right, actually. <laughs> it, it, it is, and I'm sorry to keep quoting them. It, it, it definitely is giving me some Chanel vibes. Yeah. Definite Chanel vibes. Now, I know Chanel's not big on colour, but it's got those kind of... The, she uses mixtures of shapes, doesn't yeah. she? Um, unbelievable. We're at £9.99 and pence only. Um, it's still solid 925 sterling silver. You've got your um, triple row. Let me just turn it round once again. Monica, I, can, I know what you're thinking. I stop showing the fact that I haven't put the crimps on. <laughs> don't you worry, my lovely. You don't need to worry about that, because I... Here we are. But look how perfect yeah, so that is. You don't is. have to put crimps on. No, no one's going to I actually see that considered, anymore. because obviously I had the long threads coming off the back, and I actually considered leaving the long threads on there, because it looks quite nice down the oh, back as well. Gonna, yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's a lovely idea. Nine ninety nine, but the clock is ticking. People are stocking up and getting multiples. Janet's got four. Fife's got two. Nottinghamshire's got two. Amy's got two. Jean's got two. Pamela's got two. Linda's got three. Ellen, Helen, hello to you. Pauline getting two. Uh, hello to Cambridgeshire. Nice to see you, Jane Marie. Hello to Holland, Anna. I, I can't keep up with you now. Jean says, I'll have four. Thank you very much. How many did you say, Roscoe? A hundred? Hundred available. It's got to be approaching half the stock being allocated already. Well over half, says Ross. Okay, amazing. Yeah. We're at nine ninety nine. Definitely stock up on those. Yeah. I think so. In thirteen years, I generally think this is the first time we've actually had this product. Yeah, I didn't even know something like this existed. To be honest with no, you, no, not me. Because you, you see, as you say, you see the three strand clasps and you see the magnetic clasps, but somebody had a really clever idea a of putting the two moment. together. Yeah. I know what I'll do. Instead of having the sort of tube that goes yeah. into a sleeve, which can be a little bit fiddly and a little bit tricky, I'm just going to put a magnet in there. Really nice, strong magnet, so it's going to hold and support all your head. And I don't know why they haven't done it sooner, to be honest, because some of those ones that slide together, they also have a magnet to hold, yeah. hold it together. So it's kind of... A, always been there it just hasn't been the simple yeah it's true it's, it's what it is genuinely one of those light bulb moments amazing yeah. 7.99 we had a uh, hundred um, but they are flying so you do need to be really 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 quick if there's a little wait on the phone lines bear with our call center um, a lot of you are multi-buying so that's fantastic there's never any cues on the app or the website so definitely i would say um, worthwhile having to go on there download the app or alternatively, uh, um, the website, like I said, check out. But be quick, because 100 can go in a nanosecond here at Jewelry Maker, and it's certainly looking that way today. Lorna's got two. Nottingham's got three. Jean's got three. Angela's got two. Hello to you, Jackie, Kent, Sally, Conway, Helen, Mary getting two. Geraldine and Sorry and Ellen, well done. Andrea and Candy and Sarah and June and Anne and Julie and Glyn. Brenda, new customers, Agnes. Hello to you, Marge. Check out, because 100 is flying, absolutely flying. Here it is, if you've just tuned in, we believe this is the launch of your multi-row in a magnetic clasp. Brilliant. That's Why brilliant. have we not done this before? I don't understand, mate. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand either. Look at how perfect that is. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And likewise, it doesn't have to be necklaces, does it? It can also oh, yeah, be on absolutely. your bracelet. Sorry, Monica, I've tangled this now, haven't I? No, I haven't. Don't worry. I haven't. Don't panic, everybody. Stand down. <laughs> there you go. Um, absolutely beautiful, Monica. And I love the choice. The beautiful choice. It lays everything out for you as well, doesn't it? A definite, does. colourful And I had so much Chanel fun. Vibes. I put a picture of on my Facebook when I was laying out the beads because the only rule I used for this necklace was I used sort of the bigger ones on the outside okay. and then smaller and smaller. 
but uh, other than that, I didn't measure the spaces between them because you can't because all your beads are a different size, really. So I just and then I attached the shorter strand to the clasp, and then I attached the longer strand to the clasp, the longest one. Yeah. And then I just worked out sort of the the middle one to In get it the right length. Ah, yeah. there you are. There's a top tip as well. Um, looking like they could be a sellout again. Fours, threes, twos. I'm seeing getting purchased. Absolutely amazing. They'll also work with your bracelets, help position your multi rows, keeping them maybe flat, twisted, twisted, as yeah. as Monica was just saying there as well. Um, but great for earrings. So no more struggles if you like with your uh, different varieties of class. If you can wear a magnetic class, then this is definitely the way forward. I feel. Um, a Revolution in the wonderful, wonderful uh, um, components of jewellery making. Um, on the verge of selling out, amazing. Now, coming up, lovely jewellery makers. In fact, get hold of this class because it would be perfect for your uh, deal of the day. Um, this is, without shadow of doubt, the finest Amazonite I have and probably will ever see. It's going to take your breath away if you've just tuned in and you haven't yet seen the promo. It's unbelievable, uh, genuinely, probably one of the most beautiful. You know, we get caught up, and I know I'm going off the beaten track a little bit. We get, I love Paraba Tourmaline, but let's be honest, Paraba Tourmaline comes at a different price point, doesn't it? It has Paraba vibes. The colour is absolutely exquisite. Do not go anywhere, because we have the wonderful Dave Troth stepping into the studio to launch the most exquisite tropical blue. <laughs> makers head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever we have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off so head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favourite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show? Or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. We launched Britain's Next Gem 2023 a few weeks ago and we had loads of entries. We've whittled them down to two groups of four, the first of which will be on the show with me this coming Wednesday. They'll be given a five minute short demo each. They'll also give you a top tip and talk to you about the inspiration behind their designs. That's with an incredible deal of the day and of course an amazing masterclass with Azza Tazza. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. He's here in the studio, and yeah, take a little look to my left. Oh my goodness me, I've never seen anything like it, Dave. This is incredible. Yeah, this is, look, uh, you know, you guys have seen it. I can't stress how good this material looks. Um, we knew the, the, the moment we saw it um, at the Gem Show, how exciting it was um, when they first started mining it and we, we bought some of this rough. Um, and realistically, there's enough for this one collection. The, the, that is, you know, at the moment, that is all we have. We've reached out to the mine, we know them. Um, after this acquisition to see if there's an opportunity to get any more and we actually asked if there was you know a chance to get more for our birthday this was going back months and what has happened in just the short life of this new mine opening up okay. is tragic for you guys it's amazing if you get involved today but i i knew the moment that we bought this rough that it was severely undervalued like i knew that this had the potential to go stratospheric yeah absolutely and, and yeah. we bought you know quite big as you can see we've got these incredible opportunities today but this is all of the rough cut now uh, and it looks even better when i arrive here today because i saw it in the rough i saw you know when when you're buying rough uh, i'm not a, a gem cutter by any means but you can kind of gauge the potential of the material i've seen a lot of rough in my time but because of that because of these gem shows what they'll do is they'll cut a piece of rough to show you what grades they are and then you'll yeah. see the rough that, that is associated with each of those grades now the gem they showed me for this material was exquisite and i was and i i know the game i know that that's going to be like probably five percent ten percent of the rough but i was i remember thinking even if we get half that grade out of this rough it's unbelievable okay we have got that grade from this rough from all of it and I couldn't believe it was called, to me, they were calling it icy Amazonite. You know, mm -hmm. It is from a new mine in Peru. When, they, when the, the local artisanal miners first started mining it, they, they thought they'd hit you know, the jackpot. Because as you guys know, Peruvian kind of Paraiba blue opal, the natural material is mined out. Like the good material has been mined out for a long, long time. Mm. And that was their stone. That's what put Peru on the map as a gem bearing country. And when, obviously when you see this material, they were like, these people aren't gemologists, right? Mm. They're, they're artisanal miners, and they were like, we found it. We found it. This is the material that commands thousands. But this now, just so you guys are aware, is trading for a higher price than the old mine opal. And I want to, I want to introduce you to the opal because you can see why they thought they'd found it. Absolutely. This is, this is the, the, the legendary blue opal from Peru. Only comes from Peru. Single gem there back in 2018, you know, sold for $875 at Bonhams. Uh, from the Andes Mountains in Peru. Beautiful pear-shaped drop with excellent evenness of the blue color, excellent proportions and have an excellent translucency and polish to the face of the stone. That's like a blue opal. But then when you get into the world of like the really good ones, um, I'm sorry, Ross, I might need to click her apologies. But when you get into the world of the really good ones, oh, this wow. is very fine Andean blue opal. But, you know, three years before that went to the, the auctions and you know, pre-sale estimates between six and $8,000 okay. for a strand. And uh, it's a graduated strand. It comes from Edar Oberstein, where a lot of that material went. Uh, single strand, 51 blue opal beads of extraordinary color and fine translucency. That's the best of the best. Yeah. Okay, that's why that material was snapped up by the Germans in Edar Oberstein, sent over from Peru. They put it into a graduated strand, one in the world. It goes to the auction houses. And, and the pre-sale estimate, even back in 2015, was you know, nearly 10 years ago, was six to $8,000. Mm -hmm. Because it's an extraordinary color. Yeah. Let me ask you a question now, live. 
is the colour that I've got for you better than that? Oh, without doubt. Yeah, and, and I know Ross and Adam, I, can't, I don't have an earpiece, but I know we're all in agreement. I mean, that's extraordinary colour. If I, today, if I was to get that strand, I wouldn't be able to get you more than one, and you'd be talking probably $15,000. Okay, that's the reality. Now, even single gems, so it's, even single gems from this deposit, six to $8,000. Yeah. The Peruvian blue opal, fine blue opal. And they say, this is the bottom saying this, again from the Andes Mountains in Peru, which is where this is from, it's from the Andes. Okay. This sought after translucent greenish blue opal cabochon is, is of suitable size to be mounted as an impressive pendant. Blue opals like these owe their natural colouring to impregnations of copper minerals such as chrysocolla. And it first reached the American market in the early 90s. And such fine, fine blue opal is now virtually impossible to obtain. Mm. So like a single gem, a single strand, five figures. Like a large strand. And that's not even the full even colour. That's just incredible, extraordinary colouring moments. And when I saw this material, we have to call it extraordinary Amazonite. When I go to Tucson or Hong Kong, I'll be really honest, I don't go searching for Amazonite. Because I no. get offered Amazonite all the time in Jaipur. Yeah. And I know what Amazonite looks like. I know it's a cheap stone. Just like I know, you know, the, the lower grade blue opals are, can be cheap stones. The ultra fine ones, there's a massive disparity between that mm. uh, uh, and, you know, the, what the majority of stuff that comes from the mine. They go to the auction house, they go to Edar Oberstein. And when I saw this material and I saw that color, and I know it's natural because we cut it, I'm just like, they're genuinely telling you now, you, you can be the judge, you'll see it in a moment, and you may have seen it already. There is not a Parabra on Earth that lives up to this colour. There's I've, not a Parabra on Earth. I've said that. And I'm telling you now, yeah. like Windex Blue Parabra that I've seen, at $60,000 a carat, mm. if this was a tourmaline, it's $100,000 per carat. Yeah. Okay, and it's even more impressive that it's Amazonite. Because Parabra tourmalines, whether they're from Nigeria, from Mozambique, or they're from the original Batala mine in Brazil, they're meant to look like that. They're meant to look like that. Like, you know, they're expensive, but that's, there was a mine for them. There is mines for them. Amazonite, there's loads of Amazonite in the world. You know, we get tons of it, literal tons of Amazonite from Africa. It's usually mottled. It's usually semi-opaque, semi-translucent at mm. best. And this color should not exist. Okay, this is a rare and very fine Peruvian blue opal bead necklace. And that one sold back in 2014. It's one thing to show you the pre-sale estimates. I said, you know, six to $8,000, but they're, they're going to sell for five figures. Of course. Back in, in 2014, so nine years ago, this sold for $13,750. And I've got you better. Like, this is the crazy thing. Today, you're going to get better color yeah. and better transparency. So when Andean Blue Opal, again, this is Bonhams, first imported into the United States, circa 91, created a sensation. And the miners who brought it to market sold out within hours. Mm. Over the course of the last 20 years, the deposits which want to produce this stunning gem have been entirely depleted. They're gone. The present example has a luminous Caribbean blue color, almost reminiscent of Paraiba tourmalines. The one I've got for you isn't reminiscent, it's better then. Yeah. Okay, but these beads were put safely away by a collector and an opal lover two decades ago, 20 years ago, from 2014, so over 30 years, years ago from today. They represent a rare opportunity to own this rare material which is no longer available. Now, I will never and have never brought you fine Peruvian blue opal like that. Why? Because in 1991, I wasn't walking around Tucson. No. Right? I, 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 wasn't in the, I wasn't there when the Peruvian miners brought it and they were sold out in hours. Wasn't. So we didn't get in there. You know, the people that did put it in their safe for 20 years or they took it to Edar Robstein. Now, I was at the Tucson Gem Show when this debuted, this new material. And it was exactly the same scenario. A team of Peruvian miners bring this to the market. They had several different grades of rough. They had you know, specimens laid out that was cut from the rough, and everything went. Everything's gone. And I know this was a couple of years ago. I know that we're, it takes you a long time to cut through rough. And then I know that our birthday's coming up. And this has already been earmarked for a jewelry maker. It was bought for you with your budget. So I said, once we started seeing the pieces coming out of the, the cutting house, and I'm like, it's the best stone in the world. I was like, all right, OK. Reached out to the miners, WhatsApp, emails. I'm like, guys, uh, you might not remember me. I gave you my card. You know, we, we bought some of your rough uh, um, back in 2021. We'd be interested in acquiring some of the same rough. And this is what they had to say. So this is, you know, verbatim. This is the message. The icy material we cannot source for you again. The mine has an agreement with the big designer for those stones because they're so few and far between. And the price is now more expensive 
uh, compared to the top old mine opal, those blue opals. Whatever you have, do not sell too low. Put it into 18 karat gold. And they're not at liberty to discuss the, the designer that they have an agreement with, but it doesn't take much research to see who's bringing the same quality to market. Okay. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what is Amazonite. Because that's what Amazonite I'm used to looks like. Also yeah. called the Amazon Stone. It's, it's the only uh, microcline uh, you're likely to encounter as a gemstone. Uh, potassium feldspars with triclinic crystal structure. Amazonite color can change from pale green to dark green and blue green. These specimens usually, but not always, show white mottling. And there they are. That's like you know, probably Tanzanian uh, Amazonites that we're witnessing there. Wonderful color, probably overly green, but that is yeah. what the reality of this material. But they said they have an agreement now at the mine with a designer. And so I've never seen this material before. So I'm, I'm scouring, researching big name designers. Who's bringing like 18 karat gold Amazonite? And does it look like this? There's only one mine in the world that's ever produced it. And I found David Yeoman. And I find Slithers, you know, whatever you want to call it, amazing. 500 pound, 18 karat gold. Amazonite. Just an amulet. It's still... Right? Yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I know. I know. <laughs> But you have to understand that even with Batala Paraiba, you know, the, the, first, the, the first moments of that mine was the most impressive. Yeah. Like, even though that mine ran for like five years, the people that were there on site at the very beginning mm. got the best gems. Right? The same with the Hematite uh, um, Alexandrite find. You know, the, the first two months of mining produced the finest stones. Yeah. The finest stones. This is another one. This is a tusk amulet with Amazonite, 18 karat yellow gold, 1,000 pounds. Just a slither of this material, mm. right? And I'm, I am offering you now, and this is a fact, the finest natural Amazonite that has ever been mined. And if, if a strand of the Peruvian opal from the same location that looks eerily similar would sell today for $20,000, and they're saying that this is more expensive, then can you imagine why I will never bring this grade to you again. I, you know, I can't even bring you this grade. I can't even bring you the David Yeoman grade, which, yeah. as you quite openly say, it doesn't look like ours. No. no, no, it doesn't. It's amazing, though. But I can't even bring you that grade. That's the agreement. Basically, the agreement, I'm sure, is all the finest rough goes to this designer. Okay, and that's it. Like, they're just not finding this rough. but They're finding fine rough, but this is the finest. And, we will, and I'm, I'm being really honest with you. You're not going to pay 20 grand or 10 grand or even a thousand pounds today for huge 10 mil strands because I was there at the very first moment. Even the miner are warning me, don't sell it too low because you're never going to get it again. Put it in 18 karat gold, mm. make your money now. Mm. They can't even find it. This is 100% natural. It's gemmy. It's, it, Amazonite can be found in many different continents, but I, I'm going to call this icy Amazonite yeah. single locational. It's from one mine in Peru. And I'm not saying I was the first uh, gem dealer or, or gem buyer or whatever to see it. But when I saw it, I bought it. Bought everything they had, all of the top grade rough. And all of that translates as this show. And I cannot believe what you're about to say. Before we show this, Adam, because it is so exciting, I'm going to show you, like, uh, I don't know, this strand or the other strand, both of them, you know, five figures. I'll show you this strand. You know, extremely fine, opal bead necklace, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars $14,000 nine years ago. And then just take a look at what I'm about to bring you. Oh my goodness, Dave. Okay. I, this is probably the, I, I'm nervous and I'm, uh, you know, filled with excitement. Yeah. Is those, but I'm probably also, probably also the most relaxed I've ever been because this gemstone, there's nothing I can say about this gemstone. You're looking at it too. So that's 100% natural. That's insane. If that's it? a tourmaline, it's $100,000 a carat. Yeah. If it's an emerald, it's $100,000 a carat. Yeah. If it's an Amazonite, we can't afford it. And it is an Amazonite, and we happen to be there at the right time. Now, I want to, the only thing I need to tell you is how limited the showcase is. All the rough translates as the biggest strand, 50 available. 50 available. This is the Amazonite money can't buy. And you're, you've got it at your neckline right now, and it's glowing. It's unbelievable. I'm going to ask for a 30 second clock, if that's OK, Adam. And we're just going to offer our collectors the, one of the best colored gemstones I've ever seen. We, well, I heard. That's interesting because uh, 
I heard Ross just say, whilst you were um, introducing this opportunity, Dave, he actually said, I genuinely think this is the most beautiful gemstone. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree ever more. Ever done. Most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. And I thought that when I saw it in the rough. Yeah. Now, I've seen, I have genuinely seen million dollar carat, uh, million dollar rough rubies. And I'm like, why would you pay a million dollars for that? And then with the cutting, yeah. you get to see a pigeon blood ruby. Yeah. But like this, even in the rough, Looked incredible. is awe inspiring. It's transparent as well. It t yeah, it's, I'm, I don't, I'm not even going to call it translucent. Peruvian for the first time, icy, Amazonite, 100% natural. These are the 12 mil rounds that we cut from the rough. That is available to 50 collectors only. My goodness um, me. I would encourage you to, to get involved on everything today and create you know, the, the graduated strand. Just unbelievable. Strand, yeah. You wouldn't think it was, you know, you know, with your experience, with, with all of our experiences of gemstone, because our viewers have got a wealth of knowledge as well. You know, if you saw that before you. I mean, you know, you like you don't have to be an expert or a, you know, a gem buyer with 10 years of experience. You see that and they tell you it's natural and it's jarring, you know, because yeah. I've seen Amazonite, not interested in it. I'm here for Amazonite for the first time because this yeah. was, you know, career defining. Yeah, and, and I would have guessed, if somebody said, guess the gemstone, I would have said pray but normally. Yeah. But, um, I, you know, I'll tell you, I, like I'll you be said, really honest, beautiful. I've never seen a prayer tourmaline look that good. No. Okay. Like, I've, I've, I've actually genuinely, that's the truth I agree, as well. I've, I agree. I've seen very, I've been to, I've been to Idar Robestein uh, with a gentleman called Marcus Wald who, who has a share mm. in the Batala mine. Mm -hmm. He has a safe full of, like, rough from the early 90s. Yeah. And it's genuinely stunning. Yeah. And maybe before this moment, I'd have said it was the most beautiful gemstone I've seen in my life. This is sea foam. It's transparent. It's 13 mil, and, and I'm just going to make this really clear to everyone. It's irreplaceable. There is an agreement at the mine with a big name designer who's taking all the high grade rough, and they're still not finding this grade. This, is, this was, and I'm not even going to like blow my own trumpet, and this isn't even me being modest or whatever. This isn't like some amazing deal. This is just literally right place, right time. Mm -hmm. And you are right place, right time. And there's, there's not many times in, in, in a career as a gem buyer that you happen to be that fortunate. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, like, I wasn't there for Paraba. I wasn't there in 1967 when they found Tanzanite, you know, and the best stones, the ones that didn't need heating. You know, it's very difficult to be in the right place at the right time. Absolutely. Something this significant. Now, we've seen this happen before, maybe twice. Uh, in South American countries, Prairie Tourmaline arrived at Tucson, it debuted there, disappeared mm -hmm. in a weekend. The Peruvian Opal 1991 arrived at Tucson, disappeared in hours. I was there for the Peruvian icy Amazonite moment and it was gone. And, and myself and Jake will tell you this, myself and Jake always have this uh, like kind of unwritten rule where we, we don't, we don't uh, do the deal until the final day of the show. Right. That, you know, you want to make them wait. You, you, you don't want to let it show your hand. You don't want to let Bartering. Them... Yeah, I said to Jake, you buy this now. Like, we're yeah. going to buy this now. Mm -hmm. And we did. And I was, I was really worried because I thought, although I said it's severely undervalued, we still paid considerable money compared to other Amazonite for it. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, if, if I go back on the Sunday and there's still gems there and there's still rough there, Jake's going to say to me, like, you overpaid on that. Like, we could have waited. We went back and they weren't there. They weren't like there. The booth was All gone. All done, yeah. All They've done. got nothing else to sell. Dave, you know, I loved it, the wonderful legacy in the story. Just a really, really, really simple question. Would we all agree this is the most beautiful colour that well, you've ever seen on this planet? Uh, we, 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 we know it's natural. the most expensive colour of any gemstone anyway, don't we? We know yeah. sea foam, that glowing, impressive colour, whether it be, you know, Prey Tourmaline, whether it be, as we said, the Peruvian yeah. Opal, whether it be mm. some, some incredible other gems, anything that, you know, diamonds this colour are the most expensive. Yeah. Blue-green diamonds are the most expensive diamonds in the world. You know, they, they don't, the spinels don't come this colour. Garnets don't come this colour. 80 carats, guys. And there are, at this present moment in time, exactly 50 of you with it in your basket. 
Okay, so okay, not I, I, I'm not even, I can't even buy this material because I'm not even allowed to bid on it now. Mm. But even the lower grades, like an 80 carat strand, 12 mil, yeah. spoke to the team, we'd, be, we'd probably be talking thousands or something like this. Mm -hmm. Like 2,000, 2,500. I'm going um, to start right now at, I don't know, 1,800 pounds. Okay. okay I'm going to start at 1,800 pounds, which is... You know, it's, that, that's, it's going to sell out, but we're going to be nowhere near it. Each you, stone is nearly six carats. You Each also gem. almost want to uh, eradicate the word Amazonite. Yeah, yeah. Because this is not... Do you see where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, I'll I do. Across it the same. Yeah. Because it's not in the same league as what we're used to. No. But, you know, it's one thing to say. That. I mean, our, our collectors are very well educated. They see what we see. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, maybe they thought about that when they had Prairie Tourmaline. Maybe they said, we don't want to really call this a tour Tourmaline. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's above, pra you know, Prairie is above your standard Tourmaline. Of course. Right? And, and that is the same. These gemstones that define these new, yeah. these new moments. Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what family they come from. It doesn't matter what gemstone they are on paper. When something is extraordinary, it's extraordinary. Yeah, I you agree. Know, I totally agree. That's the reality. So the 1,800 pounds is incredible, but nowhere near your price. In fact, I'll give you a 30-second clock. Uh, Maker in Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire, Norfolk, Multibuys in Devon, Greater London, North Yorkshire, Town and Weir, Fife, Buckinghamshire, Kent, Lanarkshire, Cheshire, West Yorkshire. Then it goes off my screen. This is the biggest opportunity to also the most limited. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, Tracy says, Dave, wow, just wow. I don't know how you keep getting uh, bettering what you bring to us. Thank you so much. I've got mine. Congratulations to you, Tracy. We're going to look after you on price. Don't worry about that. We're nowhere near makes done. makes a good point. How do you keep bettering something? Look, but like, uh, you know, look, this, this moment, like I said, it was right place, right time. I didn't even go looking for Amazonite. Not interested in Amazonite. I'm interested in this. And this is significant. So we're at 1,800 pounds. And I'm going to take this immediately down to below the split payments. The split payments on this right now are, what, 600 pounds? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going down to 499 yeah. from 1,800 pounds, and we're not done. Wow. On a gem that we've told you, I've told you, cannot source for you again. It'll be one of those, you were, you were here and you got it, or you weren't here and you missed out. You were one of the few. Yeah. Like I said, 50 opportunities, that's it. That, that is all we have available oh for our incredible jewelry makers. We're nowhere near done, I can't stress that enough, but this color, this grade, this, this kind of gemstone will never be at Gracie screens again. That's just the reality. There are over double the quantity of people with it in their baskets that we actually have available. But you already know we're not done here. If you're waiting, you might miss out. It is time to confirm, it's time to check out. It's £166.33 on split wow. payments right now, and I'm still committing to taking hundreds of pounds off, but just letting everyone know, mm. this is the only one of this size. Yeah, yeah. This I mean, is the only one of this icy, incredible, transparent, top colour, ultra rare, single locational size. It's absolutely incredible. And the fact that it's totally natural. Yeah. It, it, it blows my mind how mm -hmm. beautiful this is. I agree. I agree. Just the, the more I look at it, the more I love it. Yeah. Lots of multi buys as well. You know that we're not done here. We're nowhere near done here. Hundreds of pounds coming off. Yeah. And, and I'm just going to stress... If, if you miss out on this, no chance. So I'm, I'm trying to tell you right now that I'm going to take hundreds of pounds off. It is going to be you know, a price that I don't think anyone's expecting. Mm. But I want to let you know that this is your opportunity right now. You got it. Oh, well, congratulations. I, I, yeah, I saw a little celebration dance yeah, by yeah. Monica then. Yeah, well done, Monica. Ma Ma Monica's you know, seen it in person. Yeah, first hand. Um, and, and so excited. You can looks see her unreal. punch in the air there. Um, <laughs> Suzanne says, James Studio, that looks unreal. So beautiful. It yeah, it does feel unreal. Look, look from this distance away. Yeah. I mean, I've got... Just because this is an important well. moment, really important moment. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you 60 seconds right now before I go to the final price. Are you bringing other strands? Yep, yeah, we have other strands. Yes. I'm urging you to maybe do the, the graduated look. We do have the, y y y your strands. We've cut this, so we've cut this for our, the JM uh, audience in mind. We know what you like. But we're going to do it. But this, for those who want the biggest stones, nearly six carats in each gem, this is your moment. Three interest-free split payments, 40 seconds. I'm taking hundreds of pounds off. Yeah, this is the 12 mil. We have the 10, the 8, 
and then seven millimeters in your graduation. So they are all coming up. Great question, because I've not actually mentioned those. But be quick, be quick, because these are, you know, irreplaceable. Have you ever, ever seen anything as unbelievably beautiful as what is on your screens right now? Have you ever seen color like this? Good luck. Super over allocated. It's all down to you now. I just had a message in actually from someone that, that I can understand where you're coming from. Uh, it's from uh, Caroline in Greater Manchester, who's mm. an incredible collector. And she says, Guys, are you sure this is a real gem and not mad made? It's stupendous quality. Love it. Thanks so much for bringing it to us. Good question. 100% natural. 100% natural from Peru. Not even enhanced. We have to have the same, we have to ask those questions, don't we, For sure, we, Dave? of course, yeah. And that's why we laboratory test everything. Yeah. You have to be a little bit sceptical of something There's, that looks that beautiful. There was 50 of these ever available. Lots of multi-buyers. I think lots of us are just in awe of this. The deal that I can do for you right now that no one else can do. Because we was in the right place at the right time. And if you're there right now, I would say that you're in the right place at the right time, but time is running out. Oh you, you are going to miss out if you're not fast. Your deal on this is 199. Wow. 199 on 80 carats. There's 120 people. 12 with mil baskets. rounds. Each one, what is it, 5.7 carats in each incredible gem. It glows. It has that gorgeous seafoam color. It's gemmy. It's not translucent. It's transparent. We're at 199. And you know your interest free split payments makes that attainable, allows you to get involved. £66.33 on your interest free split payments. Um, here we go. We've got Deborah in Denbyshire saying, Hi, Dave. I have the Sally Hua white coat and jade bracelet. It's an 11 mil Amazonite bead from Peru. Right. It's just like these. There you go. This is it. You know, the, 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 those incredible teams out in the Far East have had access to this material. A single bead. Congratulations on having that yeah. on that piece. And I'm sure with the Kotan mutton fat, it really allows it to glow. Oh, my goodness, it would. It's hypnotically beautiful. Yeah. And I agree with you. For me, this overtakes Pareba. Yeah, for sure. And, and who knows, in the future, maybe it will. Yeah. You know, we're seeing slithers of this material in 18 karat gold, mm -hmm. four-figure price points. You've got a full, unadulterated, what is it, 19 centimetre strand here. Yeah. Each one of these rounds, 5.7 carats. Yeah, amazing. We only were able to bring you 50 of this size. Um, you know, keeping it clean uh, with, with that unbelievable evenness of colour throughout every single exceptional round. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. Um, but it, truly unbelievable. There was only 50, though, 50 available yeah. opportunities. I keep tilting it like so you can see that. Can yeah, I love Perfect it. colour matching. Yeah, matching perfect throughout all of this. Um, right, OK, I'm going to do a 30-second clock. OK. I'm going to do one more deal for you if you want to own this. This is going to impact the rest of the show, but it's a one-time deal, a one-time showcase. In half a minute, it'll be gone. I don't just take a little bit off. We're going to do something epic, something crazy on this. There is, what, less than 20 of these available now. This is going to be sensational. The, the baskets have completely, completely, uh, um, well, they were, fill, they were full the moment that we showed photographs oh, of, um, of this or images of this, Dave. Unbelievable. Good mm. luck, everyone. Five seconds. You can do it, but you just got to be quick. You got to be really quick. So we are going to take this, the biggest carat weight, the most exceptional piece, that incredible color that continues throughout all of these unbelievable strands going to take it down to 149, which actually takes your split payments under 50 pounds to allow you to work with this material, to own it, to create with it. You know, drilled through, of course, it's you know, ready to go with it as a strand as it is, but this just takes it to another level. Unbelievable. Good luck. Good luck, good well luck, done. good luck. It Alison, blows. Maker, Claire, Susan, Marion, Gloucestershire has got two, Middlesex has got two, Angela, you're there, Sophia, you're there, Glyn, you're there, Maker in Wiltshire, Dorothy, Monica, Kathleen, Jennifer, Maker, Kathy, Maker, Maker, Monica, uh, Janet, Angela, mm -hmm. Maker, Lisa. Congratulations, guys. Three interest-free split payments. Uh, the names go off my screen. We also know there's a lag on this screen. I yep. want you to be able to own it. I really would love for you to be able to work with it. I want to see what masterpieces you can create with this. Lots of you wanting to multi-buy, but this is just extraordinarily limited. Yeah, I've ne never in my life seen anything like it. No, neither have I. Neither have um, I. And probably will never see in the future. Nope. 
No, we'll not on this channel. To, no, yeah. exactly. So, so you'll be able to bring it to our audience anyway. Yeah. My get your certificate of authenticity as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, you know, a lot of file. a lot of you, you know, same as me, you know, which can't quite believe that Mother Nature yeah. has created something this divine. Yeah. You know, just sensational. And, and I get Caroline's question. Yeah, um, yeah. So check out if you can. What's that? Say that again. It's so busy that it is taking a little bit longer we to understand. check out. We understand. Bear with our call centre. Yeah. Bear with our um, our website as we sort of well, it'll all click into place. I promise you that. Of hopefully, course. anyway. Um, it's that busy. But I understand Caroline's question. When you are when something yeah, are we that sure? beautiful, you we, you do well to be sceptical at first in the gem world, don't you? Absolutely. Look, you've got your opportunities. Try and get involved. Try and secure this legacy piece. There is an opportunity for you. We know how busy it is, but it does not mean that you have missed out by any stretch. You can check it out now and it's yours. You can get on the phone lines. There is a free phone number. We understand that it's busy. It's a short queue, but look at what you're getting. Look yeah, at the quality beautiful. of the material you and probably only you are going to be able to work with. You do not want to miss out on this opportunity. I know what this feels like because I can't bring it to our collectors on our sister channel on Gemporia because the mine literally reached out to me and said, we can't offer you the high grade anymore. There is an agreement in place with the designer, which means that we cannot provide you even access to that material, let alone the price. Okay. As we come down on the grades, the material is, is extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. Even to get you lower grade, of this size, this length, it's, it's not even comparable to the deal you're getting today. Absolutely. How many do we have remaining? We had 50 of these. I know how busy it is. It's, it's a struggle to keep up. 12 left. 12. We only have 12 chances remaining. In that is world. it. In the world. Yeah. Angela's got two. Maker in Swansea's got two. Candy, you've got it. Uh, 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 Pauline, you've got it. Georgina, you've got it. Janet, you've got it. Alison, you've got it. Maker in Kent, Tina. Great London, we're not going to be able to you know, sustain all of you. We're not going to be able to fill order, all of your uh, orders. But what I'll do is I'll give you a minute clock to see this deal out. Single figure stock on the largest carat weight collector's edition piece of this showcase. I agree. You have an opportunity. I don't want you to feel like you can't do it. You can. If it's in your basket and yeah, there's lots yeah. of you with it there, it's as easy it's as just yet. checking it out. If you're on the phone lines, just wait to speak to somebody. They have a, a better read on how many we have remaining. Our system is showing seven right now, but we know how busy it is and we know what the queues look like. If you can use the app, that's a great oh, way of doing goodness. it, sweeping in, avoiding the queue and getting your piece. Um, Half a minute now, seven left. 132 people six with left. it in their baskets yeah. for the final six. Mm -hmm. That's a really good point. Ross has just said, oh, I wonder if guest designer Mark's watching because this is one of his favourite gemstones. Oh. He'll have never seen anything like this, though. Well, he, we know he's not because he's not on the phone lines and he would be. If yeah, he was watching but, and he saw this, he I know that Mark... Probably, yeah, of course. Um, so, unfortunately, like I said, it's one of those. If you see it, you're going to get it. Yeah. If, if you miss this show, you'll just never hear about it again. Do you know, ultimately, when I think about jewellery, what's the, you know, what's the, what, what's the purpose of jewellery? It's adornment, isn't it? It's yeah. something to look beautiful. Mm -hmm. it, well done. It couldn't be any more beautiful. No. Stay holding on that piece. We have two chances remaining. We don't know who's going to be successful, but if you put the phone down, it certainly wow. can't be Good you. Luck. So just stay there with it. Now, someone messaged in and said, the, the 12 mil, a little bit too large. Do you have other strands available? We do. And the, 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 the craziest thing is, one... We just went too low on the, the, the big size, which means it's going to impact this piece. And two, we're taking the quantity up. Same grade. We only bought one grade. Look at this. This is the piece you're about to own. Wow. Larger quantity of these, Ross. How many in total? Oh. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. We have 50 of these. But we went way too low on the previous piece. It doesn't have to have a knock-on effect. Nope. I know it will. 30 second clock, bring this live straight away because I know you're itching to get involved. You want to get it. Maybe you want to create that graduated strand. Maybe that's something that, that you've got your eye on. You know, you want to go from the 12 mil down to the 10 mil, down through the, the 8, the 6. You know, create that full, unbelievable you know, uh, strand of ultra rare Peruvian, icy, natural, sea foamed color Amazonite. Do you know, I'm visualising, and I love that piece that you showed on Bonhams, but I'm also visualising it alongside Blue Akoya. Oh, my God, imagine. Or even, like, the Peacock Pearl. Yeah. Um, good luck. Well done to everyone who's already flooding the phone lines. You now know that I'm going lower than 149, which is outrageous. 70 carats. 
10 mil rounds, maybe the perfect size. Mm. But we only have 50 a game. It is Caribbean blue, isn't it? Yeah, Caribbean Complete blue. Caribbean blue. Okay, look, let's go to 1,500 pounds to start with because, as I said, even as we now, if we wanted to, we move down the grades. Mm -hmm. And when we move down the grades, the, the reality is that's what we'd be looking at for a full strand like this. Okay. And that's right now. Imagine how this, when this is mined out, when you can't get it, what will happen? You know what, that we have to go lower than 149. Before, you didn't. You were tentative, you were waiting. Now you know how good these deals are, truly are, because we were there at the very first moment this material debuted at the Tucson Gem Show. This is gorgeous. Can you think of any gemstone mm -hmm. that you, uh, you've potentially seen in a full beaded necklace like this colour? No, I not can't. one, not one. Um, 30 second clock. Look, I can see you already there. Helena, you've got it. Annie, you've got it. Maker and Devon's got two. Janet, you've got it. Monica, you've got it. Glyn, Maker, Maker, Valentina. Lots of you joining the phone lines. Lots of you seeing fit to, to multi-buy. Christine, you're there in Stirlingshire. Lots of you seeing fit to multi-buy because you know mm. what you're not paying. You know the, the kind of deal we have to unlock on this impressive, beautiful, sea foam colored, natural, Peruvian Amazonite strand. Nottinghamshire, you've just done it as well. Um, gonna do something wild here. I'm gonna go straight down to 149 because of how busy it is. And I'm gonna tell you that's what you're not paying. Should we be paying that? Absolutely. Even here, we should be paying that. It's 70 carats. Haley, you're there. Kathy, you're there. Soraya, Glyn, Maker. Lots of you with it in your baskets. We had the same problem last time. Um, but lots of you also confirming on this piece. Yeah, there's only 50. There is only 50. They're incredible, aren't they? I'm going to say it. I'm actually going to double figures on this one. So I'm not even going one, two, nine, which is where I should be. I am going double figures. So, yeah, I'm going to give you a 30 second clock, which is wild. You know, realistically, one, four, nine is too low. So, realistically, I should just go one, two, nine, and that would be yes, done with it. We've gone lower. Crazy deal. It's 70 carats. It's the 10 mil rounds. It's the one you want. But I am going to force this, force um, it marginally into double figures. There's been a reaction to that statement, oh, yeah, Dave. I can imagine. Tracy, you've got two. Uh, Devon, you've got two. Meath, Wiltshire, Nottingham, North Yorkshire, Stirlingshire, Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, Helen, you're there. Maker, Kathleen, K uh, Hayley, uh, uh, Carly, Kathy, Soraya, Kent. Good luck. Three, two, one. Yeah, 99, 99. Tracy, you've just got two as well. Well done. Um, there's only 50. If you want to own it, you know that we should never, ever, ever be in a deal like this. I, I, I wish I was a fly on the wall, Dave, when I saw your, uh, you know, when you saw it for the first time. Oh, my time. gosh. It's, it's, it's like right now, how you're seeing it for the first yeah. time. You know, the excitement, the buzz, the butterflies, you know, the, the disbelief. Yeah. That's it. It is disbelief because mm -hmm. it is. We've never, ever, no ever, ever, and probably will never no. see anything like this again. No. I've never seen anything like it in all my time going to the, the biggest gem shows on earth. You know, you know, whether that be in the Far East, in Hong Kong, whether it yeah. be in Nevada uh, at the JCK, or of course at Tucson, which is probably the biggest by footprint. You know, where you've got all these incredible gem dealers from around the world, from Afghanistan and Pakistan uh, and China, and, and you know, you've got the, the Gulf of Persia, you know, and everyone in South America all yeah. coming together in this one incredible place, as well as the wonderful African miners as well, showcasing gemstones from all four corners of the globe. Yeah. Never once have I witnessed something like this. And I think, you know, in the same token, in the same respect, you guys here get to see thousands of gemstones every single day. And yet, I think by the response, we can all agree we have never seen anything like this. No. So no, most definitely not. And we're in double figures. 33 pounds, 33 pence on your interest-free split payments. Wow. Well over half the stock has gone. There is still opportunities. Yeah. Of the 12 Again, million, don't want you to feel like you've two. missed out. Okay, no. two of the 12 mil remaining. This 10 mil, there is still opportunities for you, whether you be in Middlesex or Norfolk or East Lothian or Fife or the Highlands or Kent or California. This Caribbean blue, this 17 chances though. This Devon, you've got three now. Mm -hmm. This natural Caribbean blue color, this sea foam color with transparency, oh. with, a, with a generous carrot weight. 
is, can be yours today. I'm hoping as well that you are thinking of this as your own personal acquisition. Oh, These sure. aren't, you know, something to sell. Mm -hmm. These are pieces that you'll want to keep hold of, you Absolutely. know, like our Jadeites, I yeah. guess. Uh, oh, for sure. I mean, you know, we've seen the Peruvian opal appreciate yeah. dramatically yeah absolutely and now we're seeing a peruvian amazonite that rivals it and and you know outperforms it uh, can't wait already can't make my mind up branca onyx topaz zircon lapis the world of gems buzzing in my head yeah. allison that's you know that, that's how i feel you know getting to see all these wonderful gems and you guys don't have to get the plane tri uh, ticket to tucson we bring them to you yeah and, and we bring you our buying power which means when we buy big we can provide deals like this because we bought such a, a huge lot of rough you know buying single gems the price is astronomical even back then even back then, when you could see a quality like this, there's eight chances remaining. And that, you, know, you can be one of the seven right now. You have not missed the boat. Don't think that. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, they're amazing. And you've done all the work for them. This is ultimately what you're looking for, isn't it? We'll do a minute clock to close this one out because we only have seven remaining. Oh. Uh, Susan, you've just got two. Just remember, as I keep reminding you, yes, it's amazing. Yes, it's busy. But you have not missed out. You haven't yet. Well, congratulations to these people. And it looks incredible on air. Wait until you see it at home. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, Adam and the team have done an amazing job. This mm -hmm. right here. But as, as you can imagine, we can't you know, compete with the, the complexity of the human eye. And when you see this in person, when you see this in you know, daylight, when you see this in mixed lighting, you see that transparency. Oh, the glow. Yeah, the glow, the polish, the symmetry, the matching. You're it's going to be one of those pieces that I think that you never want to take off. I yeah, mean, I agree, yeah. You know, it's one of those I can imagine. What would you put on in favour of it? You know, exactly. Why would you take it off? What, exactly. what do you have that's better that is going to replace it? It's true. It's a good, so it's a This is statement. the reason. It's like, okay, this is it. This is my forever necklace or yeah. whatever it may be. Yeah. Maybe it is that you just choose to wear it on special occasions and that is your prerogative. Oh, absolutely. I completely agree. It is the the kind of pinnacle of anyone's collection. Yeah, this is red. Well, this is, you know, we always go on about the Barbara Hutton mm. in the J. This is that, this is well that Barbara Hutton in, in, sure. in this gem's world. Mm -hmm. Do you see where For I'm sure. coming yeah. from? Well, this is one of those that, you know, if you, if you was to create the full strand, maybe the graduated strand, mm. you walk into a room, people are going to notice this necklace before they notice you. Yes. Yeah, this is, this enters a room before everyone. Everything else just turns to black and white and this is just glowing. Yeah. In it's just so totally prominent. Agree. Okay, let me tell you, I got it, I got it wrong before. This next opportunity they've got for you, we've got a bigger quantity, 75 opportunities. So Is there? Yep, 75 opportunities. We always say bigger the quantity, bigger the deal. We've already gone so low on the first two uh, introductory pieces. This, this being the 8 mil, right? These are, these are 8 mils, yeah. Yes, yeah. So 8 mil, which I know is a firm favourite of yours. That's why we went bigger on the cutting for this uh, strand, which actually is more wasteful. So in reality, it's actually more expensive to create this for you. Okay. But you guys prefer the eight mil, so we cut the rough down to eight mil, and you're about to get the opportunity right now. 75 of these available, 30 second clock please, Adam, and we'll make this available to our collectors. Remember, in terms of the process, in terms of you know, the, the, the cost, these were the most expensive, because we're wasting more material. And that is, you know, anywhere else in the world, maybe you'd be paying for that, but not here. Um, we like to provide you with these accessible opportunities. 20 seconds. Good luck. 75, did you say? Yeah, 75. Bigger, much bigger quantity, yeah. um, which means, I guess, a much bigger deal. Well, it tells me also, 8 millimetres, our jewellery maker audience are most likely going to get multiples. Yes, especially with what we're going to do on this deal. OK. What did you take the last strand to? I took it to double figures. I took the last strand, which was okay. 10 mil, to double figures. Right. And this one is 60 carats. Peruvian, icy, natural, Amazonite rounds, a 19 centimeter strand, eight mil. And again, that if you want to, if, you're, if you've got your mind set, your heart set on creating that graduated look, this is where you need to, to move fast. It would be absolutely incredible. Wouldn't it? This is clearly the size yeah. our audience, well, I mean, you've wanted them all, but this is the fastest reaction. Yeah, 75, but with the, the, the way the phone lines have lit up, it's still not enough. No. Oh, definitely not. I wonder. Maker and Dev, you said multiples. First person on the phone line's got three. Second person on the phone line's got two. Next person on the phone line's got three. There you go. Now we've only got 50. <laughs> you know, that's the reality. Like, yeah. we, we said we had 75, but we don't anymore. It's only been open for a few seconds. Helena, Margaret, Maker, Devon, Sophia, Maker and Wiltshire, Janet, Anna, Amy. Uh, Kathleen, you've got two. 
It's just gone crazy, as you can imagine, on the phone lines. There you go. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, you've done it. 18 karat gold class. Yeah, which is what the, the, the mine yeah. owner said. Yeah. Or the team at the mine that said, look, we can't source it for you. They've got, they've got this uh, agreement in place with the designer. Whatever you've got from us, put it into 18K. Wow. How amazing would that Exceptional, be? Exceptional, guys. Exceptional. Never seen a better piece. No, no, genuinely. Yeah, people would think, like I said, oh my gosh, you've got a full beaded or stranded oh braver tourmaline God. necklace. Just, and again, no. it's all the same grade. Yeah. We only bought one grade. And you can see that reflected in this piece. 60 carats. More time consuming, more labor intensive, simply more expensive to make this piece for you. But we're always making for you, thinking about what you want. And we know that you guys love your eight mils. Um, we understand the 12 mil for some people is a little bit too large. Mm -hmm. 10 mil, I get it, can be considered. Here you go, this is your eight mil, the, the sweet spot, the Goldilocks size in, in many yeah. ways. This and the six mil. And uh, we have 75 available. Had. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, we had 75. Um, we're down to actually the final third. Oh, God. Okay, so, you know, I'd usually start at 1,000 pounds here, but I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm going to start at 199. Yep. Okay, I'm going to start at 199 because, look, okay. you've, been, you've been following the showcase. You know what we're about. And uh, we, we've, we've offering you our, I guess we could call it a closeout because although the mine is still producing, we are frozen out. We're priced out. Priced out. Hmm. I get, I totally get that though as well. Why would a trader sort of, you know, a, a, a gemstone trader, especially when they have something like this within their mm -hmm. grasp, you know, they don't have to. No, when they first bring it to the market, they've got, they've got an idea of yeah. how exciting it might be. They, they, they meet someone like me. I have to be there first. They meet someone like me uh, and I explain to them what we do. We're a shopping TV network in, in, in Europe. We have a reach in the United States. We, we can buy big, we can buy volume. Yep. And in fact, we took the whole high grade parcel negotiated on it took that rough that they'd brought with them to tucson but then let's just be really honest and imagine you're the miner yeah. i come along and i say look we can do this we can do this we can take everything you brought with you of that certain grade great amazing so you do the deal and then imagine yeah the next day stephen webster walks up uh, yeah or in you know in the case of, of this material david yeoman or a buyer on behalf you know you wear a lanyard mine says gemporia and jewelry maker on it You've got someone that comes along, like you know, a Tiffany and Co., a Van Cleef, oh a Cartier, a Stephen, a Stephen Webster, a David Yeoman, and they come along and they go, "Hey, we're interested also in the high grade," and, and our clients will pay a thousand pounds for a single slither. Mm -hmm. like, we're prepared to, you know, if you give us, ex I never asked for exclusivity. I just wanted a great deal, but these people want exclusivity, so they're going to say, we're, "We're prepared to pay a higher price, but we we want first refusal on all the fine rough." Mm -hmm. If you're the mine owner, no. you're going to go with that, it's right? It's a no-brainer, of okay. course, yeah. Of course, you, you, you might sell a little bit less yeah. because they don't, might not have the, the reach that we do in mm -hmm. terms of these volume drivers. But they also then can say, the mine can say, oh, we work with Stephen Webster. We work with David Young. Yeah, we work prestige, with Van Cleef. Yeah. It raises the, the value of the lower grades. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It does. It raises the value of all the other grades. So although the, the, the high grade isn't moving as fast, they're making more money on it. Yeah. But all the low grades are selling extremely fast. Yep. Because I'll tell you right now, had I not been first and I'd have walked up to that mine on the Saturday and I hadn't seen the high grade, mm. because let's just say David Yeoman's bought it all. It's not even on the table anymore. Yep. So the high grade I see is a lower grade than this, mm. but it's the best grade I still have ever seen. And then they say, oh, by the way, we're also working with mm. David Yeoman or Stephen Webster. I'm going to want to buy even more. Of course you are. Because I'm going to come on here and say, guys, you're getting the same material or, or, you know, the same mine, the same yeah. gemstone as this so-and-so designer, right? Of course. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get that high grade again, but you've got the opportunity right now. 30-second clock, please, Adam. I'm sorry, I know I've waffled on, but I just want waffle, you to understand. It's all, it is, it's it's all about timing. How many do we have remaining? We had 75. 16. 16, 16 left. Remaining. Okay. I, I was, was going to just take £100 off and, and then, you know, do something else, but I'm just going to go straight down to the price. 
and go straight down to the price for you. 16 left. We had 75. It's your opportunity. You've got 10 seconds to check it out. Do you know what, Dave? You were one step ahead of Tiffany's because they yeah. would 100% have got hold of this. Yeah, and they may well be doing it now. Yeah. Remember, the, the mine hasn't told me which design. 79.99. The mine hasn't told me which designer it is. They probably have an NDA, a contract, I'm sure. They wouldn't want yeah. me spouting out. I just did my research and I found the only thing close to this mm. is at David Yeoman. Okay. Oh my goodness me, 16, the final 20. 16. Um, there are so many of you with it in your basket. Well done, by the got way. Oxfordshire, Truly. Macon, 40 Deborah. pounds on split pay. 39.99, that is ridiculous, isn't yep. it? Absolutely. I didn't know Amazonite existed I didn't. like this. I didn't. This. I don't think anyone does. I generally, like, I don't. You know, that's the real. Yeah. Remember, no one knew tourmaline looked like it did True. when it came from Brazil. For, for 100 years, they told us garnets you couldn't get in a blue colour. Yeah. And then in southern Madagascar and Bikili, they found a very small pocket of blue garnets. Yeah. yeah. Until you've seen it, it doesn't exist. No, I agree. Um, so congratulations to anyone who's successful beautiful. on this acquisition. It, yeah, unbelievably beautiful. It is icy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Completely yeah. transparent. Lagoon blue. Oh. You know. There's not many things that exist on our planet. No, like, uh, there, it was just when you said icy then, like... Uh, you know, you always see those pictures online. Is it the Blue Lagoon in Iceland? Yeah. And it's surrounded just by this kind of white tundra in the winter, yeah. and it's just this piercing. I don't know if it really looks that good. I've only ever seen it on pictures, but, you know, that piercing blue colour. But even then, that's kind of milky. Yeah, of course, of course. Whereas I mean, this is... Yeah, this is like... Uh, it's Caribbean blue. It's unbelievable. Yeah, this is like... You know, not too dissimilar to the waters that I was very fortunate to see when I was in the Caribbean yeah. looking for Kong. Yeah. And even then I was like, oh my God, those waters are, they don't look real. It looks like a David Attenborough documentary. I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is, how is this real, this ocean? Can you imagine Conk with this? Well, yeah, two stones that I'm struggling to get right now. So well, if you have Conk, if you have nice. Conk right now <laughs> in your collection from, from us here, then Make by all piece. means, go for it. It would be unbelievable. It really would. Um, yeah, amazing. Look at the phone lines. I'm not surprised. Five though. left, guys. It's one of the rarest colours that exists in Mother Nature. And this 100%. is totally natural. 100% natural and transparent and glowing, like a Pareva. Mm -hmm. No well trailer. done to anyone who's been successful. You have not missed out. There are still three chances. Valentina's got two. Angela's got two. Cumbria's got three. Wiltshire's got two. Devon's got three. Great London's got three. And we still have another strand to bring to you. Yes, is this is insane. amazing. Well, that was a question, wasn't it? Um, okay, have you got the different sizes? Actually, we've got different sizes, different cuts. And I don't know if you've noticed these oh, as well. How can we not? How can, <laughs> every time I look at L, I'm struggling to make eye contact because this is just glowing. You can imagine the glow. The largest gems, incredible. Look at those. Okay, we, we now have the six mil. They're coming up, yeah, onto the next strand. Um, Quantity, Ross? There's a hundred. Okay. Bigger quantity, bigger deal. 30 second clock, please, Adam, uh, if that's okay. Um, this is it. This is the final of all the strands. Mm. Ever. Yeah. You'll have Amazonite. Yeah. That's I, I, not a problem. I, 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 and I'm, you know, I don't mean to be, uh, I don't know what the word would be, but yeah, I pro I pro yeah, but I probably won't be on with it. No. You know, like, no, 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 no. I've never, ever, ever been with you talking about Amazonite in my life. I love but, Amazonite. Yeah, no, and, and look, it's everyone, you know, I'm not going to pretend I love everything. Mm. You know, I choose to come on the showcases, one that I've either worked on or two that I'm mm. passionate about. And Amazonite wasn't one of them. And then I saw this. Until this, yeah. So there is an opportunity for you right now. There's a hundred opportunities, let's be honest. And you know we're going to do a sensational deal. And I, we also know the reason we merchandise this in such a way or put it together in such a way that this was the biggest quantity is because we know this is your favorite size. Yeah. We know this is the one you want more than anything else because it's, it's so universally applicable to, to the different designs you want to create. Mm -hmm. right? So there's a multitude of different yeah. designs you can create with something of this size. And it's still that flawless top gem grade. And, uh, you know, I don't need to tell you this because I can see the phone lines, but it's going to be the most affordable. Even though this was the most challenging, the most wasteful. 
Like the cutting team were like, okay, when they'd cut a few of the pieces and we saw how amazing it was, it's like, are you sure you want to cut down to six mil? Are you sure you want to waste that rough? Mm. And we're always just informed by what you guys want. So we're like, yeah, and they're like, okay, but it's crazy. Well, you, yeah, can carve, you, you, you can carve the, the 13 mils, the 14 mils yeah. out of this. And you know, bigger is more expensive. Traditionally, yeah. Like if we were selling this elsewhere, <coughs> but me. we want to create for you guys. We're buying for you guys. So we said, no, no, the, if we, the thing that has to have the most quantity is the one that everyone's going to want, which is the six mil, which is sacrilege, really. You, know, you cut for carrot weight. Yeah. You, you cut for size. You, you, you work with the hand you've been dealt. And if you can cut, create bigger versions of these, then that's what you should do. A hundred opportunities. Wow. I'm gonna, at, yeah, I'm, I'm just, this is going to go wild. I'm going to start right now. Not at 1,800, <laughs> not at 1,500, not at 200. I'm going to start, just so you know how wild this is going to get. The last strand we will ever see of this epic, glowing, glorious material. Unbelievable. I'm going to start at 99.99. I'm going to start in double figures. It's crazy. Is it natural? Yeah. That's, it's, that's a ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's that Mother Nature can produce something like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Celeste blue. Yeah. Completely transparent. We're going way lower, guys. So it is, it's on you now. There's 100 opportunities that you, you can be part of that. You can own this. You can multi-buy many of your. Helena has, Alison has, Tracy has, Maker in Nottingham Shield has, Leicestershire and Monmouthshire. You have multi-bought, multi-bought. It's the way to do it. You know, that wonderful, transparent, top gem, glowing sea foam, Caribbean blue, in a natural, that I would call single locational deposit. There is, there's lots of Amazonite out there from Africa and India um, and, and, you know, South America also, but nothing like this. Nothing that isn't mottled or overly green, certainly nothing this transparent. This is the... This is the ultimate. Yeah, I totally agree. And there is a very gentle graduation. I know it's uh, from six mil up to your, uh, your seven to eight. So a very gentle graduation. I mean, that, I mean, so, we was so fortunate to be, because that yeah. necklace that you showed earlier on, I know it's opal. Yeah. That's a gentle graduation. It's not yeah, knotted yeah, 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 even. Yeah, yeah, it's not knotted. And also it's not transparent. No. It's, it's wonderful. It's amazing. It's from the same country. It's thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars back yep. nine years ago, nearly ten years ago. Yeah. Right. Well, um, thirty second clock. Thirty second clock, and we're going to give you this epic deal. Half the stock has already gone. It's so wonderful that you are trusting the process, not leave it, letting this slip through your fingers. It's unbelievably beautiful. Unbelievable. No enhancement. Not diffuse coloured coat and ah, do you know it's just dawned on me, Dave. There is one gemstone with similarities. Go on. And I know what you're going to say straight away. Swiss blue topaz that's heavily treated. Yeah. And it's, definitely it's not cooked. as rare. Yeah. No, of course. I mean, I I, I, I get it. I understand that if, if yeah. It's affordable. It's affordable and it's great. It still doesn't have this colour. No. Still doesn't have this colour. Um, Straight down then, Ross, the final strand, that graduation, seven to eight mil, very gradual. We're going to go and do this and deliver this to you right now for 69.99. Good luck. 40 carats, Peruvian, icy, unenhanced, natural, single location, a world-class Amazonite. Genuinely, before this showcase, when I got, when I had the first, when this was revealed for the very first time, Dave, I, this was always going to be 299. Yeah. Oh, we, we had a hundred. We had a hundred. Just to let you know, if you're thinking, "Oh God, I'm never going to get that," this was the big quantity. Okay. This is what we created That's for why you. We're doing these we, we, we came to your screens today with a hundred. Over half the stock has already sold out. It's gone. Um, there is room for you, though. You know, think of this as like a fifty quantity starting from now. How you can get on the phone lines. You can get on the app. Get on the web. Of course. Of course, it's, it's an unbelievable deal. The lowest price of the showcase yeah. on the graduated seven to eight mil strand. This gorgeous, impeccable, top colour, ultra rare, genuine Amazonite from, that, from the Andes, from Peru. 
Margaret's got two, Leslie's got two, Anna's got two, Leonie's got two, Joan's got two, Mika and Meath's got three, Michael, you've got two, Miranda, you've got two. This, there was a hundred opportunities for you. What you might not know, Dave, is Amazonite is one of jewellery makers' uh, most popular gems. I did not know that. It is, yeah, but we've never seen anything like this. No. Never. It is in our top three, wow. as voted for our audience. That's for the amazing. Favorite gemstones. But never have we seen it like this before. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like a different gem. Oh, it's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. It's like a different gem. It doesn't Susan, look like it exists on this planet. But it shouldn't. Like yeah. Everything we know about Amazonite, everything we know about coloured gemstones tells us if a gemstone looks like this, you can't afford it. Mm. You know, that's it. Any gemstone. Any gemstone in that colour palette with that clarity, with this size. There isn't one that isn't affordable, wow. right? Um, so this is incredible, but I told you we can't get it again. Told you it's going to be a crazy deal. I started at 99 and I said, you know, this is a sign to show how crazy it's going to get. Mm. Um, Adam, can I have a 30 second clock? We're not so done. So you were never stopping here? We, no, we're going lower and we're going to drive this out. We're going to deliver you an exceptional, unmissable, crazy deal on the final strand. On the final strand that we get to bring to you. We made 100 for a reason. And we always say, the bigger the quantity, the bigger the deal. And you know, we, we're talking the talk and we're gonna walk the walk right now. You've got 10 seconds to be part of history, to be part of the debut, the launch, the introduction to what is obviously gonna become a high jewelry gem, already in the high jewelry houses. Mm. And I'm gonna go to 49.99, 49.99. Which maybe is the price of a typical Amazonite strand here, and this is anything but typical. Yeah, that's that's We're true. We're at forty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, it's atypical. It's spectacular. It's singular. It's incredible, and it's we, the final strand we get to bring to you. Yeah, your opaque variety without that much color. Yeah, with mottling yeah, more I on the green agree. level of the spectrum. Not with that no. complete translucency. Transparency. I can see yeah, the string true. running through it. Transparency. Yeah. See it. It's like an orb. It's like a crystal ball, isn't it? Yeah. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Look at the split payment. You're gonna yeah. need to be quick though. Yeah, you, you really are. Lorna, Moira, Denise, Glennis, Morag, Maker, Maker, Helen, mm. June, Maker, Donna, Sharon. Someone's got five in the basket. Lisa, you're there. Um, Lee in London, you're there. Don't miss it. Got Tracy's got five. Helen's got three. We've got Collector, McCumbry, you've got three. This is sensational. 24.99 on interest-free split payments. Valentina, you've gone for three in East Sussex as well. Yeah. 10 left. Oh, okay. Um, have a little look, keep an eye on the website, see if any of the other strands actually pop back in. Well, in fact, I can give you a stock update. So there's the 12 mil, three, okay. okay. Well, get on it, get Perfect. on that. 10 mil, three, eight mil, two. Okay. This one's six. six. So there you go, all under five available. Um, but you haven't missed out, so you can get on the web, get on the app, ring the contact center, see if there's anything else you want to stock up on that you want to get hold of. This will be the yeah. final showing of this legacy gem. One left, it's about to sell out. Stay holding, yeah. see if I'm it's you that, that is successful for sure. Yeah, absolutely amazing. It's on the verge of selling out. Huge congratulations. Well done, guys. But Dave, it doesn't end there. No, it doesn't. Now we're going to come to those unique fancy shapes and sizes that we're bringing to you as part of this remarkable collection. Like I said, you know, we had the rough. And once you start seeing these different shapes, once you start seeing the different sizes, you'll see the impact of the color. This is magical. No one's doing what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Heart shape, heart shape, Peruvian top gem Amazonite. How many of these, Ross? 50 available. Okay, 50 of these. This is what you're gonna to want to go with your strand, isn't it? This is what you're gonna to want to, to go with the necklace that you've created or the bracelet. There is, we, we commission these to hearts. Um, 30 second clock to bring this one live. There is 50, please don't worry about your size. You can get it resized very, very easily. But this is that full, incredible opportunity. Yeah, um, that's unbelievable. And actually a really simple piece to make, actually, uh, as, to set. Uh, you said earlier on about how, how, how wasteful the previous strand actually was. To actually cut a heart, it's not necessarily waste, it's risk, surely. The risk that is uh, uh, that it takes to cr cut any gemstone, we know this, don't we, in a heart, and it's a definite heart. You know, sometimes you have like trillions masquerading as hearts. Or but, like yeah, and let's be honest, thing. the reason that we do that, uh, and we do it too, because when the, the material is so expensive, because yeah. the last cut is that cleave in the heart, sometimes you don't want to risk it. And maybe we shouldn't have with this, but like I said, it was severely undervalued. We're about to offer you a 14 mil 
10 carat wow. singular gem, the largest single gem of the whole show mm. in the heart shape with the, the, the full setting as well. An opportunity uh, to, to get involved is before you right now. Perfection. It is perfection. It's absolute perfection. Obviously, you get both. Yeah. You get the amount. Um, it's not, yeah, it is a, the mount itself. And then you get the actual beautiful heart Amazon. Okay, look, realistically, it should be an 18 karat gold. The, yeah, the, well, you the, said this, that, didn't you? Yeah, 10 karat single gem, transparent, top color, the heart cut miracle from that singular location in Peru. Um, I'm going to do something wild. So, yeah, I think many of you are thinking I'm going to get a 99 pounds. So I'm just going to go straight down to 99.99. No clock. I only have 50 of these. We've just seen 100 strands disappear. Okay. And I'm about to do something equally as crazy on this piece. Now, the price jumps drastically for a single gem of this size with this attention to detail mm. in the cutting process. That's amazing. But we're size not is already getting limited, but don't worry about the size. Get hold of the oh, stone. Yeah. Right, 30 second clock, Adam, and we're going to just absolutely give everyone the ultimate deal right now. The ultimate deal on this. Look at that. It yeah. reflects the colour against the hand. Yeah. So the, the saturation is incredible. Again, you guys, as jewellery makers, you know how easy it is to get a piece resized. But to have the opportunity right now to get, we've got multi buyers. It's legacy material. Unbelievable. Well done to those of you multi-buying. I think you know how long I take this. And for those of you that don't, you still got an opportunity. We're going to match the, the previous piece that sold out. 49.99. 49. 49.99. 49.99. A 10 carat. Wow. Exquisite heart cut. Natural Peruvian Amazonite full you know ring. Good luck. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Again, I was expecting this to be around about two, three hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. That was my expectation. Forty nine ninety nine. Don't think you've missed out. Uh, Marie, Maker, Tracy, Gerda. We've got Valentina. We've got Joan. Maker in Great London's bought two. Maker in Devon's bought three. Sophia in North Yorkshire's bought four. We've got Jackie. We've got Maker in Nottingham. We've got Amy in Surrey. This is this is your chance right now to get that huge piece. And if you've got the strand, I think it's a must. Yeah, I think so. To have if the, your budget the ring. allows, it's a Ma must. Remember, it's the matching grade. It's the same yeah. incredible grade. Yeah, and obviously the two grams of the silver that comes uh -huh. alongside. And I don't want to kind of like, I don't know, sideline the silver. But it is all about the amateur. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because like you said, your supplier said. Okay, 30 okay. second clock. Look, we've got, what, three further. What uh, are you doing? Two of the, I'm going to go lower. There's 20 left. This is your opportunity now. I understand resizing can be difficult, so we're going to give you an even bigger deal. This is your moment, though. Like, I shouldn't be going any lower. If anything, I should be going up, but this is it. If you want to be part of it, this is your opportunity. 15 seconds. Unbelievable. Good luck, everybody. I can't believe you're doing this. See if I can actually effectively just kind this of... This is sacrilege, genuinely, but I understand the, the resizing. 34.99. What? Ready to go, piece of jewellery, so many multi-buyers. I know that a lot of you are in the trade. You're about to offer you, even your clients that Peruvian IC grade natural legacy Amazonite. Look at the glow. Yeah. I mean, I know I mean, you need to... You've never seen a gem do that. No, you, you do need to cradle those prongs over, obviously. Look but... at the glow, though. Oh, my goodness me. My God. There's one left of the r 2 It's sold out. Sorry, um, just get any size matter. you can. Just get matter, any size that you can. Yeah, you can soon get that resized. It's not an issue. Oh my goodness me. Mm -hmm. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Limited in their quantity. There's a whole heap of you there. Multi buyers as well. Yeah. Again, just it, call up when they say what size you want to say. Any, anyone that's available. Any, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it is very easy to get these resized. It is sterling silver. Any bench working jeweler can do it. You, you, many of you can probably do it. Yeah. But just to own that piece, that yeah, glowing. You probably could do it yourself. Beautiful piece. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good luck, everybody. And yeah, best of oh, luck. Oh, yeah, there's so many of you there. Stay holding. I don't want to talk about the sizes because it is all about that. Now. Please tell me there's quantity of these. 
How many? 50. Okay, 50 pairs of earrings. Now, we don't have the same problem here with size, younger, anything. If you want these earrings, you want a match pair of huge, glowing, incredible, Peruvian Amazonite. This is your opportunity. They look absolutely s sensational, uh, framing the face in the ear. I've been looking at L all showcase, just wearing them over there. 30 second clock, and these are going to be yours. This is the penultimate deal, isn't it? It is, yes. The penultimate oh, yes, deal. It is. They are unbelievable, yeah. Dave. That's how transparent they are. You can see the bar setting at the back. Yeah. That the, uh, the oh, post yes, is on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So that is the silver that holds it in place, and that is what the post is attached to. But that is how transparent they are. There you go. You can see it perfectly there. You can see the silver just through wow, it. Just wow, just wow. You can practically wow. read newsprint through this material. <laughs> Icy, Peruvian, natural Amazonite. Unbelievable. Right, these are gonna go, these are gone. I'm telling you that right now, the only pair of earrings, a match pair, significant size. Four carats in, in, each, in each one of these. We're talking, what, 10 mil rounds? These cabochons? And a match pair, we know the, the significance of that. We know the value source. Good luck to all of you. 50 chances available, that's all we have. All we have is 50. Remember though, that's 100 stones. I, I can't to... think. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. trying to place where I think you're gonna take these two. Oh, it's, you know, all I'm gonna say is, you guys will benefit from this. If, if you're in the trade, if you wanna sell these on, whatever you wanna do, we're gonna offer you these an incredible deal. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to one price because of how busy it is on the finance. There is only 50, so I'm gonna ask for a 30 second clock. Okay. Good luck if you want to own them. They are incredible. If you've got that. Geraldine, time, Helena, Maker in Nottingham's got two, Janet, Susan. And if you missed out on the ring and you want, or maybe you just want the round ring, this would be perfect mm. to be set like that because it's a cabochon uh, or even a pendant if you're after that. Earrings can sometimes get overlooked, can't they? But you ain't overlooking these. You're no. going to see it from meters away. Absolutely. That color comes out. I would encourage you to multi buy and get. Make the other two into a pendant and a ring. Oh, wow. Because like you said, if you're wearing these in the ear, you need something equally as yeah. beautiful on the neckline. Um, straight down, I'm actually going to do something against my better judgment. I'm going to match the price $34.99, even though you're talking about two match gems, even though you've got that sensational transparency, I'm going to match the price. Good luck. No way. Yeah. So fi only 50 available though, and, and and like I said, at that price, I'd multi buy. Yeah. And I would do the, the oh. matching pendant, the matching ring, perfection. Is that what you were thinking? Is that why you've taken it? Yeah. Oh, look, okay. Yeah, because you're you're going to need something equally as impressive on the neckline. Yeah. And on the hand. Unbelievable. Good luck, everybody. Uh, yeah, you're loving them as much as I do. I love these earrings. They're absolutely gorgeous. I love the simplicity, and it's all about that colour, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. And, and the clarity, white. the purity, the evenness of colour. And yeah. in this case, matching them. Those earrings look like yeah. something uh, Jackie and Nassis would wear. Absolutely. Fit for a first lady. Yeah, I agree. And, and you get to acquire them right now for $34.99. 100% natural. You know, glowing. Even Jackie O didn't get these then. Nope, absolutely. Only, you know, we, we, like I said, one of the first people to see this when it debuted at Tucson. And uh, very fortunate to, to have you know, been able to buy that top grade wow. rough. Amazing. Well done. Amazing, amazing. Now we have one more oh, this final is opportunity. This is going to go wild. How many do I have to start with, Ross, in t like uh, available? 50. Okay, 50 opportunities. You know, we talk about big name designers. You're falling in love with this material. We wanted to, to create this cut for you. Mm -hmm. So you can create floating pieces for the neckline, maybe cascading earrings, whatever it may be. This is your opportunity. Alhambra The Alhambra, yeah. 50 chances. And you get all five, don't we? Yes. All five in this, like I said, floating on the neckline, the, 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 the ring, maybe a pair of earrings. It is up to you guys what you want to do with them. 30 second clock to bring these live. It is a parcel that we've had you know, custom cut in this unique, iconic motif. Prong set. Yeah. It's not the gemstone, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we look, obviously we're inspired heavily by the works of Van Cleef and Opel. This is one of their mm. signature motifs. And, you know, they, they create this in all manner of hard stones from malachite to turquoise, as you can see mm -hmm. here. I and I wanted to offer you that opportunity with this material whilst we had the rough. So there's 50 available. 
you've seen the, the kind of things we've been doing, 15 carats. Three carats in each That's amazing, piece. isn't it? You could prong set these, you could, just a multitude of things and possibilities. Yeah. Honestly, I love the idea of having all five on, on the neckline. Yeah. But then if you want a multi buy, and I think you're gonna to want to maybe a drop pair of earrings. Oh, amazing. You know, however it's you wish. It's also a parcel, aren't it? Yeah, this is yeah. a parcel, there's five of these. Maybe just one pendant, pair of earrings, mm -hmm. uh, and whatever else you want to create. Good luck, the everybody. Final 50 of the whole parcel, everything yeah, that we've brought to you today. Oh, I've absolutely loved it, Dave. There isn't oh, a single too. opportunity no. that, I mean, that it's just remarkable how beautiful this I, I is. I agree. I, I knew that we would all fall in love with it. I'm going to do a 30 second clock right now, and we're going to you know, provide you with. You know, I also always like to go out with a bang, always like to do something crazy for you to finish the show. This is my final piece with you, and I hope you're on the phone lines. Yeah, good luck. Use this time, um, use this time wisely. Unlikely that good we'll luck. ever, ever, ever see something like this again. Oh, We'll yeah. see Amazonite. Oh, you'll see Amazonite, of course, yeah. And will you see this cut again, most likely? I don't know if you'll do it in Amazonite, but this material, this is the last time, and, and look, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say this, and, and the only reason I'm giving it to you for this price is because it's the final time we'll get to see it, and it's my final deal with you, so I'm actually just going to do it for the lowest price of the whole show. I'm going to do it for $29.99. Take advantage whilst you can. Five incredible hand-carved masterpieces, you know, um, echoing that legendary motif that we've seen exclusively in the world of high jewellery, uh, a single locational treasure, brand new to the marketplace, a massive carat weight, 15 carats, sizable in each piece. And you know the, 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 the options for the jewellery that you can create lies with you guys and your imagination. Dave, you know, what do you want to do with these? That's £30 each. Uh, sorry, £5 each. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not £30 each. You get all five. You five get all five each. for £30, £5 each. Unbelievable. You know when you were in, in Tucson, did you ever imagine that it was going to be £5? Nope. Goodness me. Oh, they've sold out. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, truly, Dave. And Thank I, you very I much. just to sort of reiterate, was it Tracy that messaged in earlier on and said, Dave, how do you oh, continue no, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. These absolute beauties. Well, thank you uh, for having me. Thank you so much. No as problem. always, it's a real, um, a real privilege. You'll be back with us soon. Very soon. I don't know when. Okay. Sorry, yeah, but um, back to the birthday celebration. Absolutely. Thank but you, and, and thank you to the incredible team as well. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Oh, jewellery makers, isn't he just wonderful? A massive heartfelt congratulations to every single one of you um, on your incredible acquisitions. Coming up after the break, uh, we have a masterclass coming with lovely Monica as well at 12 o'clock, but we're going to bring you a little showcase of our finest Sanon scan. So make sure you join us for that. Make sure you check out everyone. Take a little look back on the website um, and we'll see you in two. Jewelry makers, head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever. We have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off. So head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our bling it back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear. We launched Britain's Next Gem 2023 a few weeks ago and we had loads of entries. We've whittled them down to two groups of four, the first of which will be on the show with me this coming Wednesday. They'll be given a five minute short demo each. They'll also give you a top tip and talk to you about the inspiration behind their designs. That's with an incredible deal of the day and of course an amazing masterclass with Azza Tazza. We'll see you on Wednesday. Back by popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. 
Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page jewelry maker happy to help Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. I told you it was going to be one of the most incredibly beautiful showcases that you'd ever seen, and genuinely it was, wasn't it? <sighs> Monica, you got yours, didn't you? Oh, you're such a sweetheart. He's going to be over the moon with that. It, I, 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 and I do 100% hand on heart believe and mean this next statement. What you've just seen and this next showcase have to be, simply have to be, two of the world's most beautiful gemstones that exist. Do you agree? Because also, would you agree? Yeah. That parcel, and I don't want to, I love Amazonite, I've never made any secret of that, but I've never seen anything like that. It almost leads to, to it's in its own lane, isn't it? And I do believe that if we're talking, if we're, if we're that not so great analogy, but if, you, if, if we're not comparing, because you can't compare the two, but if we have that same stance on, on San and Scarn, San and Scarn is in its own lane. Do you see where I'm coming from? Because whilst I love Burmese, I love Guatemalan, I love your Kotan, I love your, your, your uh, Canadian, San and Scarn is like the Barbara Hutton green, the imperial green that your Burmese jadeite wants to be. That usually fetches for the hundreds and millions of pounds. That's not an overstatement, it's fact. And this is totally natural. So do you see where I'm coming from? The showcase that Dave has just brought you You've got your Amazonite, which is beautiful and lovely, and we adore it here at Jewelry Maker, but you've got that separate lane of what you've just seen. And then you've got your jades, your jadeites, your cotans, etc. 
and then you've got your separate lane of your San and Scarn. Now, if you are wondering what I'm talking about, San and Scarn has, you know, by the Swiss labs, <clears throat> some of the most respected gemological labs in the world have said this is a new variety of jade. It's incredibly rare. It's high in chromium. That's why you're getting that amazing imperial green. Um, here we go. So these aren't my words. This is from the Swiss Gem Lab saying San and Scarn will find its position in the market among the jadeite jades. That's what you are getting. Um, yeah, that's a lot of words right there. But, uh, and I don't think I could read that even if I wanted to. But um, we're happy to send it to you if you want to read out on this as well. But there is another big designer that has, well, actually pipped us to it, actually. Cartier have, are using San and Scarn within their collection. Um, this is the Cactus to Cartier bracelet where you can see those, what, five faceted rounds at the top of that, uh, of that base, uh, bracelet or bangle. It's a, they're only small carat weights, though, very small carat weights. And I can also confirm that, uh, that Cartier are doing a San and Scarn bangle, the solid bangle. However, it's not to market as of yet. What the price is going to be, who knows? It does mean for us here at the Gemporia Partnership and Jewelry Maker, it is highly, highly unlikely that we will ever bring you San and Scarn in a bangle. I do have one today, but that's the only purchase of a bangle we'll ever make. Okay, so Ross has just said I found some inform a nice little description. Okay, what of San and Scarn? Amazing. Okay, so we do find very little. There's not a huge amount. It's a new discovery, um, and this discovery was in Pakistan. It's all totally and utterly natural. Um, San and Scarn gemstones are a recent discovery found in Western Pakistan. These gems are known for their striking green color due to the presence of chrome. Um, at Afa Jewelry, we cut San and Scarn into slabs for pendants, showcase, showcasing a unique contrast between the gemstone's natural appearance and polished metal. The rarity occurrence makes it a distinct gemstone, meaning it should be handled carefully. Um, perfect. That's a nice write-up, isn't it? But also it highlights the fact that this, here is a gemstone that, and Dave actually educated, educated us on this. Here is a gemstone that forms in almost granular. Yes, I showed you some big. Can we show that image actually of the big rough? However, and that's how we'll find it, these big kind of boulders, very little of that can actually be cut into rounds, carving slabs, because it, it's um, granular, basically. A little bit like your chrome diopside, I suppose. When you actually cut chrome diopside, it kind of breaks down. It's almost like grains of rice or, um, or sugar crystals, if you like. So it's very difficult to get big pieces like this. Take a little look at this T-bar. Look at the sizes. That write-up that we just read, hmm. the website that we've just discussed, oh, uh, okay. So they give you the write-up, they talk about how beautiful it is, a new discovery, and then they'll go, okay, I'd like to get some Sanskarn. There's no products in this collection. Should we send them a little message? Just give them our, our web address, our telephone number, something like that. Because you know what? You can get San and Scarn right here. Should we whet your appetite with some absolutely beautiful strands? Again, this is our opportunity, jewelry makers, and it's not, uh, uh, this is not created. This is not enhanced. This is not treated. It is natural, like the Barbara Hutton necklace. It's just a different location. That's all. It's a simply a different location. The reality is San and Scarn wasn't around when Barbara Hutton's necklace was actually being showcased. Um, now we have that window of opportunity. Now I'm going to start with, did you say this or the bangle? The bracelet. Okay. Um, so I've got a bangle also. It's down to you. Look at that green. There is no other jade variety on this planet that I can make such an obvious and direct comparison with imperial jadeite. Um, it's not Burmese imperial jadeite. This is natural San and Scarn, a new discovery. Position, this is not my words, the Swiss lab say it is a variety of jade. But we're in its infancy. 
we're in its infancy. So we can absolutely source this at the most affordable price tag. These are six, uh, 16 millimeters. How many do we have then, Ross? Three, okay. There's only three available. If you want to deconstruct it, you can. There was only ever 10 created because this is colossal for sand and scarn. Go back to those boulders and we said very little of those big boulders, whilst they might be big in size and weight, very little will actually be uh, able to be cut because it kind of dust, it, it, it's, it turns to dust effectively. So very, very, very few gemstones. See that one which says 199, what's it? 1998 on, on the left-hand side of the screen. Can you just see where that concentration of green is and there's just like a darker shade of green in like a square section? Do you notice that just on the very edge? Is it just me seeing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably, I mean, I'm no expert, but I'd say that's a section that you could get a piece. But that's about it. Very, very little, comparatively speaking. That's why 16 millimetres do not come around every day. Have a little look at Cartier. You know they were only, what, a few millimetres? I think those rounds that you saw on the cactus bracelet. Um, okay, so last of stock opportunities to get hold of this amazing gemstone. It's not dyed. It's not treated. It's totally natural. Worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity as well. First price crash, lovely jewellery makers. Hypnotically beautiful and immediately straight down under £500. You've got your five-way split payment, which is 0% interest, um, as always. Hopefully making the rarest, most beautiful sought-after gemstones um, more achievable, more, you know, and uh, uh, um, breaking down that cost into bite-sized chunks. But there are three available. That's it. That's astonishing. So, sorry, Ross has just said that's 27 and a half carats per stone. In fact, 27.8 per single natural stone. That's crazy, isn't it? That's actually crazy. Good luck, everyone. We won't have any bigger than this, obviously. And I'm not saying we won't be able to bring you sand and scar moving forward, but, but we are competing with some of the most affluent jewelry houses in the world. It is certified totally natural in its infancy. We launched sand and scar only a few months ago and it's absolutely erupted in terms of popularity. We can see why. That's not just here at Jewelry Maker, that, that's globally, internationally. People reckon, see it. Because look, even without, if we didn't have the graphics here right now and I was, uh, and I had that behind me, you might think if I tuned into Bonhams or Sotheby's or something like that, surely that's Imperial Green Jadeite. Um, it is a Jadeite, yes, absolutely, but it's not the Imperial, it's the natural sand and scarn. Um, wow, under 60 pounds, you can get hold of this on your split payment. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, there's only a few available and there's collectors showing interest. The reality is, especially when we are talking about 16 millimeters, to actually, I don't know, put a second order in for this, we are talking about an incredibly rare gemstone. It's, it's unlikely. I don't want to say never say never, but it is unlikely. Get them home, fall in love with a hypnotic imperial green color with the same transparency. I can see you there, Angus. I can see you there, London. There's still opportunities, but it is very, very, very limited. And by the way, if your budget allows and you say you did want to make that full, amazing, sweet, then we have strands as well, but they are extremely, extremely limited. Look at that. Completely natural. Have you seen Sand and Scarn in person before? No. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I have a technical question, if that's okay. Oh gosh, I'll do my best. <laughs> so you know you have nephrite jade mm -hmm. and you have jadeite jade. Yeah. So is Sand and Scarn sort of the third one or is it a type of it's one? It's a type of, well, the, the Swiss lab are saying it's a, a variety of jadeite. So it's a third one. No, no, it's, it's a, a variety oh, of a, jadeite. A variety of jadeite. Oh, so, right, okay. yeah, so you've got your jade umbrella. Right. Um, um, which I always describe it as, that's your surname, Jade is your yeah. surname. Yeah. And then of that, you've got your two siblings where you've got jadeite and nephrite yeah. chemically. Yeah biologically very very different i know it's not obviously biology it's just yeah biology. yeah uh, but chemically very different age very different as well this is a variety of jade right so absolutely incredible isn't it wow 
Um, okay, we've just found more on Cartier. The ring to go with that Catcus bracelet. Uh, 20,000 pounds. Also, oh, wow. do you know, I love this shot, Ross, because we're right up close to the San and Scan. Doesn't have the translucency, does it? This is better grade. Yeah. That we have here in the studio. Would you all agree? It's got a lovely, you can see that chrome. And you might be thinking, yeah, the 20 grand though, well, come on, there's diamonds. Okay, yeah, it's 27 point diamond, it's tiny. It's like about three mil, probably. At three millimeters in its size. Yes, there's gold in there, but the world isn't running out of gold and gold isn't one of the world's most rarest, precious materials. San and Scar most definitely is. I only have one left. I'll leave it with you. Good luck, everybody. Please do make sure you check out your baskets to guarantee a success. Here we go. Ah, oh, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? But there's a real mottling to that San and Scan. It's amazing. Wow. It's a work of art for sure. But that's a great comparison. So I tell you what, I tell you what, with Adam's uh, image, you can see that translucency. Amazing, well done, well done. Okay. Um, and then on to the 10 millimeter round. Wow. This may be with your deal of the day. Oh, yes. When you see it in a strand like this, it's, it is as you imagine your jadeite, isn't it? Absolutely. But maybe with your Cartier ruby clasp like Barbara Hutton's necklace. Yes. That was one of the most expensive pieces of jewellery ever. Now, do you think Barbara Hutton would have chosen the San and Scarn variety? I don't know, quite possibly. It's got that same rich colour, isn't it? It's got the same translucency. Again, this is certified completely natural. So, yes, San and Scarn is a variety of jade, a new variety that's in its infancy right now. And you can see in its rough, here we go, um, in its rough, just how, uh, firstly, how opaque that is and how translucent what's on your screen but also how little of it is of this gem quality look at the difference what you can own and it's lovely that piece of rough isn't it it's exciting it's a piece of rough and it shows you the gemstone but you wouldn't imagine that these stones these beautiful rounds have been carved from that piece or not necessarily that piece but pieces like it there's another one, very mottled. Okay, some sections underneath, but they wouldn't be 10 mil. Right, okay, let's start making steps towards your uh, unbelievable jewelry maker deal. Straight under, straight under 500 pounds, 499. Split payments there, but we're not stopping. Have we got quantity of them? Five available in existence. And I'm, I'm trying to remember, Ross, um, in terms of your sand scarn, we, we haven't said that we would, won't be able to get it again because it is still very much mine in operation, right? Um, but what we have said is that price there might be a difference in the price because, you know, unfortunately, we're not exempt to price increases. And when you've got the likes of Cartier working with their stone, and in fact, Dave spoke about this unknowingly that I was going to reference it. <laughs> you know, as soon as you have got jewellers like Cartier, you can go, OK, yeah, well, we work with Cartier, so we can pretty much name our price at the end of the day. It elevates the rarity of the gemstone or, or sorry, the desirability of the gemstone. So, um We'll be able to bring it to you back, but whether it'll be at £500 is another question. 
But we're not even stopping there. There's only a handful of them available. Good luck every single one of you. Sand and Scarn, that wonderful imperial green color, but without the imperial green price tag. My goodness me. And it has most definitely become one of my newest obsessions. Would you all agree? Because of all the varieties of jades that, we've, jades that we've brought you, and I love them all. Cotan, I love the Guatemala, and I love the... Uh, Burmese yeah. jade with a sort of soft, more sort of apple-like tones or the sage greens. But this is, when you imagine jade, when you're first taught about jade, this is what you visualise, isn't it? Well, that's it? what I was going to say. You know, when, when you think about jade, you think of the, the carvings and, and, and yeah. in, the, in the imperial jade type carvings. Yeah. And that's exactly what this looks like. Absolutely. Yeah. The final two opportunities, jewellery makers, absolutely amazing. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, two of these available. Not many people on this planet can actually say that they have... Um, that they have San and Scarn, but you can get hold of it today for that amazing deal. Right, on to the 8 millimetres. So this is the penultimate. Yeah, and the goat... Yeah, this is unbelievable, isn't it? Look at that colour, though. Perfectly matched. Going back to good old Stanley, where he was saying that only piece of jewellery that is more valuable than um, an, an imperial jadeite bangle is a perfectly matched strand. Yeah. And he actually said, look, it doesn't matter what the location is. Jadeite is jadeite. Jade is jade. Yeah. Um, this is a perfectly matched strand. It could almost be that photograph, Stanley holding. And I know it's Burmese, the one that he's holding that sold for multiple millions of pounds. But it, it looks similar. And this is not dyed. I remember watching a, shop, a shopping channel once upon a time, quite a while ago, it was a good couple of years ago, um, a competitor, and they had, oh, this jade, it wasn't jade eye, it just came under jade, right, okay, fair, fine, fair enough, and it had this colour on air, and then it sold for something like, I don't know, like, like, like £500, um, but it was heavily treated, yeah. polymer impregnated, still beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it was yeah. heavily, heavily treated. This is totally and utterly natural. We're at 499 I'm absolutely ready for the price. Let's do it. How many have we got? Ten. Oh, we didn't take it under two hundred pounds, did we? Do you think it's us that's wrong or Cartier that's wrong? You're blaming Cartier. You're saying Cartier are wrong. I think they. I think they're right. They they highlight the rarity of this gemstone. It's us that's wrong. But good, good wrong. Do you know what I mean? Good wrong. You know, we do make, we do make the world's most, and that was the whole ethos and concept of the, uh, of the Gemporia partnership and brand was to make the rarest, the most sought yeah. after gemstones yeah. accessible. And my goodness me, are we delivering it today? There were only 10, amazing. Make sure you are checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, are you going for the graduation? Are you gonna maybe, oh, whichever it might be, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna stand out from distances away. Um, worthwhile, most definitely getting hold of your certificate uh, of authenticity, because it will say state, gemstone, San and Scarn, country of origin, Pakistan, um, and it will come under treatment, it will say not enhanced. So totally natural, it's always worthwhile doing when it comes to your um, jades, whether that's jade eye or nephrite, <coughs> um, because it makes a big influence. It has a, a big impact, if you like, on the valuation and also so um, uh, the price point of the actual gemstone itself moving forward. Please know that 199 um, is no reflection of the true value or worth. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, make sure you're ready to check out those baskets, everybody. Absolutely fantastic. Every strand of sand and scarn that we have in our business. Really? Um, okay, is, is before me right now. Now I've got three opportunities in your six mil rounds. Look at that colour, that's totally natural. It's unbelievable, isn't it? And look how perfectly matched it is. I can see why this has gone, this has absolutely flown. We're gonna do it in one price crash. We're gonna go straight down to it. Oh, yeah, just put your finest ruby in there. How amazing would that be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we do some amazing strands of ruby, don't we? I just love that contrast. There are two left, one, four, nine. You are going to need to be pretty quick on this one. 
Unbelievable. It's perfectly, perfectly, sorry, my voice went then. Perfectly colour matched. First one's gone. Massive congratulations to you. You've got four way split payments. Look what you're sourcing here. And most establishments, most high end jewellers that are likely to actually supply, supply something like this, you know, this kind of ilk, this kind of pedigree of gemstone, this kind of quality of gemstone. Do you think you know, if we went in there and said, I'll tell you what, I really want that. Really want the Sanskarn, love it. Here it's in its infancy, absolutely amazing. And I think that's a fantastic price point. However, I only want to give you 37 pounds today. Can I Can I take it and then come back and give you, and so they're not going to let you. We do, we do, which is absolutely fantastic. So you can get hold of it, you can be working with it, and ultimately you can be wearing it um, within just a few days. Good luck, everybody. Oh, 800, 644, 655, a full strand that measures. Do we have the measurements? It's got to be about 60 centimeters, doesn't it? Because it's a full um, over the head necklace. Um, well done, the final two opportunities. There are more than enough of you with this in your basket. Um, in, the, in your basket, I can't see your names at the moment, so sorry if I'm not shouting your names at the moment, but there's more, we're over allocated on it. Um, so good luck, it'll be first come, first serve basis. Every so often, after we've had a busy show, our, our call screen just goes into a little sleep mode. <laughs> um, I get it, I totally get it. There's one left Candy and Dorothy, Lincolnshire Caffili and Fife, Morag. Anna's confirmed, there's one left, okay. So it's between Lincolnshire, Caffili, Fife. There we go, sorry, Ross was just filtering that to me then. Thank you, Ross, uh, very helpful. Uh, down to the final one, so we're over allocated, amazing, and it looks absolutely beautiful against the skin. I think it's just sold out. We don't know who to as of yet, but massive congratulations on that one. Now, ooh. doesn't this highlight the fact how rare this gemstone opportunity is? This is it. This is all of our San and Scarn. We don't have any more. That's it. Um, our next opportunity is called, isn't it the uh, um, Infinity Knot? Yeah. Now we launched them. I remember launching them very vividly. When was it? Is it really August? Goodness me. Time flies. Look at that, and obviously, look, obvious anchor points. You could just loop chain onto this, couldn't you? Oh, yes. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Four carats, a master carve. And this is the thing, you know, we work directly with some of your uh, the world's finest jade carvers. And to them, whether, it's, whether the location is Pakistan, Guatemala, whether it's Burmese or Chinese, whatever it might be, you know, they know how to turn this already magnificent gemstone into a complete work of art. And that's what I see here. It's a complete work of art to have that level of intricacy in one single stone. Now we launched them back in, in August. We have the final 11, the final 11. All those beautiful natural anchor points are they going to be kind of like Alhambra inspiration sort of sections? You could do that, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah, maybe like, I don't know, a couple of inches, maybe a bit longer. Yeah, but also because you've got the attachment points at the top and the bottom, it would also look great as a, as a guru bead on a mala. Nice. Because you can attach the tassel underneath. Yeah, lovely. But also it would look great as a ring because then you can really see the detail. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's your infinite, not so much meaning behind yeah. that as well. Should we do a silly price, Monica? Are you feeling silly? Okay, let's Why go. Why not? <laughs> I'm feeling silly. I'm always feeling silly. Let's do it. Carved by hand. This beautiful level of detail. Under 50 pounds. Goodness me, we've just seen. Ah, oh, do I say it? I'll whisper it. I think, I think personally, because of the translucency, this is finer grade than what we showed you at Cartier. Would you agree? The, the Cartier quality was opaque mottled still nice because it's for its strong color don't get me wrong it's sun and scarn but it doesn't have the level of translucency yeah. of what i'm seeing on your screens right now look up close and personal in this photograph do you see where i'm coming from it's mottled you've got much more yeah it's not no translucency i can yeah. understand why they actually thought it was more of a mouse it's it absolutely but look at ours 
beautiful translucency. Yeah. And I prefer the colour of this as well. Yeah, me too. To that one, yeah. I mean, it's an amazing piece of jewellery, isn't it? That cactus piece. I would be a bit disappointed with the... Actually, do you know what? They said what? The, the carat weight of that ring, in, in terms of the diamonds, is it 27 points? So hang on, but it's not just, it's not just one stone. So they must be melee diamonds. Tiny, 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 tiny. Because they're also around. It's not just that central stone. Yeah. Tiny, tiny, tiny. So the, so the actual sun and scones, tiny too. Yeah. When you compare, wow, amazing. Mm. Um, I've got one more carving to bring you as well. Um, this again, it's like it's like lace work. This is absolutely incredible. We'll do it in one price crash at uh, seven carats. Look at that glow. Oops, sorry. Hang on. Look at that. Forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh, my goodness me. Let me just show you side profile, just to appreciate, and then carved on the reverse as well. Absolutely amazing. 0800 644 655. There's only a handful of these available. Um, so first come, first serve. Again, like you said, you've got lots of anchor points, haven't yes, you, Monica? So absolutely. you can easily attach, um, I don't know, maybe your tassels, use them maybe as little uh, accent beads. Multi strands, what about like a connector? Oh, yes, very nice. So do maybe multi strands of mm. pearls. Hang on a second, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Sorry, Adam. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You see where I'm coming from. It's worth it, I promise. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> How amazing oh, would that beautiful. be? Absolutely beautiful. How beautiful would that pop? Oh, my goodness me. Or you could even go for something a little bit like this. You could have it in amongst there. Get a couple maybe dotted in between. How amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Now, if you were watching thinking, I love sun and scarn. I absolutely adore it, but, you know, that's a... It's a price point that you can't stretch to right now, no problem. Well, I tell you what, what we can do is bring you San and Scarn. I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. And please know, please understand, before I say these words, please understand this is not normal. It is a one-off opportunity and it's purely down to the fact, let me just explain quickly how we buy, okay? Everything I've just told you is absolutely stands true. Let me explain how we buy. We don't buy necessarily by the strand, we'll buy parcels. Um, sometimes we buy strands, don't get me wrong, but um, we'll buy a parcel. We bought parcels, we bought big. Sometimes, you know, uh, we make mistakes and you won't get as much as you thought out of that parcel. Sometimes you do really well out of it. Well, this is one of the latter. We did incredibly well. We've got lots of beautiful sizes, as you can see, um, out of that parcel. This was an opportunity which we could have held the price up high. It's Sam and Scarn. Any other business would do that. Look what Cartier are doing. But we aren't any other business. And we wanted to make this, a ge uh, this gemstone, as, we, as Steve has always said from the very get-go when he um, came up with the idea of this amazing company, was that... I'm going to make uh, um, acquisitions, rare gemstones, accessible to the masses. I'm going to make this pledge. This strand, the only San and Scarn strand that we have and probably ever will take to under £10. Pure, look, we've made a little bit of money along the way with your other San and Scarn pieces. And sometimes we can take that, I don't know, take the loss effectively. Under £10. So if you are a collector and you want to tick that box, a gemstone in its absolute infancy, beautiful in these lovely organic nuggets, don't you think? Have I got quantity then, Roscoe? 80 available, and I have said it out loud, it's going to be the only strand that we have done, or it is the only strand we've ever done, and probably will ever do, at under ten pounds, you've got to remember. We've got to, why? Why? Why would? Why would the mine sell it to us 
where we don't have the budget that Cartier do and other establishments, we've got budget, don't get me wrong, but you know, and we can spend it, but that we've got to pass, that means you've got to spend it too. Does that make sense? We are, <laughs> does it make sense? Does it not make sense? Did I construct that sentence really poorly? No, if we, if we have to pay a high price point, we can't just swallow that as a business. We need to actually make it back some way as a business. If we get the best deals, you get the best deals. That's why it is probably the only strand that we've ever brought you under £10 and probably will be moving forward. I've got AT, Dorothy, Paula, Kent, Nikki, Fife, Deborah, Jennifer, Georgina, Kerry, Sandra, Barbara, Frida, Janice, Elizabeth, hello to you, Deborah. Elizabeth, I can't keep up with you. Uh, Marion, you're there as well. Make sure you check it out. Tyne and Way, Dorset, Fife, you're there. Lots of Fife collectors getting involved with us today, which is absolutely amazing. £9.99. I am absolutely duty bound to say that this is not normal in the best possible way. You are getting the, one of the world's most exciting launches globally as well and it's totally natural a variety it's not my words this is a swiss gem lab saying this is a variety it'll position itself alongside your jadeite jades um do you think jadeite jade is at 9.99 especially with this imperial light color good luck everyone it's absolutely hypnotically beautiful make sure you stay where you are on those phone lines i'm looking across as well monica it'll go amazing with your masterclass. perfect yes beautiful very different components, but why not? Yeah. Um, why not? Um, a box to tick for sure. And that, that, I think that's exciting, not just as a jewellery lover and a gemstone lover, but as somebody that absolutely uh, collects to get the opportunity to even say that you own it. And it's a big carat weight. You've got 130 carats in total. Now, I've got one more auction to bring you of your San and Scarn collection. That's it. This is our entire... Uh, portfolio, if you will, um, of this uh, of this gemstone. Um, again, most of us will be looking at. If you've just tuned in, you've never heard of sand and scarn before. It's a variety of jade, a new variety of jade that's just been discovered. And you would think that that had been filled, wouldn't you? You'd think that it had been polymer impregnated. Not the case. Okay. So at the beginning of this uh, this uh, showcase, I mentioned to you that Cartier are doing a sand and scarn bangle. We've been told that by the suppliers themselves. And they have said, okay, so we're not gonna be able to give you any more bangles because they will pay the price. Fair enough, that's fair. And we can't disagree with that, can we? But we did launch our bangle just before they did. We did get hold, and it's the same supplier, exactly the same supplier that got provided our bangle as what will provide theirs. I'll ask you a question just before I show you. Have we ever brought you an imperial burmese jadeite bangle no bought you burmese jadeite definitely but we've never brought you the imperial have we have we shown you photographs of imperial jadeite bangles many times absolutely many times we've had that circle of happiness that that uh, um stanley hugh actually showed sold for through is it 3.7 or 3.6 million something like that tiny bangle it's like child size tiny but that doesn't really matter it's about the actual bangle itself so we've shown photos and um, no this is not burmese this is pakistan but it is totally natural and would we all agree I could be, <laughs> could be that lady in that magazine, couldn't I, where she actually holds the imperial jade bangle over her eye. But this is the imperial colour, just a different location. Totally and utterly natural. Also, can I say this is a larger bangle, so if you struggle with sizes, give this one a go. How many do we have? Eight available. We brought an Olmec bangle on Christmas Day, just gone, 799. We've brought you Burmese bangles, we've brought you hinged bangles. Yeah, it's 799 before. San and Scarn should also, I think, believe, uh, be around 799. Do you agree? Not today. Oh, 
What? We didn't do this though, did we? Is that not one of the most affordable prices of a bangle that we've done? For Sun and Scarn? Do you, do you think Carty has anything priced at £399? Wow. Boxes, maybe? Possibly a pen? You might be able to get one of their pens, or, or once upon a time, I think you could. I don't, or a belt. There you go, a Cartier belt. Not one of the world's rarest, most beautiful gemstones. Look at that split payment. There's only a handful of these available. Three in existence. We have been completely upfront, completely frank, said, look, we are not going to be able to bring you a San and Scarn bangle ever again. We can probably bring you different locations. We can probably bring you um, uh, your... your uh, uh, you, your Guatemalan. However, 399 San and Scarn, it's unheard of. Okay, Ross has said he's been doing a little bit of hunting. There you go, this is... <laughs> okay, you've proven a point here, Roscoe. He was like, look, L, actually, this is what, got, what, what uh, £399 buys you. Exactly. It doesn't even buy you a pen. <laughs> it's £730. <laughs> it's not gold. It's not gold. That's gold plate. It's gold plate, probably, that. Yeah, it's not gold. It's definitely not gold. The Santos collection, yeah. Uh, it's lovely, don't get me wrong, it's lovely. 730 pounds. And by the way, do you want to make... We used to, I used to sell these um, at the jewellers that I worked at. And do you know what is hilarious, though, Ross? The ink refills. The price of those. Honestly, they cost so much money. They're just the ink refills of them. It's yeah, I hilarious. was going to say, if you pay that much for the pen, you better get like a lifetime, lifetime supply of free. No, you don't. You have to go back for your ink refills. Oh, no. Absolutely. Likewise with things like Mont Blanc and things like that. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. What do you get someone with lots of money, I suppose? I mean, I say that. I ain't buying any, a 700, paying any £730 for a ring. I made uh, a pen, sorry. Um, anyway, I'm wittering. Let's make our way over to our lovely Monica. We've got your wall of fame. We've got your beautiful masterclass, all about beautiful vintage glass beads coming up. Um, I know you're going to love them. The jewellery is absolutely breathtaking. What did we expect? It's Monica. Make sure you check out your baskets. Congratulations on your salmon scarf. I'll be back after this. <laughs> Britain's Next Gem 2023 a few weeks ago and we had loads of entries. We've whittled them down to two groups of four, the first of which will be on the show with me this coming Wednesday. They'll be given a five minute short demo each. They'll also give you a top tip and talk to you about the inspiration behind their designs. That's with an incredible deal of the day and of course an amazing masterclass with Azza Tazza. We'll see you on Wednesday. Jewelry makers, head over to the website for our biggest web sale ever. We have over 2,000 lines with up to 80% off. So head over to www.jewelrymaker.com for our Bling It Back web exclusive sale and grab them deals before they disappear. By popular demand, introducing the one, the only, Gemporia Festive Ball. Party with your favourite presenters from Gems TV, Hobby Maker, Jewelry Maker and Sewing Street. We're all together for a night that's going to be the talk of the town. Situated at the fabulous Stratford Manor, close to the world-famous Stratford-upon-Avon. 
Tickets are just £99 per person, including a welcome drink, a three-course dinner, half a bottle of wine and music that'll have you dancing all night long. There'll also be a shop at the party and even a tombola if you're feeling lucky. Numbers are limited, so order your tickets today to avoid disappointment. Let's make it a night to remember at the Gemporia Festive Ball on Saturday the 25th of November. See you there. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. Gosh, where is the morning gone? Yeah. It's absolutely It's not no actually life. morning anymore, is it? No, we're actually <laughs> true, true. We're in the afternoon. Um, okay. And on to your beautiful creations, lovely jewellery makers. Your masterclass, you're gonna love. The jewellery is absolutely incredible. Um, look at these. It's got the most beautiful tassels, twisted. Oh, they're stunning. <laughs> I can't wait to show you those. And a big quantity of your masterclass. So what does that tell you? Now, starting us off this afternoon, number 775 is Trisha Bell. Good oh, last week's winner, weren't you, Trisha? Or runner-up, one of the two. I seem to remember your name. I hope that's the case now. If not, you might be like that. Was I? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Trisha says, dear jewellery maker, please find my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. An angelite stretchy. I hope you like it. Kind regards. Certainly do, Trisha. It's absolutely beautiful. Number 776 is from Teresa. Ah, oh, they're pretty, oh. aren't they? Very beautiful, Teresa. And she says, hi, all. Jewelry Maker is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a pair of earrings made uh, with pink Swarovski drops, silver earrings, hooks and findings, all from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everybody in the draw. Beautiful. Yeah. I love how she's used the, the drops with the, with the jump ring through. That's very Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Uh, number 777 oh. is from Vera. Hello to you, Vera. These are, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And Vera says, hi, jewelry maker, this agate bracelet was made for a friend. Mm -hmm. He loved it uh, and has not taken it off for a year. Oh, wow. um, I've had to rethread it once. Um, I live for jewelry making. Oh, sorry, I live for making jewelry. Uh, it focuses my days. Thank you, yeah. says Vera. Oh, oh, well, Vera, you're clearly very, very good at it, my darling. And what a lucky friend uh, um, to have that bracelet. Uh, number 778 is from Jeannie. Hello to you, Jeannie. Oh, you've been busy, very pretty. Oh. And Jeannie says, um, hi all, I've made this jewelry with various strands of jade eye. Is that the photo that, are, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Um, sorry about that, Jeannie, it's not pink. It's, I know your pieces of jewelry aren't pink, it's just for some reason this photograph is uploaded pink. Um, but what's underneath um, is actually some beautiful jadeite, um, all bought from Jewelry Maker, such good quality. Good luck to everybody. Ah, oh, they're amazing. Oh. Number 779 is from Margaret. Tell her to you, Margaret. Very pretty. Oh, and I think your masterclass will go perfectly with this, too. Oh, Toby. yes. Beautiful. Um, and Margaret says, hello, this week's entry is a size 11 CB bracelet copy from YouTube. The CBs have come from Jewelry Maker, um, but the safety chain is an odd piece of a broken chain that doesn't um, react to the magnetic class which I had in my uh -huh. stash. Uh -huh. 
Um, good luck to fellow Whoppers for the draw on Wednesday. Absolutely amazing. Well, that's beautiful. Let me pass over number 780. Number 780 is from Deb Davies. Oh, very nice. Pretty. Hello, here with this week's offering for the Wall of Fame. A necklace I made with cultured pearls I bought from JM. The lady I made it for was delighted. Oh, I'm not surprised. It's beautiful. Well done. Hmm. Okay, next one, number 781, is from Susan. Is it Goody or Good? Um, hello and good morning to everyone. Here is my entry, white jade and pearls with sterling silver slider bracelet. I've used sterling silver jump rings and pin bales, all from JM. Hope you like it. Have a great day. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? What yeah. a nice way to make the jade stand out, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. Okay. Number 782 is from Sue Davis. Oh, this is a bit of you, Martha. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, I saw this on Facebook, yes. Hi, everyone. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I used a fab strand of purple pearls with a few white pearls, glass baser beads, and silver and gold plated findings to create two different looks. It's amazing how far a 38 centimeter strand of, strand of pearls can go. It's beautiful. And isn't it nice how it goes with the gold and the silver? Yeah, beautiful. and the rose as well. They've got yeah. like rose ports. Okay, then number 783. Oh, very nice. Very yes, nice. from Barry Harvey. And he says, hi guys, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. I've made a bracelet made on Mark Smith's design with a crackled quartz kit he brought to air recently. Mark's original design used four seed beads each side of the quartz embellishment. But when I made it, the embellishment sat a bit too proud for my liking. So I reduced the seed beads to two each side and I'm happier with the end result. My only problem now is how to get it off my wife's wrist so I can uh. sell it. Yeah, Love I don't think she's tool. parting with that, to be honest. And I can't say I blame her, Barry. Oh, you're going to have to let her keep it, aren't you? Yeah, make another one. You've <laughs> done a prototype now, haven't you? <laughs> um, amazing. Good luck, everybody. Fingers crossed um, for the draw, um, which happens on tomorrow. There you go. Sorry, completely lost track of what day of the week it is. Amazing. Um, Okie dokie. Now, speaking of amazing, oh, my goodness me, Monica, these are absolutely beautiful. I do love them, if I may say so myself. Oh, you know, <laughs> I, 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 absolutely, that's fair enough. I can totally see why. Look at these, just the tessellation. Yeah. And just a I mixture mean, of the colours. I think these beads, they, they, they need to have movement, but that one, I, I had to give the simple spiral a bit of a go as well with these. That's beautiful as well, isn't it? Oh, it really is. They're almost like torpedo shapes, yeah. aren't they? And then that, oh my goodness, Monica, I can't, I, this here where you actually have them sort of sectioned in between your beautiful pearls. Oh, and there's a tassel at the end. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And then you've got oh. that lovely fringe design. Yes. Are these, uh, you know, they do go hand in hand with sea beads, but also your gemstones, don't they? Absolutely. I was going to say, I mean, we had that bundle of three millimeter gemstones earlier. Yeah. If you replace the seed beads with the, with the microfaceted gemstones in that necklace, mm. oh, that would be epic, wouldn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Is that a, a difficult piece to create? Well, that's the one I'm going to show you. Um, you. I made that one because I wanted to make a necklace that went with the sort of fringy or the, the tassel earrings. Yeah. But I'd used up all my gold um, uh, featherweight head pins. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to do something else. Right. Well, I tell you what, what a sweet jewellery. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, lovely jewellery makers, we have got big quantity. 200. Excellent. These are your vintage glass beads, and they're absolutely exquisite, and they generally oh, they are. Really if you think are. of places like Antiques Roadshow, where you yes. sometimes see a vintage jewellery, it's absolutely. pieces like this, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, and they go so well with everything. I mean, you can see on that one, I put it with pearls uh, and I've put it with seed beads, but I think you can put it with so many different gemstones, especially with all the different colors you've got there. So oh, yeah. they're so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. And those earrings as well with the pearls, I love those. I'm just yeah. taking like a selection of the colors. Oh, wow. They're fantastic. It's hard to choose which, one, which one's my favourite colour. And interestingly, the green strand is slightly different to the others. Yes, yeah, absolutely. The, other, the others are opaque and then the green is sort of clear. More like a clear glass, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yes, you can see that now, can't you? Absolutely beautiful. So these are brand new. They've never been on air before. And you get, what, five strands? Is that right? 
I think six. Six? six strands, yeah. Six strands of your vintage glass. Now, we've got a big quantity, and there's a reason why I'm telling you that. Big quantity of them usually bears a reflection on how low we can go in terms of price point. Now, just to start somewhere, straight away, under £100. Amazing. Not stopping there. Forget that. <laughs> how about simple mass, £10 each? Oh, they look like they're kind of dipped, don't they? Oh, yeah. I, I, like dipped. I, it is, yeah. Boop. I'd absolutely pay that for the for the. Like you would do a strawberry with chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How many of us did that? They went, oh, mm. yeah. <laughs> Strawberries dipped in chocolate. <laughs> Yummy. It's like that, though, isn't it? In a glass bead. Yeah. Beautiful. Every single one unique. Amazing. We're at £10 per strand. You've got a rainbow of colours, as the graphic suggests. They're seven by four millimetres. And talk to us about the shape, because it is it it is well, like an egg. It is. And I was trying to decide whether it's actually a proper, like a rice bead shape, or if it's kind of fatter on the on the gold end. I think it's a little bit fatter on the gold end. So if you look at the, um, the two pairs of earrings, sorry, they're at the opposite ends of the display, but... This one here with the orange and the green, I've used it with the gold end facing downwards. Yeah. But for the blue and pearl on the other side, I've, I've used them the other way around with the, with the color facing downwards. Um, so I think they kind of work either way. Can you see there I've got the, yes. the colored. So it depends if you want to show more of the, the colored side or the gold. I think it's a little bit fatter on the gold end because to me, it looks like the way these must be made is that the whole bead is dipped in gold yeah. and then it's like faceted on half. Oh, um, OK. Yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah. What, I mean, could... I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, you know, like sometimes I'm not making comparisons. But you know, like sometimes when you sharpen a pencil, yes, you get those kind of exactly. ridges and it creates like a exactly. circular detail. Yeah. yeah. Can you see it? Um, creates those kind of like fringing all the way around. Fifty nine ninety nine, and we're not stopping there. We've got 200. OK. I reckon, Roscoe, 60 second clock, call to action. We've got a big quantity. We obviously want a big quantity to go. This is going to lend itself to whatever your medium, whatever your capabilities, whether you're brand new, whether you're established, you know, whether you're a sea beader, whether you prefer beading with your gemstones. You could use them with your wire work. You yep. can do just a multitude. Tassels. Absolutely. Any, anything. Stretchy. You can just use them as stretchies if True. you wanted to. True, you know, stretchies. Because you've got your detail there, you've got a little bit of the metal colour there. You don't need to add anything to it if you don't want to. Absolutely loving these. Uh, but we need to see you there. That's why the clock's ticking. The more of you that are there, the lower that we'll go. We've got 200 of them. And, and, and I know that Ross has got, it, got you back. Yes, he he's going to bring you an amazing... He says, oh, yeah, you, can, you betcha. He says, I'll tell you what, next price crash that we're going to bring it to air is not going to be your closing price. I love the choice of colours. Yes. Next price crash. Not going to be your closing deal. When you think about it, actually, Monica, and I'm just going to wait till Ross does this and then I'll continue that sentence. How many strands have we got? Six. That's five pounds a strand. Five pounds a strand. <laughs> Monica, we've sold things like um, certain varieties of fire glass. Yeah. Haven't we? The fire polish, which are about that length, usually, like, I don't know, about three, four centimetres, yeah. uh, inches, sorry. Um, and I'm fairly sure they were more than five pounds per strand. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. But we've bought different varieties, haven't we? Whether it be Preciosa, fire polish, glass, yeah. acrylic. Yeah. We've brought you loads of different varieties. Here we are bringing you this brand new design, which has got a whole process behind it as well, hasn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. And they definitely have this uh, vintage look to them. Uh, yeah, right? definitely. And also, I mean, I've put all of them with gold because that was the obvious choice because they're dipped in gold. Mm. But you don't have to put them with gold, you know, mixed metals are, are very much yeah, in. So absolutely. you can put them with silver, you can put them with rose gold, you can mix all three of them together. Yeah. So Ross, what are you regretting? Saying to, that you were going to a price that you're not closing at. Okay. You said, I'm not stopping here. Have they? Our, fro our call screen's frozen again, so I can't see what's going on right now. Phone line's gone crazy, says Ross. Amazing. 
But we are not stopping here. Five pound per strand. How about we do five pound per strand of your beautiful vintage glass with your multiple colours. However, one of those strands for free. Fabulous. It is fabulous, and they're nice long lengths as Everybody well. Everybody likes they? a freebie. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. You you feel like you've won, yeah. don't you, when you get a little bit of a freebie? Yes. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Visions of colour, a multitude of uses, a whole process, absolutely. And I think a bit, bit like your um, preciosas, aren't they? They, they, they're finished individually, aren't they? Absolutely. So they sort of go absolutely. through the actual. Yeah, and I mean, I've, all the pieces that I've made are quite heavy. Um, mm heavy use of this particular bead um, like like for the, the simple spiral there I use the whole strand of the red mm. um, but obviously you can make it go a really really long way because you do have a lot on a strand um, so you could make a lot more jewelry than I've made if you don't put quite so many in one piece if you know what I mean absolutely amazing Monica I mean that necklace if you think you've made what all of these pieces out of this one bundle I did yes that's pretty it's gonna go a long way 24 yeah. pounds and 99 pence out of curiosity, I know, for example, you're not parting with some of these because I know they're right <laughs> up your street as well. I know Monica well enough. Um, but that necklace, for example, the simple spiral, if you were to sell it, is it going to be £24.99? No. No, I don't think I so. I would say upwards of £40. Yeah, I think yeah. so. And because the simple spiral is quite a quick seed beading technique. Um, you know, if it was something like a Cellini spiral, then obviously you have to count your time as well. Yeah, but of course you do. What about that lovely fringe necklace? Mm, about the same, because that's also quite quick, actually. That's, that's okay. I'm going to show okay. you how that goes. What about these earrings? Ooh, £30, Gosh, maybe? that's good, isn't it? You could make a lot of those earrings. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Um, so basically, you get a strand for free, which is pretty incredible. Hello to you, Jennifer, Mary and Jerry, Joyce, Frida, Shirley, Jacqueline, Linda, Jeanette. I can't, the phone lines have, has, has our call screen frozen again? Um, Carol, Kathleen, Patricia, Jeanette, Linda, Jacqueline, Shirley, Joyce, you're there, Elizabeth, Sandra, Christine, Carol, I can't, yeah. Um, I mean, I, yeah, the, phone, the call screens keeps jamming, but um, I know there's a massive quantity of you there. Pardon? What do you mean we're still not done? So you said one for free. Do you want two for free? <laughs> the whole bundle under twenty pounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what three pound fifty for three pound jewelry. <laughs> yeah, three pound fifty has cost you to make those pieces of jewelry, and I guess you've got some left over. And not, not the glass beads, no. I, you it's one another one of those where I couldn't stop. Fair enough, I don't blame <laughs> you at all. And they go hand in hand, both your 9 o'clock kits and your 12 o'clock kits. Um, amazing, the phone lines have gone crazy. I've said it out loud. Um, we are taking this amazing kit, six strands of your beautiful vintage glass, under £20, and that gets you all six of the strands. Well done, Jennifer, Dorothy, Denbyshire, Pauline, Janice, Regine, Judith. Um, hello to you, Tamina. Hello to you, Linda, Jacqueline, Shirley, Frida, Joyce, Mary and Jerry, Christine, London, Sandra, Cheryl, Ivy, Jay Marie. New customers, Lorna, Jennifer, Gerda, Wendy, Carol, I can't keep up, Shaolene, uh, Suzanne, Tynanware, um, London. New customers getting involved. It's going low. We've said it out loud. Under £20, everybody pays that final low price tag. I don't think people are just going to be getting one of this bundle now. So that's, what, £3.30-ish a strand? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and they're long strands, too, 30 centimetres. Yeah. You know, other strands sometimes, if you get the sort of glass beads, can be quite short, can't yeah. they? Or oh, little yeah. parcels. Usually sort of maybe 20 centimetres. Yeah. So these are long strands. Well done, everybody. You know what I mean, to do. We had 200, but they're absolutely flying. I can see why. They're so beautiful, and they are very vintage. Beautiful definitely. vintage vibes. Um, so, Monica, which of your fantastic pieces are you well, going to Well, I thought the fringy one. The fringy one? Yes. Do you want me to bring it over? Yes, please. And also, I'm going to need to steal a strand again, because... <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> Let's go with blue. That one. Lovely. That blue is nice. It is. They're all okay. nice. <laughs> they are. It's hard to choose a favourite, isn't it? Okay, hang on a second. Oh. Yes. There we are. So it's a really simple technique, actually. It's it's not a seed beading technique, so you don't have to be a seed beater to be able to make this necklace. Um, and as you can see from what Elle's doing, it's very sort of tactile. Oh, I really am sorry. I was, I've been desperate to give it a little... Uh, 
Yeah. A little jiggle. Yeah. <laughs> they're nice, aren't they? That's beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. So I've used about altogether um, because there's three colours in there, but then I also made the earrings. So I've probably used about two, no, well, one and a half strands of the okay. glass beads for that. It looks more, doesn't it? It does. It looks quite full, doesn't it? Yeah. And then, of course, I've added uh, size 8 and size 11 seed beads. So to make this, uh, let me just open up the, the glass strand. Where's my scissors? Okay. So what you're going to need, you're going to need, as I said, some size 8 and some size 11 seed beads or gemstones, as I said earlier. So you can use 2mm and 3mm um, gemstones if, if you'd like. Then you're going to need your, your same beading wire again that we did in the, in the other demo, the one that comes in, the, in your threading bundles. Now, actually, I should have used the gold, um, to be honest with you. I had a bit of a senior moment when I made that necklace and I used the silver and now I've got the silver here again. So if you have the gold beading wire, use that one. If you don't, it doesn't really matter because you don't see most of it anyway. Right, then the other thread I'm going to use is uh, either the KO thread or the last time I was on, we had the Mayuki threads, uh, which are pretty much the same. So you can use either one of those because uh, it's a nice soft thread. Uh, so it works well with sort of fringing and things. For this particular one, because it's not a very um, long fringe and it doesn't matter if the, the strands are not perfectly straight because it's kind of all, I suppose fluffy would be the word you use. Yeah. Uh, you could use Fireline if you didn't have any of this kind of thread. Uh, you could also use the Ceylon threads, which, are, which work great, or the Nymo threads. So any of the softer threads would be better. But as I say, you can use Fireline if, you, if that's really all that you have. So I'm going to take a length of this thread. Um, altogether for the whole necklace, I used about three meters of the thread. Um, I'm just going to use a small piece here for the demo. So when you take it off the, the spool, it's kind of all curly. I don't know if you can see that yeah. on screen. Maybe you can. Uh, so what you do with this kind of thread is you need to stretch it a little bit before you use it, which first of all straightens it out, which makes it easier to use because it doesn't tangle as much, but also it takes the stretch out of the, the thread. Because if you don't do that, it will stretch over time uh, and, it will, and your necklace will become a bit loose and, and show some of the thread. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of your beading wire long enough to make a necklace, a bit longer obviously because you need some extra on the ends. And I've threaded on my size 8 seed beads. Now don't ask me how many of this is, I didn't count. I just add on sort of about 20 centimeters worth because at the end you can add to it or you can take away from it if it's too long. Uh, so don't worry about how many you thread on, just thread on a good length. Uh, and then at the end if you have the little springy, um, uh, I don't know what they're called. There's little springs that you use to hold. Oh, the stoppers. The stoppers, yeah. yeah. If you have those, I do have those, but they're all sort of uh, in my other works in progress. So if you don't have uh, any of those, you can use your little bulldog clips as well. They work uh, almost as well. They're more likely to let go, but you can use them if you haven't got any of the others available. So just put a bulldog clip on either end of your, your length of beads, and then you're gonna take your thinner thread, and you're just going to tie it around your necklace Again, it doesn't matter exactly where on the necklace because on the two ends, this is why you don't start off by finishing the ends. Um, so you can add to it and take away from it at the end uh, to make sure you have the right length. So I'm just going to tie, uh, basically I tied a triple knot um, and I did one of them as a surgeon's knot just to make sure that it's properly tied on. Um, and you won't see that knot because it'll go inside your beads. So just make sure it's properly secured okay make sure all your knots that you've tied go in between the same two beads otherwise it's not going to work as a knot okay then you're going to thread the other end of your thread into a needle uh, which i didn't take out in the needle excuse me for a second oh here's my needle case uh, i've got all my stopper beads in here and i've got all my needles all this stuff kind of collects in my needle case all the time. Get those out of the way. <laughs> okay. mm. Right, and my very bendy needle. Or do I have a better one, maybe? Do you like yes. bendy needles or straight needles? I do like bendy needles, but I'm always embarrassed to use them. On Why? <laughs> I think the bendy needles work really well because um, it's easy to get around corners, especially in your seed beading. So, yes, I do like the bendy needle. This one's a bit straighter, so that's good. Right, so you thread your, your thread into your needle 
And then what you're going to do, I'm actually going to flip it around the other way, sorry, like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your size 11 CB. And I mean, this is really simple. As I say, anybody who's never done any seed beading could do this just as easily. So what you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up f in the first row, because we're going to do two rows, you're going to pick up 10 of your seed beads. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, then you're going to pick up one of your vintage beads. Now, in this one, I had the gold bit sort of at the bottom. So you're going to go in through the colored end. Okay, pick that up. And then you're going to pick up another seed bead. Okay, then you're going to bring it down. Now, hold on to the thread here that's coming out of your vintage bead. Because when you hold on to that thread, that straightens these, puts them nicely in a straight line. Okay, if I'm not holding it, it's kind of curved, which makes it more difficult to get through them. So if you hold on to this thread, they're in a nice straight line. Now you're going to make sure to step over this last one that you picked up. So don't go through that. Okay, just go through all the others that you've picked up here. So the top, the, this 10 that I've picked up and the vintage B. So you're going to go back up through all of those. Okay. Then it, it makes it a bit easier if you pull it away from the necklace at this point. So just go through those. Don't worry about pulling the thread all the way through. You're also going to go through one of the size eight beads that's on your necklace. Okay. So when you pull it, hold on to the vintage bead and then pull your thread until it kind of closes up nice and close to your necklace like that. Okay. Then for the next one, you're going to pick up eight of your size 11 seed beads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then you're going to do the same again. So pick up one of your vintage beads. Now in that necklace, I used three different colors. Uh, I completely went random with the colors. I didn't think about positioning the colors at all. I just picked up whatever came next. Obviously, if I was sort of starting to have a very big group of greens, for example, then I switched to another color and I didn't put like a fifth green next to it. So I kind of didn't want um, sort of any lumps of the same color, but essentially it was just random. So with the eight seed beads again, I'm going to skip over this last one and I'm going to go back through all of those that I've picked up, pull it away a little bit from my necklace, and then I'm going to go through the next eight o. So I'm going through my necklace from right to left and I'm basically adding a fringe in between or after every one of those size eight seed beads, okay? So now the first one I picked up 10, second one I picked up eight, then the next one I'm gonna pick up 10 again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then the same again, I'm gonna pick up one of the vintage beads and then you can kind of guess what I'm going to do next. So with the eight and the 10 beads, basically what you want to do is you want to alternate between the eight and the 10, because you want to have different lengths of your fringes. You don't want them all to sit in a straight line. So I went all along my necklace. Basically, I took all of my vintage beads and I, and I halved them, okay? So for this first layer, I used half of all my vintage beads, okay? And I added on my fringing just like that all along of course, I didn't go through the next seed bead here, so you can do that afterwards as well. That's fine. Just make sure you move on to the next sort of gap, okay? So you can see I've got 10, 8, 10, and then 8 again. Hold on a second, because I can't count and talk at the same time. <laughs> Three, four. No, I can't do that. I also can't write and talk at the Seven, same time. Eight. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I end up writing the words that I'm saying. Okay, so you're going to carry on just like that until you've used up half of your vintage beads. Okay, don't forget to pick up the last bead because if you do and you go back through them, then they're all going to fall off your thread. Okay, so you're going to carry on like that. Now, don't stress too much about whether you picked up eight or ten in the last stitch because I was watching TV while I was making this necklace and occasionally I would have forgotten if it was eight or ten. It doesn't matter because it is quite a random design. Hmm. So if you have two after each other that are ten or two after each other that are eight, sort of just it's also quite random, just like the, the colors that I picked up. So as long as you stick with sort of eight and 10 all the way along until you've used up half your beads, that's fine, okay? So I'm just gonna do one more. So I'll do 10 here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
and then the same thing again, but this time, when, when this is the last one of your half, your first half of beads, okay? And I can't tell you exactly how many beads I used in the necklace because I made the earrings first mm. until they looked kind of full, and then I used whatever was left, so I didn't actually count the number of beads. But I don't think you need to count. If anybody know. wants to know how many, they can message me after and I can count it for them. So for the last one, when you're doing the last one, you're just gonna go back through the beads that you've picked up. Don't go through the next bead in the necklace because now we want to turn back, okay? So now you're going to go back in again in the same place you've come out, but you're going to go in the other direction through the first bead on the necklace. Okay, so you're going to go same as you did before, but you're just going back the other way. And then for the second layer, you want to do exactly the same thing again, but you want to pick up alternating between four and six of your seed beads. So for example, for the first one, I'm just going to pick up four, Okay, and in the same way, I'm going to pick up one of the vintage beads, also in the same direction, so you're always going through the coloured end. Or if you want to use them the other way, that's fine too, as long as you always go through the same end of your beads. And then again, just hold it like that so it sits straight, and then you can quite easily go through the four that you've just picked up. Okay, and then you want to go left to right again through. Now here it's a bit more complicated because you've got your fringes already in the way, so you probably need to pick it up to be able to go through the next seed bead, but that's fine, you can do that. Hold on to the vintage bead until it pulls up against your necklace, okay? And then the next one, it will be six. Three, four, five, six. So I'll just do this one more. Pick up your vintage bead and your little stopper bead. Go back through. And then you're going to carry on like that until you get back to the beginning. So this is why you want to sort of turn around after you've used up half of your beads. Okay, so I'm going through the next one. I'm going to go through two beads here because let's assume that I've gone all the way back to the start. So you want to carry on like that until your thread is coming out in the same place where your starting thread was coming out. Okay? So you've done all your fringing one way using eight and ten seed beads and then the other way using four and six. And when you've got back to the other end, then you're just going to take your tail thread and your working thread and you're going to tie them into a triple knot again. Make sure it's properly secured. One, two, let's say I've done three. And then you're just going to go through the next few beads before you cut your thread off because you don't want to cut it off right by the knot. So go through your next few beads, like that. Then you can cut that off, or we'll use a thread zapper. And you want to do the same with the tail thread, but you want to go the other way. So you go through a few beads the other way, then you can cut off your tail thread. And then, when you've done all of that, then what you're going to do is you're going to take the beads that you've got after fringing on either side, so those beads and those beads, and then you can count to make sure you've got the same number on both sides. Uh, yeah. So let's say I've got, I don't know, 100 on this side mm -hmm. you want to add you make sure that you have 100 on this side as well and then you can hold it up against your neck and see the length so you can take some of them off if it's too long or you can uh, add some more if you want to make it longer so you can adjust the the length afterwards also when you put on your bulldog clips in the beginning here leave a little bit of space so don't pull it tight tight so all the beads are tight up close each, to each other leave a little bit of of wiggle room because that way when you're going through the beads on the necklace uh, you've got a little bit of space yes. to work with and, it, and it's not so difficult to get into those beads. That makes sense and that is 100% something that I would have done, put yep. it up tight, yep. but actually <laughs> making life difficult. Yeah, which is another reason why you don't want to start with finishing off your necklace because I mean even when you finish it off you shouldn't pull it tight tight, you always need to leave a little bit of wiggle room at the top because as your necklace bends it's going to take up more of the thread inside. Yeah. Um, and I've had, in the beginning when I started making jewellery, and I, I put it down straight and I finished off the ends tight, tight, and then you bend it, and suddenly the, the, um, the crimp beads at the end pop off and you lose your necklace yeah. because, because it's pulling. So yeah. leave a bit of, you know, nobody's going to see a if you leave flow. a couple of millimetres. Exactly, and a bit of movement. Yeah, amazing. That's a top and tip, isn't it? it? So oh, Monica, as always, just beautiful jewellery. So it's dead simple, really. But, but effective. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so effective. Yeah. Each and every single one of these amazing designs. Here it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it is proper tactile jewellery. It is, it is.
Stunning, absolutely stunning. These kit, this kit, by the way, as you can see by the call screen, oh. Monica has absolutely flown. Lots of people uh, multi bought on this as well. You can still get hold of yours, which is fantastic. Well, I'm certainly going to get a few of these if there's any left. Well, there was 200. <laughs> <coughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, how are we doing in terms of stock quantity then, Roscoe? Okay. Okay, so we're down to the final 50. You see, with these as well, I mean, I've just made a few pieces of jewellery, but as you're making your jewellery, you're going to come up with so many different places where you can use these beads. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you could make it into a beady bead. That would be interesting. I'd do, do you know what? I'd be intrigued to find out. I mean, they're 30 centimetre strands, how, what the gram weight is, because there's got to be quite yeah. a significant gram weight of... Because that's what a lot of glass beads are actually sold in, yeah. gram weight as opposed to yeah. sort of length. Um, uh, you can tell it's going to be a, it's a huge bag. Oh, just imagine the size of the bag because yeah, just what's on this suite of jewellery. Exactly, alone. exactly. And also, I mean, if you're going to um, a certain craft shop that starts with hobby, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, and you buy sort of uh, glass bead strands. Yeah, as we were saying earlier, they're sort of I don't know, 18 centimeters long. Yeah, and I don't think I've seen one that was less than five, six pounds. No, I mean we're at what no. three pounds. Yeah. Three pounds, how amazing is that? And those that? are just plain beads, none of them are dipped in gold. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I haven't got the dippy dip bit, which yeah. is pretty amazing, I know. But, uh, absolutely beautiful. You can still get hold of these. We've got, um, we started with 200. Um, we're down to, well, just under 50 now. Um, in fact, sorry, beg your pardon, correction, just under 40. So I would encourage you getting involved sooner rather than later, not, le not leaving it. You know, like sometimes when you go, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll come back to that. I wouldn't recommend doing that because here, it, yeah, if you watch it back on the repeats, for example, they might not be, still be available. So get them whilst you can. Maker's got three. Middlesex has got two. Surrey's got two. Judas got two. Amazing. And that's just a handful, by the way. The call screen, I've got four full, complete rows of names and you disappear off the screen as well. Um, and I'm not surprised. That's yeah. the thing. These are so... They're so versatile. Oh, beautiful. So, I mean, it's endless designs that you can use them in. And let's yeah. bring these over because I feel like they're kind of getting left out. Let's bring them over. Look at that's gorgeous. Well, that's what I mean. You know, there's rosary really linking there. So if you're a wire worker, you know, you can you can do that, or just a simple simple threading, or um, if you're a, a full-on seed beater like some of us here, <laughs> yeah, like like yourself, you know, a simple spiral, anything like that, you know, you can use. Well, these I was for. curious about that because you said the simple spiral here. Could I use them in like uh, as? Um, an alternative to something like your super duos or something like that? Um, maybe not the super duos, because obviously the super duos have got two holes and they go sort of across. Oh, yeah, across. yeah, yeah, that's the idea. But, uh, well, that kind of shape is what I mean. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Kind of in, in, you can use them in place of, I would say, any of your fire polished or your bicones. You could even do sort of flat peyote and, and work them in there. Oh, nice, yeah. Or on your loom or anything like that. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. Tassels. Tassels, That's effectively absolutely. what you've demoed, it, isn't it? It is, basically. It is, basically, it's a tassel yeah. necklace. Um, amazing. 1999, you're still getting involved and you can still do it just about. Just about. We had 200, which is fantastic. We did. I like the fact that our buying team recognised that these were going to be incredibly popular. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, you could just go, ah, oh, they're lovely. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restrand them all on one long strand. Oh, yeah. And just have it as like a. And also, I mean, most, most kits that we have, uh, there's lots of components in there. Yeah. So you might say, oh, I like this component, but I don't really need that component because I've already got it. Whereas with this, all you're getting is the actual it main, is the main the item, tin. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Can you so see that? brilliant. Oh, very nice. Yes. See, just do oh, something like that. Super. I haven't got your talents. <laughs> um, and also, can I just say, it's so Masoma. Yeah. Well, Soma's all about your colourful beads, isn't it? Oh, you see the three-strand uh, magnetic clasp that we had earlier? That yes. would help you do that sort of twist on there as oh, well. Oh, 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 you mean this one? Yes, that one. You mean this one here? <laughs> that well, one. let's uh, let's give you a little... Hang on, I've blocked myself in now. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. So Try and yeah. find your way out of the jewellery. <laughs> oh, through the amazing, amazing vintage glass beads. That one there, this was actually your... Was it, what, did we play it in the nine o'clock hour? Yeah, we did, didn't we? So if you have a look back on the website, it did sell out. But yeah, perfect. If you've so, got hold of that. So if you took all of those strands, we've got six strands there. You could put two on each of the loops yeah. and then twist the whole thing together. That whole thing will cost you, I can't remember what the clasp was, but oh, it was just silly. over 20 pounds. Yeah, silly. 
Amazing. You know? Amazing. Uh, Diane and Tim, hello to you five. Elaine, Nancy, well done to you. You've got two. Uh, Tyne and Ware, Maker in Cumbria, Jeannie. Uh, Virginia, hello to you, multi buying. Kathy's got two as well, amazing. Eileen, Angela, Carol, Christine, Jacqueline, Patricia, multi buying. Linda, Julie, Alison, Barbara, Alison in Bristol getting two. Susan, hello, Mary, hello to you, Patricia getting two. Jean, Kathleen, Carol getting two. Grace, I, oh, it like the call screens have gone bananas. I can't read everyone's names, but you're all there, which is fantastic. If you haven't yet uh, um, picked up the phone thinking, oh no, I'm going to miss out, there is still. Excuse me, <laughs> you wait your turn. <laughs> wait your turn, you. Adam, I'm talking to you. It's, not, it's not quite one o'clock yet. Not quite one o'clock, hobby maker. <laughs> I'm the only joking, only joking. Um, fantastic, well done. Okay, one final auction before they do actually kick us out. Um, amazing, we've got beautiful Kunzai, a gemstone I absolutely adore. We really ever, ever, ever see. Sorry, bear with, there we go. Um, uh, a member of the Spodjumine family. The what family? Spodjumine. Oh, it's a good word, isn't it? That's a good it? word, yeah. <laughs> it's also an evening gemstone. So what that basically means, it's got its own little superpower. Um, so by day, it will literally retain light. Oh. Um, so that if you were eating, uh, if you're wearing this maybe while you're eating a, a romantic meal, maybe over a candlelit dinner, this gemstone will quite literally glow. It's absolutely oh. fascinating. But widely regarded as one of the world's most feminine gemstones because the soft, delicate um, pinks, we rarely see it. In fact, I can't remember the last time I actually brought Kunz out to wear it. It's been a long, long, yeah. long time ago. Um, we've got a quick message, okay. How can I tape a live recording on TV? On YouTube? Um, are you talking about the demo? Are you after the demo? Is that what you mean? Um, yeah, go to YouTube. I think you can do it on there. So if you visit our YouTube channel, because we've got all, it's like every show is uploaded, as long as there's not any, any issues. Every show is actually uploaded, so you can tape it on there. Um, good question, actually. Well, um, well, you can record, same way you record anything else from your TV, on your DVD. If you have a DVD writer, you know, I don't know what it's they? called. Yeah. I don't know. Do they? Well, I have one. I record some shows like on DVD. Like old VHS style? Yeah, but onto a DVD. You can, or obviously, if you're watching on Sky, you can record onto your Sky, and then you can record it onto. What is this witchcraft? I know nothing, <laughs> nothing about this. Oh my goodness! Apparently, there is a way. I don't know. Is the answer? Yeah. You, Somebody you needs to clearly update Recordable me on this. DVDs, and you need a record DVD recorder, and then the same way as you used to record onto videos. Okay, twenty nine ninety nine for your gorgeous kunzai, everybody. Um, but Ross says no. It's been a pretty amazing show. It's the last auction of the day. Let's take it to a brand new low price tag. You mentioned earlier on Debbie Kershaw's um, absolutely yes. beautiful. Uh, was it Carluccio? No, I can't remember how it's called. Is it Carluccio? I can't remember what it was called. Something like that. A really lovely woven bracelet that she did on the loom for. It's not Carluccio. Was a, was Carluccio is shop, an Italian it? restaurant, isn't yeah. it? Something like that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not a coffee shop. Um, $14.99 only for your beautiful Kunzai. Never been that low, but literally one of those thank you deals on the back of what has been a wonderful show. Um, fabulous. Well done. You know what to do. Have we got quantity of these? 60, okay. And generally, I can't remember the last time I actually saw Kunzai. If I had time, I would witter on, uh, chew your ears off about how beautiful this gemstone is and how amazing it is, but I don't have the time. Monica, you've been fabulous as oh, always. Thank you. Thank you. Do you know when you're back? Yes, I think it's the 8th of November. So a bit of a break now. 8th of November. Okay, so you got a nice little rest yeah. then. But I can't wait. And hopefully that's with me. Oh, I Not being I selfish, remember. but, but you know. I will have one show with you, I think, and one show with Carol in okay, November. So it's fine. I swear, it's only right that we we'll share you, of course. Um, well, thank you, uh, as always. It's thank been you. absolutely amazing. Yeah, I'm jewelry. off to Carluccio's now. Oh, yeah. You're off to a nice Carluccio. <laughs> what about pasta? Are you going to go for a bit of pasta? Or are you avoiding pasta? No, I'm avoiding pasta. Just, no. just coffee. Yeah. Amazing. Um, thank you for tuning, everybody. I will see you, all things being well, on the weekend. Alison, tomorrow morning. Um, take care and have a good afternoon. Mm.